All right, everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV, the live match watch along for Southampton. We're going to jump straight into it with myself, Matt, and Brandon as well. But before we do, let's take a quick word from Lee about our sponsors today, One Football. Sam, what are you doing? I'm just checking through um, all my football apps just to get some of the latest news. Well, you don't need to. You need the One Football app. The One Football app sponsors Newcastle Fans TV and it has all of the latest breaking news, putting loads of articles together. Even Steve Bruce is on there when he's been announced as West Brom manager recently. It's all up to date. The best thing about that app, it pings when there's breaking news. You need it, Sam. Get downloading the One Football app. The link is in the description for that. I'm downloading it now. Like the lad said, link in the description for that one. It's the only app you'll need to stay up to date with everything Newcastle United and everything football. Right then, on to today's game. We're playing Southampton in, on a Thursday night, which is weird to say. Uh, it's a game that was rescheduled. Like yeah, yeah, I like it, yeah. It's a game that's been rescheduled after the COVID slash injury postponement in January. Uh, of course, we'll get on to Ralph Hasenhutl's comments about that later. Um, but yeah, it's it's been rearranged. We're in a much better position now than we were then. Brandon, how are you, mate? You looking forward to tonight? Definitely. I uh, I always looking forward to Newcastle play. Um, after seeing the player, uh, after seeing the start, starting eleven, a uh, little bit gutted to be fair. Joelinto being dropped. I know we we're coming up to it soon, but uh, I felt confident before the starting eleven, but less slightly slightly less now than I was before, but. I, I think we have good moral, good attitude on the field now. We're, we're more of a team. So still everything is possible, of course. Yeah, yeah, everything is possible. Yeah, we'll get onto the team news uh, before kickoff. Just under half an hour to go. Kicking off at half past seven and uh, not quarter to eight like we usually would. No terrestrial streams in the UK. So uh, if you've got to find a way to watch it tonight, just just enjoy the game. Uh, but yeah, but we'll be keeping you company all the way through to the final whistle and afterwards as well. Steve and Nathan will be joining us later on and Liam hopefully will be joining us for kickoff at some point. But yes, we're on a run of eight unbeaten games in the Premier League, Brandon, stretching all the way back to Boxing Day, that 1-1 draw against Man United. We've got to have some confidence going into today, don't we? Yeah, that's like I said, I was confident. Uh, and I said as well on last weekend's stream, um, from the Czech Republic, I said, if you look on paper, it's like not our strongest side. Some of them are just even considered as like Championship League, Championship players. Yeah. And we're still beating sides like Brighton, Villa, Leeds, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, uh, pretty, pretty surprised actually. But on the other hand, not really because I, I didn't want to say I always believed in how because in the beginning it wasn't we are still working on the system and everything, getting the group together, but it seemed to work out. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's turned this team around. You know, obviously, when he first came in, didn't get the results straight away that he wanted, but he's turned the team around and the attitude of the team as well. You know, he's saying in his um, in his press conference before this game that he, he, he doesn't want to change a winning side because what message does that send to the players? You know, if they play well one week and they're out of the team the next week, then what's the point in playing well in the first place? It's uh, it's a good mentality and to have the manager. Besides, uh, as well, it's it's a little bit unfair if you take players out we, who are actually performing well. Yeah. Uh, and this actually, what he's doing, how is like keeping the uh, the quality how everyone has to fight for their place. And I think that's a good thing to have in the squad. Yeah, absolutely. It's healthy competition. You know, those players on the bench know that they'll get a chance if and when they're called upon and they if they perform well, they'll they'll keep their place in the team. They know that. And obviously we've seen a little bit of rotation, but not a whole lot since we've been on this good run of form. Uh, we'll talk about the changes made tonight. The big, big headline news being Bruno Guimaraes starts his first game for Newcastle United, uh, but in place of Joe Linton, who is missing from the squad entirely. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. It, Eddie Howe said no fresh injury concerns in the press conference, but... Uh, today it's been revealed that Joe Linton's picked up a slight knock. We understand it's a slight knock, not a massive one, and he should be in contention to play against Chelsea on Sunday. So before we look forwards to this game, Brandon, we'll take a quick look backwards at the games that we've been playing recently. Two wins on the bounce, 2-0 against Brentford away from home, and then that crucial 2-1 win against Brighton last time out. Wasn't the prettiest performance, was it? But it's good to see that we can see out the results like that rather than throw them away now. 
Yeah, hundred percent. I think the first half was still good, uh, but second half, it I don't know where it went wrong or wrong. We still won, but uh, why the performance wasn't like the first half. Uh, I also don't think she, uh, the midfield didn't have their best day, all of them individually. Joe Linton did, though, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they were too much trying to defend the 2-0. Maybe they got a little bit too uh, confident and too comfortable uh, after the 2-1 two, two up uh, in the, uh, in going into the second half. That's the yeah. only thing I could put it on, really. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's, it was a strange sight considering how confident we've been playing recently. But, you know, we're still, this season, we've given away the most points from winning positions of any team, still giving away 21 points from winning positions. So it was good to see that we actually held on to that result. It actually bumped us up the table a little bit towards Brighton. Um, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the table shortly. But yeah, we're, the, the key at the moment is we're beating teams that are in and around where we are in the table as well. You know, we're not taking big scalps off Liverpool and Man United and City, but we're beating the teams we, around. We, we, drew, we drew Man United. That's where yeah. our run started, really. Yeah, well, exactly, yeah. But then, you know, follow so, it up with a draw and, against... And, and we actually should have we, sh we should have won that game. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that the was Man United game. game. That was the start of a, a good run. You know, a draw against Watford, that's a point on the board. Three against Leeds United, who are now below us in the table. They've got a good game coming up against Aston Villa tonight, so that's an interesting one to keep an eye on. Then, of course, the 3-1 against Everton, who we play again next week. 1-0 against Villa, 1-1 against West Ham, who are flying high in the league. And then, of course, the two results we've mentioned, Newcastle United 2, Brentford 0. And then last week's result, 2-1 over Brighton. So, you know, it's a lot of positive results. There's some good teams in there, but we're beating the teams that are in the relegation zone and around the relegation zone, which is key to keeping them down there, isn't it? All right. Should, we should have done it earlier when I went, uh, went over for the Brighton game. I went to the away game uh, in Brighton. We drew that 1-1, shooting of one. Uh, and then uh, I went to the Norwich game. Um, I, I've met you there, actually, in Newcastle. Yeah. And that was also a draw. Uh, I, I guess it was also 1-1. So we, we, we should have been beating this side already at that time to be more comfortable earlier on. But uh, I would say just trust the process, I guess, in, in how we trust. Yeah, yeah, and how we trust exactly. Uh, well, speaking of how, uh, we'll talk about the lineup today then. Um, I'll quickly share my screen so everyone that hasn't seen it at home can see it as well. Yeah, we've already mentioned, you know, that one massive change. Bruno Guimaraes in for Joe Linton. Um, full starting lineup, Martin Dubravka in goal, of course. The rest unchanged. Kraft at right back, Cher and Dan Byrne, who have been absolutely immense in the past couple of games. They're starting at centre-back. Matt Target in at left back he used to come used to play for Southampton I believe he came up through their academy so it'll be interesting for him to return to his old stomping ground tonight midfield three of John Joe Shelby Joe Willock and Bruno Guimaraes uh, John Joe Shelby wearing the captain's armband of course and then a front three of Jacob Murphy on the right Ryan Fraser on the left and Chris Wood up front I would imagine that's the way they'll line up on the wings are you happy with that side? You know, we, obviously we've talked about um, Joe Linton being out and, you know, it's a big miss mm -hmm. for us. But apart from that, you know, we can't really fault the lineup, can we? No, I think this is our strongest side that we can put out. It's, it's far from our strongest sides. But uh, I just want to light out uh, someone actually is a uh, Medi target. Uh, straight from the start after joining us, how solid has he been? I yeah. mean, he goes, he goes sometimes a little bit under the radar, like, because he's so solid, it's not always outstanding, but he's more than solid. And some some, some fans don't even mention uh, mention him sometimes. But I think he's getting how you say that a little bit uh, underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But absolutely, yeah. What an improvement he has been. Yeah, uh, and, I mean, and we're looking to pick him up as well. Fifteen mil. Yeah, that's uh, still. There's been news this week, um, yeah, that we've agreed or are agreeing a, a deal for Matty Target, £15 million, which I think would be an absolute steal, especially if he can keep up the form that he showed so far this season. Before the January transfer window, we were crying out for two fullbacks, two good fullbacks, one on each side. And I think we can say we've got two very good fullbacks in the shape of right. Kieran Trippier and Matt Target. Is, is LaSalle even going to make it back into the starting 11 somehow? I don't, see, I don't see it happening. 
not on the, not on this form. <laughs> but it's uh, yeah, brilliant to see him doing so well. Um, hopefully, he can kick on tonight. I've liked how much he gets forward on that left hand side. He's a nice attacking fullback. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I like the attacking side of his game as well, which we don't always have from our, our fullbacks. The, the end product is not always there. The cross, get, the crosses can be a little bit more precise, but he's getting there for sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, same, quick... same with Ryan Fraser. Yeah, Sorry, mate. Sorry, yeah. incredible. You know, Ryan Fraser nominated for Player of the Month, Premier League Player of the Month, which is I can't remember what it was. Joe Willock last season, that the last time Newcastle right. player was nominated, and he won it as well. Um, and I saw that interview that he did to uh, Newcastle, uh, Newca uh, Newcastle United TV. Sorry, yeah. I wanted to say Newcastle Fan TV. <laughs> um, he, he he's so humble, you know. He's just saying like, I, I'm probably not going to win it. Look at the names on there, but. I think he's a really good candidate. I think he's getting himself a little bit like uh, he's talking himself a little bit down there. Yeah, no, he doesn't give himself enough credit. I think he's been fantastic under under Eddie Howe, and we saw flashes out of Bournemouth and um, when he paired up with Callum Wilson as well. They were a, a deadly little duo, and he's been doing that with Chris Wood as well. Quick word on Chris Wood hasn't got off the mark yet for us, but his performances have been top notch. You know, he's a fantastic player for us, yeah. bringing the rest of the team in, isn't he? Yeah, I think some people don't really see it. They say he's not scoring goals. He he's not do, doing like what he's supposed to do, scoring goals. But it goes a little bit under the radar, like the work he is actually doing for us, the physical physicality up front, holding the ball up, that makes room for Murphy and uh, Fraser. And if you look at the first goal against Brighton, how he turned away from uh, Dunk, was it? I think. Yeah, and just set off set of Murphy. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant play. I mean, I've got a, I've got a sneaky feeling that he might get a goal tonight, Chris Wood. I'm hoping that I'm right, um, but we never know. We never know. We can't, if if can't there's play. one who deserves it, I think it's Wood now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, he might be waiting a little while longer, but hopefully not. Hopefully, he gets off the mark and it opens the floodgates, and he can get maybe ten before the end of the season. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> one player that is missing. You never know. Why well, you never know? One player missing okay. entirely is Alan St. Maximan. Um, apparently picked up an illness while training this week. Uh, we don't know the extent of that. Obviously uh, played a little part last weekend. Is still recovering from an injury, but he's not even on the bench today. Uh, I'm not sure if... saying that he's sick. Yeah. Illness, do illness. It's, it's been announced by the club that it is missing out through illness. So we're not sure to the extent the, of that. You know, will he be available for Chelsea? I think that he's travelled with the team because um, the team will but be staying down in the south of England after tonight because we play Chelsea. Same, same, same thing with Joel Linton. You know, they say it's a down to an injury, uh, like a light injury. But I think it's a little bit of a forced injury and illness. I think it's just like for, sorry, giving the players a little bit of rest yeah. for Sunday's game. It very well could be, you know, Chelsea, as much off the pitch as they're in trouble, they are a very formidable opponent on the pitch. And um, so it would make sense that he's resting some solid players for that game. Uh, quick he has word to rotate then. now, at least, you know, yeah, like, that, like he has to rotate. He wants to have like, he he, he thinks Kim Rice can also do, do the job that Jolinton is doing against uh, uh, Southampton now. And you want just to have your strongest side as we can out against a team like Chelsea. That shows a mentality for, for how if he does that and they both play, shows that he's going there to win. Yeah, uh, th that's one battle to look out for in the midfield. Bruno Guimaraes versus James Ward-Prowse today. That'll be incredible, obviously, <sighs> James Ward-Prowse, the big danger man for Southampton. Um, just a quick run through the bench before we do move on to that full Southampton lineup. Darlow, mm -hmm. Dummett, Lascelles, Richie, Manquillo, Almiron, Gale, Longstaff and De Ball. Is that, am I saying that right? De Ball? Is that right? I don't know. De Baller. The baller. There we go. He's it's a, a, it's a Bel He's Belgium. So yeah. his name, you would say, it is as like in Dutch, the baller. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, so pretty strong bench uh, aside from the baller there, who's obviously been in the match day squad a couple of times already. Not too much to add going no. forwards. You know, Gale and Almiron probably being your most attacking players. But Matt Ritchie yeah. back from injury, which is nice to see um, him involved in the match day squad as always. Um, we'll move on quickly to Southampton's starting lineup. We're about 15 minutes away from kickoff. Let me just quickly search it up. Um, yeah, 15 minutes away from kickoff. Southampton going with a fairly strong lineup today, pretty much as expected. 
Fraser Foster in goal. Tino Livramento, ex-Chelsea player, breakout season for Southampton this year, playing at right back. Jan Bednarek and Salisu in the centre back positions, and Kyle Walker Peters. Uh, I'm not, not sure which side Walker Peters and uh, Livramento will take, but one of them will be at right back and one at left back. Uh, holding midfielder Oriol Romeo, then the central midfield partnership of Stuart Armstrong and James Ward Prowse, with El Yanusi, Armando Broger, and Che Adams up top. Very strong side, Brandon. Apart from Ward yeah. Prowse, is there anyone in that side that you look at with a little bit of fear? Walker Peters, um, coming from the back, probably uh, Shea Adams, uh, Foster, of course. But it's yeah, that's just the goalie, of course. But uh, yeah, it's a strong side defensively as well. I think they they're on a good run. I mean, don't underestimate them. Yeah, no, I, I correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, guys, but I think that Southampton haven't lost in the Premier League at home for in five and a half months, which will be some record for us to break. Um, one person that I do want to pick out is that striker, that big man up top, Armando Broger, on loan from Chelsea. He's got six goals in the Premier League this season, which is quite a decent return for a young lad. Um, he's a big physical player, but he's good with his feet as well. Dangerous, dangerous man. and But you, you'd hope that, you know, with with him being so young and maybe lacking a bit of experience that Fabian Scher and uh, Dan Byrne can Dan Byrne. Handle, that kind of, handle that kind of player. I actually think uh, we'll see after the game that Dan, uh, that Bro- uh, Broja is still in uh, Dan Byrne's back pocket, probably. <laughs> the, the, the way they're performing at the moment, it's, it's insane. Yeah, uh, he's been incredible. I mean, I was talking with my friend um, who's a Middlesbrough fan and he was asking who I think is going to be captain next year and I said it's a toss-up between Kieran Trippier and Dan Byrne at the moment but obviously Trippier's out injured but bloody Byrne yeah. local lad at the back he's been absolutely immense since he's come in one of the signs I think myself been... lost it yeah unfortunately I'm not, I'm... I don't, I don't <laughs> even think next season he will play anymore ourselves. We, we will buy maybe we get Rudiger on a free from Chelsea maybe you never maybe. know you never know could, could be a good third option uh, one player on the bench to look out for for Southampton, though, is Adam Armstrong, Armstrong. obviously. Ex-Newcastle, he'll Newcastle be begging, gagging for a goal against us, I imagine. So uh, he'll be one to look out for when coming on against tired legs later on in the game. So a decent side for Southampton, pretty much as expected from Newcastle. It's uh, it's going to be a tasty one. I'm very excited. Um <laughs> We'll quickly move on to the score predictions. We'll get everyone in the comments to join in as well. So let us know in the comments down below what your score predictions are for today's game. We've already had one from Adam here. 3-0, goals from Fraser, Wood and Bruno. Very, very confident from Adam. I like it. Um, But yeah, get involved in the comments down below. Do you agree with Adam? Get your own predictions in and we'll have a chat. I like optimism. I do like the optimism. I mean, un- eight unbeaten, you've got to be optimistic, really, haven't you? Uh, uh, but Brandon, yeah. while people get them typed out down below, what are you thinking going into today's game? Well, I thought, I said it in the NFTV group chat as well, on WhatsApp, I think 3-1, but that was when I was cons- thinking that Joel Interwood starts. Yeah. Uh, cheeky 1-0 okay. for us. You think we'll keep a clean cheek? Oh, uh, everyone, why not? We, we, we have Dan Burnish, famous show, so yeah. of course. Yeah, we just can't give any free kicks away on the edge of the box because you know about James, James Ward Prowse. Yeah, that's, that's, the top that's dangerous. Yeah. That's, that's legal. Yeah. If we can um, deny that, and, and yeah. fa- uh, how do you say that? Make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. We're fine, I guess. Uh, yeah. All kidding aside, 1 0. It will be a fairly tight game, I think. What's yours? Yeah. Uh, I, I think I also think it's going to be a very tight game. I'm not as optimistic as you um, because I'm naturally a pessimist. And I thought every game we've gone into in the past, you know, few fixtures, I thought, oh, this is the game that the run comes to an end. You know, maybe maybe we'll not win this one. So I've gone for a conservative 1-1. Um, but I, I think we'll get something out of today. I am I mean, confident that we'll come away with at least a point. Uh, well, I, I take a point. Can, I think if we can keep it tight at the back in the first 45 minutes, and just make sure we don't concede. I think we can come out in the second half and come and hit them late on because I think Bruno could really run that show in the midfield against Ward Prowse today. Be interesting to see how we set up, who's going to be the central of the three in the midfield. I imagine it's just a straight swap with Bruno coming in on the left hand side for Joe Linton. 
but it'll be interesting to see how we set up because we know he likes to get on the ball like Shelby and pick his head up with some line breaking passes. Just just touching on that one, Matt, Matt on mm-hmm. your soul term, Matt. Uh, I'll take a point, and I think with, with this point, we're 29 points in the league. I think we only need three more wins, uh, three more points, so that would mean one more win, and I think then we're safe. Yeah, I'm very confident. Well, 32, 32 points will be enough. It could be. I mean, if you go, if anything, if last year is anything to go by, the bottom three got relegated on 23, 26 and 28 points. So, you know, at the yeah, moment, no. we'd have been safe on our current points total. For, no, for normally, it's like a 40, 40-point mark is yeah. definitely safe, but like that, that's not the case for a few years already. Yeah, yeah. It's, weirdly uh, enough. It's, well, it depends how, you know, if, if Norwich can pick up a few more points, if Burnley are going to get out of there, it's very tight down the bottom. Leeds are playing tonight. Leeds are on a seven-game losing streak and they could very well end up in the mix down there I, th- I think uh, Norwich is gone though I think Norwich are probably out of it I think the rest is I think Nor- Norwich definitely then Watford probably but I think they've got enough about them if they can start beating teams around them rather than beating teams higher up then yeah. I think they've got a good chance but I think you know your Burnleys your Leeds your Everton's they've got more of a chance of staying up than Watford it's funny how it will play out, you know, because Norwich will probably now realize, like, okay, we're, we're done. They're gonna play less stressed, more open, probably, and just like not giving a fuck so much anymore. That can be can be positive, and then all of a sudden starting picking up points again. So, but I think it's done for Norwich. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Everton are in real trouble, to be honest. You look at the fixtures yeah. they've got coming up, and. I know they've got a couple of games in hand on on teams around them, but they're they're in real trouble and on a horrible run at the moment. So I think it's more Leeds though, who's more likely to go down. Leeds, yeah. Brentford, yeah, I think Leeds, or Watford. Leeds. It's difficult. It's I think Norwich mm-hmm. and Watford are almost nailed on, and then it's for that last spot. I think Burnley probably have the legs to do it. They're the relegation specialists at this point. Leeds. It's actually, sorry, it's, it's actually well, a funny. Yes, uh, last last weekend, someone in the chat uh, came up with a stat that we're now back at uh, 8% uh, to go down. So we're yeah. 92% sure to stay up, basically. Oh, I'll take that, Bob. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got we've got a tough run in, but we we've got a few games here and there that we can pick up points for. Like obviously Everton next week's a big one. If we can beat them, take six points off them this season, then, then that's huge. That, that maybe kicks them to relegation, so literally. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll just quickly go back to the predictions because we've had some in the chat. NUFC Swan 2-2, two, two, not only predicting the score, but the scorers as well. 2-2, two, two, Willock Brace, Broger and Adams to score. I hope Willock gets a brace because he's my fantasy captain this week. Uh, he didn't, get, <laughs> didn't, didn't do anything last week, so uh, I'm hoping he comes good. Uh, we've got another 2-2 two, two from Rico 63. It uh, looks like he's wearing an Everton badge down there. Looks, uh, so looks like, looks like uh, going off the score prediction, we're in for a nice... Uh... Entertaining night, a lot of a lot of goals. Yeah. I hope so. I hope it's not a boring nil nil. So uh, I think Sammy's predicting Wood and Saint Maximan here uh, going off Santi, but uh, I'm not sure that he's seen the lineup, or if I'm just pre- presuming that Santi's referring to someone else. Um, maybe he means Santiago Munez. Maybe he does <laughs> coming off the reserves. <laughs> Uh, Could have been possible. Yeah. Uh, 2 1 from Marv, Wood and Murphy bagging the goals for, for us. I would absolutely love that. I would love, I think Jacob Murphy's due a goal. I think he was unlucky not to score last week after that fantastic run he made from the edge of our box, hitting the post. I wish he'd just put his foot through it, though, rather than try and chip it over right. the goalkeeper. But I, but I don't really mind as well with Fraser finishing it. Yeah. Fraser needs a good round, two goals in a row now. Yeah. Uh, and an assist. So, yeah. Another another draw, 1-1, one, one, Wood with a first goal. A lot of people saying Wood's going to get his first goal today uh, while Brandon <laughs> fired to his ass. Yeah, yeah I, kicked, I, I, kicked, I kicked off a, a glass of uh, my table. I, I hit the table, exactly. Uh, yeah, a, lot of people, a lot of people getting saying that Wood's going to get his first goal tonight. It's got to come eventually, so hopefully tonight's the night. Uh, put, your mo- put your money by your mouth, I would say. <laughs> uh, impact, going for a massive... 3-1, Wood, Fraser, Murphy, the front three all getting involved. No shouts for Bruno getting a goal on his debut, or his full debut. There was. Say. There was. Your first score prediction said oh. Bruno would score, so... Was it? Ah, see, I'm just... I've got a very short memory. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah, 3-0. Uh, 
Uh, where's it gone? I've just spotted it and then it's disappeared again. Here we go. Adam predicting Bruno's going to get a, get a goal on his first start for the club. I'd love to see that. You know, it doesn't. It hasn't chipped in with many goals in in his past with for Leon, but I'd love love to see him start. Uh, one thing we should mention as well. I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed by the player himself, but Lucas Paqueta, who played with Bruno at Leon, who, very good friends in the midfield, obviously Brazilian starlet as well. Uh, he's apparently at the Southampton game in attendance to watch Bruno tonight. We've been heavily linked with signing him in the summer. Obviously, Bruno's got a very um, brotherly connection with him, being from the same country and playing for the same club for so long. And he's one of the best up-and-coming midfielders in Europe at the moment. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if that leads to anything. Who he's sat with today, maybe. He's I have no idea Steve. who it is, though. You don't know Lucas Paqueta? How? Lucas Paqueta plays for Le- uh, Leon. Oh, I don't watch the French League at all, mate. Okay, Seriously. fair enough. Don't blame me. <laughs> it's not the most entertaining, but uh, he, he play. I think he starts most uh, most games for Brazil as well, which is some feat. Uh, he's he's top quality little player. Um, so it'll be interesting. It'd be very expensive if we were. To what get. is he? Attacker, midfielder, or? Uh, box to box, but yeah, he, he likes to get forward. He's, he's similar to he probably like a, like a Vinaldum. Kind of yeah, play. that's a good comparison, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a few more score predictions. Uh, where, where have I? I've lost my lost my place. Three uh, one, easy peasy from Lee. Uh, yeah, I'd love it. Love it. Love, love a little three one. First goal about five minutes in. Second goal ten minutes in, and then that's just sit back and have another one at the, the end. Pe- and, and, and the pessimist in, in Meta's gonna say it's never gonna happen. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. <laughs> uh, Ian saying two 0 but I don't know who for. So I'm gonna presume that's a two 0 Newcastle win here because we're all optimists around here. Maybe he's an Everton fan. Who knows? Maybe he is. Uh, Sammy saying, thank God we're out of the relegation talk. I mean, we're not quite there yet. If we win tonight, depending on other results, we could be 10 points clear of the drop. With so many games left. Yeah. Um, Phantom 87, we never pay attention to the Twitch chat. Well, here you are. Hello. I'm paying attention to the Twitch chat. Uh, We get a lot of comments coming through on all platforms. So it's sometimes the Twitch ones get buried a little bit. But you're very welcome. Thanks for tuning in on Twitch. Uh, we can if you join we, we, we love to see our Twitch uh, our Twitch chats because we like to grow our grow our audience there as well. So yeah, if if, uh, if if you have Twitch and you're not subscribed on our channel yet, do it. He's a prof- professional, like you've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you haven't already, while we're on it, the, the topic, uh, like the video, please. It helps us out a massive lot. Uh, get involved in the comments. We'll try and interact with as many comments as we can, and don't forget to subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV. NFTV. Just a question uh, I want to put in the chat for, for the chat as well and for you. Yeah. Do you guys think Liam will be on time on the stream? <laughs> yeah, because Liam he's normally be joining us for kickoff. A bit late. Yeah, he's supposed to be joining us but for kickoff. In will we make it or not? Drop it in the, in the comments. <laughs> uh, yes, so we're, we're, we're expecting a good game. We hope it's not a disappointing game. But uh, it's going to be an interesting run because obviously we've got this game and then we've got Southampton. On um, playing Southampton today, mate. Sorry, we've got Chelsea on Sunday, uh, Everton on Thursday, Thursday, next Thursday. Um, before a very tricky run of Spurs, Wolves, and Leicester, so it would be nice to get some points on the board before that run. But uh, yes, get some more love over on Twitch. Best United Twitch channel, Newcastle United Twitch channel. We'll take the love. I think we're the, only, I think we're the only one, though. So it's easy I to be the best. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so a, a couple of people asking where we're watching it tonight. Um, I can't say where in the UK I'm legally not allowed to watch the game. So uh, I'll be. So listening. can I say it? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the laws are like in your country. Uh, so, um, the what? But Adam, the quick question in the chat is: the one football app, the best app available? Well, if you're after all your footballer needs and up to date with everything Newcastle, it is absolutely the best app uh, app available. And if you haven't already got it downloaded, get yourself it downloaded. The link is in the description down below. They're sponsoring the channel. Thanks to One Football. Thanks to Adam for posing the question as well. But yes, Brandon, uh, how are you going to watch the game today? Are you going to watch the game? Of course, I'm watching it now. It's the it's the lineup now. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna take the risk to say when we watch it. To be fair, uh, <laughs> I might get kicked off the channel. Whether the loss might be different here, but it's so um, weird though that, that they that, that they're not have at least a stream or like even a paid stream. I, I would pay for it if if, if I could to have yeah. like high quality and everything. 
why 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 the UK doesn't allow that or or the Premier League? I, I think there's loads of fans who still want to watch and maybe put a two or three quid down to don't to watch the game. Yeah, it's easy money, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, um, I mean, help each other out in the comments down below if you do have um, a stream to watch it with let each other know help each other out in the comments down below i'll be trying to find a a, a radio stream um to listen along to the game uh which should be fun um but yes the kickoff is just around the corner um hopefully liam joins us soon we are expecting him uh, a couple more score predictions we've had 3-1 from the jmk08 2-2 from carl and nufc swan tell us we've kicked off thank you very much Oh, let me quickly put my headphones in. Uh, yeah, so are you expect what are you expecting from tonight, Brandon? Uh, anything spectacular? Obviously, we we think it's going to be a a tight game today, but um, are you yeah. hoping that it's going to be nice and easy? Always, mate. I hope that every weekend. I mean, <laughs> uh, also, I heard Steve today say, uh, "I would really love a win today. I, I love a win every week, every, every game." So <laughs> that's a little bit kicking in open doors, but. Uh, it's hard to say. I will see, but this change in the midfield will do, because we're missing the guy who 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 who's uh, picking up so many balls in the midfield, uh, getting players off the ball, so much interceptions lately. Yeah, it's. it's it, I think it's a really big miss. I'm not joking. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're lucky that we can call on someone like Bruno to to step in in his place. Um, so it. It will be a big miss, miss um, for us, but uh, hopefully it's not too big of a miss. Uh, I'm just quickly trying to find something on my phone. Well, Kevin Friend being the reverie. <laughs> just show the screen. Yes, I'm, uh, I've got the... Um, the Leeds Aston Villa game is kicking off in 15 minutes' time, and I've got that on in the background as well. Uh, so I can keep us up to date with that if I need to. Um, let me quickly set this up. This is where my whole setup falls apart. And uh... <laughs> Hassan Hutl. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, what? What? I don't know. Did you see? Uh, yeah, Hassan... you want, yeah. You wanted. To, you wanted to touch on that. Still. Yeah, I do want to talk about that because did you see what he was saying? Uh, I mean, obviously, when the game got called off, he was whinging, complaining that you know we've got all these new players yeah, that, 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 that I've noticed when it when it was supposed to be played, but he, he was complaining about uh, players being bought in the transfer window, blah blah blah. What did yeah. you say this time? What he was Surprise saying me. exactly the same because, thing because I haven't. I haven't seen. His, okay. Yeah, he was just repeating himself, you know, oh, we have to prepare for a completely different game to the one we would have prepared for a few months ago. Uh, it was just a load of waffle because it's just like, yeah, fair enough. You know, we, we've we've had the game postponed and we've got <clears throat> four players in. But at the end of the day, you know, for example, I don't know, Burnley, you know, we played them one, uh, we played them before the transfer window, but we we're also playing them at the at the end of the season and we're going to have the players that we signed at the end of the season against Burnley so why is it fair that you know we have we don't have those players against Southampton and we do have them against Burnley I just it's just the way the cookie crumbles um like I I, I would like to say something on that like yeah. or, or what Hasan said like they had they had the option as well to buy players so there yeah. there was fair fair chance to buy players and besides that uh these things hopefully never gonna happen again. It's it's difficult different times, corona, you know, like games get suspended a lot more. But yeah. that's not gonna be the case at, always. So I mean, oh hey man. I mean so 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 yeah, that's weird. Like he's basically saying because even if it's bad better then a game has to be suspended, you can't and uh, you know like it has to be going to the second half of the season after the January transfer window. They yeah. also are not allowed to use that players. I mean, it's different. It's different times now, and it will get better next season. It will probably never happen anymore. So yeah, 
Yeah. Stop. You know, the, uh, we've, we had multiple games postponed. We had this one on Everton. I don't see... Um, oh, well, it's, it would have been a different manager when it got postponed. But Everton I don't had loads of postponed. postponed. Yeah. I don't, I don't see why, you know, no one else has complained. You know, we've had Klopp complaining, you know, fixture congestion, blah, blah, blah. But no one's complaining that, oh, you spent this amount of money and it's not fair because, you know, you're stronger now than you were then. Well, yeah, that's just... That's just the luck of the draw. We we were on a like we yes we signed players, but at the end of the day, our best players have been the players that we already had. You know, Joe Linton, Fraser. You know, even the ones that the signings that have signed, the best ones have been Matt Target, who we got on loan, and Dan Byrne, who was like thirteen mil. And obviously Trippier, but he can't play today. Um, yeah. it's like you know, yes, we're starting Bruno, but that's just because Joe Linton's injured. It just really riles me up that he's whinging. He's just making excuses for himself before the game's even started. Um, I'm just... you, know how, you know how I would call that? Go on. He's just scared, man. Yeah. Scared. Terrified of the mighty mags. Up the maggies. <laughs> Up the maggies. Joe, Joe Willock would say. Uh, yeah, I love Joe Willock. I, I'm very... I, what, what do you Actually, let's talk about Joe Willock for a bit because he didn't have okay. a very best start to the season you know obviously we paid a lot of money for him put it politely <clears throat> yeah um didn't hit the best form looked a bit unsettled was, let, 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 let's just say how it was or is he, he was shit in the beginning of the season yeah, he, he was very poor um i think it's safe to say but obviously since eddie howe's come in he looks like a different man especially in that this new system of a three-man midfield it took him a little bit of time as well under eddie howe but like the before he just started to pick up form again, he was just not confident anymore. Ooh. Uh, just, I don't know, like sloppy. Yeah. And just so so rushed. I don't know. Not getting into, into the right positions. And now he's having that good flow. So he's getting into the right positions. Yeah. Making the good runs, seeing people because he's just more uh, rested between the ears as well, I guess. Yeah. Because the fight is good now. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's good what to a good run of games can uh, can do yeah. to a squad. Oof. <clears throat> what, what minute you're on, mate? Uh, I'm on five twenty, uh, five thirty. So I'm a little bit behind, okay. but it's nice to see um, Bruno taking a, a shot on goal there. Uh, picked his head up. Um, from what I can hear. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, should, should I turn it down or? Uh... No, no, not not you, not you. Uh, I've got it on in here. Oh, I... but yeah, we, we seem to have started positively. That midfield three are pushing up as a unit, which is nice to see. Putting high press on Southampton. Um, started brightly. You can hear me on television as well. Only a little bit, but it's fine. Okay. Maybe it will give a little bit to the to the people watching who can't find a stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you if you're tuning in, and you can't find a stream. Uh, what you're more than welcome to join us. We'll try and give you a play by play commentary. Um, I might be a little bit behind, but <laughs> started quite brightly uh, against Southampton. We're not letting them sit comfortably on the ball. Um, Fraser Foster in goal for Southampton today, Brandon. Obviously, spent six years at Newcastle, came up through the youth system, never played a senior game for us, as far as I can tell. Um, was obviously out on loan quite a lot, left us permanently to join Celtic. And after Celtic, he's been at Southampton ever since. Um, very, good, very solid good, goalie. I solid, mean, but he's not better I than Brandon. You've you, you, you got to respect his career. <laughs> I mean, I, I always liked him, like a like a player. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. he's, he's not bad. I mean, no, not at all. <clears throat> Gen X retro getting on the uh, the one football hype train. If you haven't already, get on it as well. It's a uh, link is in the description. Get download one football. It brings you all the breaking news from the football world and of oh, course Newcastle as well. Good cross by Murphy. Um, to watch his boots, better than that clears it. You know, just the fact that uh, how is our manager, what I like the most is just you're actually pressing forward instead of like just sitting at the back, being lazy and hoping we don't concede a goal. Yeah. I just like the pressing, the high press. 
Uh, we've got Fraser Foster. But it's, it, it's it's controlled though because Leeds did it with Bielsa, and it and it always bite them in the ass. Yeah, M- mostly. If they do Leeds and, and and it works out, they look like a they they look like Barcelona from like three four years ago. But if it doesn't work out, they always concede goals always. But we're doing it controlled, the high press. Yeah. Uh, I think we, we're good at picking our moments to press. It's, um, have you, have you like seen the not, tip your uh, podcast with uh, Drew Jory? I've not watched it yet, but I've heard good things about it. Uh, you should, mate. You should. It's very interesting things he said. Trippier also said, like, we're just getting drilled so much on training when if we're pressing, where you should stand and things like just things like that. And if, if, if we don't do it correctly, we have to do it again. You should, you should watch the. The podcast page is good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shout out to Tudor Jordy. And on the topic of podcasts, there's uh, there's been a new Greenwood and Mulliner show this week with Robson Green, and it's an absolute corker. Uh, you can find it on our channel after the match today. Uh, after we've obviously we've got loads of content coming up for you. We've got the watch along. We'll have scoring the players and the live fan reaction. reaction as well. And of course, we'll have reaction from Saint Mary's. Lee is there as well as Carl. I think they're the only two that's gone. With his brother. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we'll have reaction from St. Mary's tonight, regardless of the result, a bit later on. Yes, but stay tuned here and uh, we'll bring you the scoring the players. But then once the game is over and we've scored the players, you can get involved as well. So stick around. There'll be a link in the chat. You can join and have a chat with us. Let us know what you thought of the game. Tell us if we're chatting rubbish. It's, it's nice to get along. What, are, what, are you, what do you usually do? Never mind, <laughs> That'll be uh, Steve and Nathan hosting the live on reaction, I think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got me up. A bit peckish. Oh, wait. What have we got there? Strong. We got the uh... yeah, spicy one. Oh, yeah. Chili and lime. Yeah. Uh, reluctant gainer playing Chelsea have gone one 0 up at Norwich, which is obviously good for us. Keeps Norwich well and truly in the mire. I will just quickly check to confirm that. I imagine it's true because I don't know why you'd be lying about that. Yeah, it is. Uh, Trevor Chalaber from scoring from centre back somehow. Uh, Mason Mount with the assist in that game. That's good for us. Obviously, uh, other games going on tonight Wolverhampton Wanderers hosting Watford, and then Leeds United versus Aston Villa kicks off in around three minutes' time. Uh, that one's on Amazon Prime if you wanted to have a different game in the background. Uh, I think Liam's joined us uh, and he's all ready to go. And uh, I think he is anyway. Hello, hello. <laughs> well, are you gone back to the 1920s? Why are you black and white? I'm not black and white. After the white wall. It's just that you're all washed out. <laughs> Probably this shit camera, I'm not a bore. How are you doing? How are you doing? By yourself. How's the game been? It's all right. It's, it's all right. right. Well, 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 not much, not really. much. You get two corners. Get two corners. Mm. Uh, we're uh, saying we're Wolves have scored as well. So we'll quickly check that one. Yes, they have. Wolves to one nil up against Watford. So, other games at the moment going our way. Watford and Norwich both losing. So, let's have a quick look at the current table. How's Bruno being? He's good. He's um, he's pushing up with the ball. Positive plays. Had a shot. Deflected behind for a corner. Uh, it's been a pretty open game so far, but we've seen the better of the chances. I hope Soccer Steve was doing this. He's coming on for the well. He's definitely for the fan reaction. I think he'll be on for scoring the players as well. Ooh, Liam, since you joined, I hear myself in the background, just just like with a small delay. How's that? You know. Yeah, I think there's a bit of an echo with coming out your speakers. I don't know if it's what it is. is that any better? Uh, hello. 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 No, not no, much. No. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, Murphy on the side. Craft coming up. Cross. Pretty cool. So, tonight. Can you still see how the echo? 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> I guess that solves the problem. <laughs> yeah, Adam, we've got a bit or, of a problem or, or, with Liam. Or, or did you actually? Uh, or did you actually kick him? You're like fucking. <laughs> I've had enough of him. Off he goes. <laughs> Chelsea 2 0 up against Norwich, apparently. Well done, Bruno. Mason Mount scoring this time. So, 10, sorry, 15 minutes gone. Good ball. In the Chelsea game. And Norwich 2 0 down. Absolutely capitulating against Chelsea. That is some. They're, they're done on me. They're fucking yeah. done. So, Bruno I'll... had uh, some, some, some nice moves there. Yeah. You, you, you're maybe still to see it or. Or just <laughs> I, I keep my ears peeled. Okay. Are you listening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so as the... Oh, it's I'll lovely keep... to uh, listen to the radio, right? Yeah. <laughs> Old school. Yeah, got to. It's the best way, it's best way to do it. Obviously, get the watch along on and then uh, listen to the radio. And that's how I do it every week. <laughs> uh, I'll quickly share my... Uh, screen and have a look at the Premier League table as it stands. So regardless of whether we win tonight, we can't actually go upwards in the table. Uh, I don't think we I can go down. See it when we fall no. sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but yeah, I think tonight anyway, we can't actually move up or down. Uh, we can't get enough points to overtake Brighton and Brentford don't actually play tonight. Um, so they can't overtake us. Leeds are too far behind to overtake us, but as it stands, Norwich losing, on, Watford losing, both on oh, 20 games played. Yellow, I think. Who's this for? Sorry, mate. No, no, go Murphy. on. Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Yellow. Is it a dangerous position? Mm, well, not where Warpals could score from, I would say. If he makes it from that position, <laughs> that's fucking mental. <laughs> it's like all the way on the left, close to our back line. So. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. It. Well, you got you got booked for that. Yeah, well, uh, uh, it's a bit. It's a bit a, early I, to be... I, I don't mind him. I, if it would happen the opposite way, I, I, I would yell for a yellow as well. So yeah, I think it's a fair one. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, he's a bit. Oh, late, late, Go on. Clear it. Razor, hit it. Good. Razor, close it. Yeah, Kyle Walker Pitt starting on the left hand side and Livermento starting on the right hand side for Southampton, which is uh, a bit worrying given that our weaker side is probably the right hand side. Um, and Kyle Walker Peters, as we've just seen, is a quite talented attacking player. Oh, Liam's back. Let's hope the echo is going out. I don't think so. Hello, hello, hello. What? Oh, oh. oh. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't hear any echo whatsoever. Have you got any headphones or anything like that? No, because I can hear someone's telly in the background. That's Brandon. Yeah, well, that, that's my t- that's my TV. But we left it on on purpose, actually. Uh, Fabian Cher is down injured at the moment. Uh, it looks like his groin or hamstring. <clears throat> Liam just froze, I think. Yeah, he's frozen, muted himself for a second, but we'll see if that loads. I'll tell you what, I'll take him off for now, and then when he unfreezes, I'll let him back in. Share is down, though. It's not. That's not good. We do have Jamal Lascelles on the bench, which isn't the worst replacement in the world. Um, no. I think, I think he's good, though, for now. Yeah. It looks. He's, he's hobbling off now. It doesn't look too. Too serious, but you never know. Yeah. What do you make of? Um, I know we've been setting up like that the past few weeks, but why? Why do you think he's gone with Fraser on the left and Murphy on the right? Because surely you put a strong right-hand side player like Fraser to cover Kraft, who's probably our weaker side defensively. I just think it's more for Fraser that he's doing it because he knows. Also at Bournemouth, Fraser used to play left wing back. Uh, not wing back. Uh, left wing. Yeah, I, I think it's just just for the for the sake of because you you'll see, I guess Fre- Fraser will move to right again if ASM is playing. Yeah. 
I think he rates Fraser a little bit higher than Murphy and he wants his strongest players on his most preferred or his best position, favorite positions. Yeah. And, and basically, Murph can play almost everywhere. He's like a chameleon. I remember he used to play right back. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so he, absolutely. Um, Murphy, or... Murphy's not going to complain. He's happy he's playing, so no. he, he can't give a shit. Right, Liam's back. Come on, third time lucky. Is Hello. It still, is it still like going now? Hello? Let's find Hello? out. Yeah, a little bit. No, it's, it's not as bad as it was. I, I don't. I don't. It's, it's worse, man. It's worse, actually. man. <laughs> you don't have any, don't have any have earphones, or whatever. earphones or whatever. Yeah, I was just about to go and find some. I don't know why it's doing this. I've never done it before. Right, I'll drop. I'll drop it again. Nice one. Matt, just just kick this <laughs> out, and then I'll go and get some things. Right, nice one. Right, right. Right, uh, yeah, quick score update from around the ground. Chelsea 2-0 up against Norwich and Wolves are 2-0 up against Watford. I was a bit worried that that one might be a positive result for Watford, but they seem to be absolutely... Wolves are 2-0 up. 2-0 up, yeah. So it's oh, uh, Raul Oh, Jimenez. this is dangerous, Broya and Dubravka. Good, 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 good interception by Dubravka. Woo! You got me sweating there, Brandon. Don't what? do that. Yeah, corner, corner, kick. Well, people want to, <laughs> you know... Why, why, why otherwise we have to fucking watch them all the way, man? <laughs> yeah, Corner kicks uh, Southampton, though. Okay. It's always, always dangerous from set pieces, our Southampton. Mm. Hopefully Big Dan Byrne can get his bonds on it. If that's a nice ball over the top for uh, that yeah. chance. Dan Byrne clears. Yeah, okay. Went over. Whew. And breathe. They, they got the rebound for the, at the Penalty box, like the 60 yard box. How do you say 60 meter box or 60 yard? Uh, 18 yard box. Oh, it's, okay. Okay, because <laughs> yards is different. In yes. the Netherlands, it's like 16 meters. Right. You say, so that's why I'm always confused. 18 yard box? Yeah. Okay. But you, you'll probably see the chance now as well. Went wide yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll happily have uh, Romeo shooting from there all day. Oh, long. no, you, you, you heard it. Sorry. Yeah, you I heard, heard it. it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stay uh, sharp. I can't. Uh, Good ball. Can... Oh, we couldn't have. Just couldn't get it. I can't uh, condone any um, non legal streams, but there's a couple of people in the comments that are after them. Um, so if anyone wants to help them out, um, that's completely down to you. I can't condone the use of them. Uh, but Liam's back. Indeed. So, uh... Let's show we are the black and white army. Help your fellow black guys out. Uh, let's see if Liam's back. Hello. What about, what about now? Yes. I think it's worked. This is good. I don't yeah. know if it's because of me this speak. I was turned up to 100 percent so that maybe why. We just we just can't hear you. Well clearly you can. <laughs> <laughs> Looked much better on you as well, mate. The Thank headset. You. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> How are you feeling about tonight then, Liam? Um all right, to be fair, I think it. It's probably going to be a. I think it's going to be a score draw, Mikael. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, predictions wise, I said one one. Brandon says squeezing a one nil, and then we had a lot of two twos and one ones and one nils in the chat. <laughs> a lot of people I backing think... uh, wood, wood to score. Yeah. So I told yeah. them put your money where your mouth is. You might make some uh, good quick. Did I see that um, we're staying down like the London way? Until the ch after the Chelsea game, yeah, yeah, we're uh, I don't know where exactly we're staying, but we're staying down south. So all the squads that could be available for the Chelsea games travelled. So I think Joe Linton and Alan St. Maximan have both travelled with the team. Um, they're just not there tonight. Um, because mm. I think so, if they travelled back up, they would have oh, had Shelby man, up. oh, this is dangerous. They would have had to travel back. Shelby, to lost. Shelby loses the ball in midfield. Oh, it's bad, bad touch by Broya, and he whips it over. Very bad touch, first touch. So that's good. Hi. We are so, we are denying the corner, but yeah, they clearly get the corner out of it. Not sure if Dubravka hit that though. Let's see. You can finish. Oh, first one. touch. <laughs> what? Uh, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, girl. Uh, yeah. So um, they'd have had to travel back either tonight or tomorrow, and then they would have had to travel back down 
Yeah. Uh, so I think it's if they tough. stay up, they might get a day's training in down there. Uh, essentially, you say they're all going around Richie's place for a curry after the game tonight. So yeah. <laughs> well, um, Arsenal are twenty threes for training at North Shields during the week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, quickly. Why so slow? Murphy, come on, come on. Do you know what um, Joe Linton's injury is yet? Not confirmed yet. Uh, he said it's a slight injury and probably available for the Chelsea game. Mm. Um, so hopefully he's Ooh, available. Oh, bad ball by Gibbs. It depends how. Plays it to Tindall. Depends how um, Bruno plays tonight. Whether he gets back in or not, I guess. Mm. Well, you're not going to like what, what you just saw. He just played <laughs> in the midfield. The ball straight to Jason Tindall. <laughs> Get him on the like who has been the enforcer like Joe Linton is? Has it been uh, Willick or? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing Bruno. I, I, think, great we, ball, I but... think nobody really yet. Yeah. If you mm. kind of miss Joe Linton. Uh, I'm not liking the way they look at the live I would like to say give me eyes. Uh, I don't think it's going to go very well tonight, lads, judging by the live chat. Why? Apparently we've conceded. My... Uh, I've not had it 100% confirmed. Brand will be the first one to tell us if it's gone in. Um, they are the time. Man. Apparently, Stuart Armstrong scored for Southampton. We don't make it easy for ourselves, do we? No, I do. You can't see United. No, clearing... Cle- We can hear it. Brandon, come on. We're waiting eagerly for you to say something, mate. <laughs> oh, nothing happened, man. Oh, nothing's happened. You've got the biggest grin on your face. <laughs> your face still hasn't changed. Like. <laughs> I, I think there is some fake news going on. I mean, I don't know what everyone uh, is watching or listening or happening, but uh, it's maybe is some Stuart fake Armstrong news. Armstrong even playing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, he's on the left side of midfield. Oh, yeah, the half squad. <laughs> Fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, wait, Brandon, you're supposed to be our source of news. I, I know. I just thought I started already for a long time, but <laughs> I, I was just hoping if I keep my mouth shut, somehow <laughs> well, it, won't it, it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my fucking what? My internet just stops. What's this? Oh no, the stream just stopped. Okay, weird. Terrible oh, defending mine. That's such a poor goal to concede. Oh, nah. not not poured it by the Bravka because it hit, got hit by Dan Burn. It gets like off his not, you shouldn't let belly. that come in in the first place. It's that right hand side. <sighs> Show off him on the second time you lose the ball. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, head off Dan Burn as well. Yeah, yeah, that's why the Bravka couldn't get it. But so it could go down as an own goal. I oh, know it looks like it was on target. Mm. It's just, Kyle Walker Peters is in so much space on that right hand side. There's no one gone out to him. Jacob Murphy doesn't close him down quick enough. He just drops the shoulder, okay. gets the ball in. It's a nice ball in. It shows your character, lads. Yeah. Yeah. We got this. Just Jacob Murphy. Like, I love the lad, but his defensive awareness is so poor. Mm. No, I just want to absolutely batter these because he's just a windy little bastard. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's that's poor from Burn, to be fair. He's just... I don't know where he's disappearing into the goal. <laughs> yeah, hits his arm and goes in. All right. Don't make it easy. Sure, just grab the ball instead. If you know he's going mm. in anyway, just grab the ball. Yeah. Make it a penalty. Give a shit. <laughs> Shelby, Shelby has been terrible so far. He's not terrible, but he's given away the ball a few times. Mm. Yeah, he looked a bit knackered in the last game. Obviously, came out and made that apology afterwards, even though he had a half decent game. Um, clearly, looking a bit leggy. <sighs> oh well. I've gone for it. Okay, it's say, time I... to show some character now. If we can show that we can come back from uh, from being yeah behind. yeah. Well, we've, it's not the first had, time we would do that. 
We've had all sorts of wins recently, haven't we? We've had drubbins, we've had clinging on by the skin of our teeth. We haven't had one that we've come from behind to absolutely hammer them yet. So. <laughs> Oh, Stewie, 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 and Adam Stewie. What's uh, the restrictions like in Holland, Brandon? Which restrictions? The COVID ones. Oh, it's just uh, only in public transport and in the airports. You still have, need to have uh, like a mask, and that's it. Yeah. I got kicked out when I was on my way from Czech Republic to the Netherlands in Germany. From a, I got kicked out of Burger King because I didn't even had a had a mask anymore. And they said like you need to have a mask. I said I don't have one, man. <laughs> so they said you have to leave. You, you you need to leave the store. So okay, whatever. Fuck your shit store. So then I was thinking like fuck it. Actually, I'm I'm being stupid. I can just go through the drive through. <laughs> so I was there again, and they, they must be thinking this motherfucker is back again. <laughs> and then it's the it's... same order, double yeah. double whopper cheese. It's only um, airports and hospitals now that you've got to wear a mask. Or doc mask Doesn't injuries. make any sense, though. So. Yeah, the, the the hospital is just to make just to. Well, like, yeah, health hospital, whatever. The most, the most, I like, get it, but people. airports and, and, and in trains, like if you if you don't need to wear it anywhere else, what what's the what's the point of wearing it? We don't have to wear it on public and... transport, like. No. No. We do. It's just I don't, I don't, I don't, and I don't use public transport much anymore. Yeah, I, I, I should the, with the gas prices. Yeah. Moment, moment, these the, moments, the, thing, the thing with the aeroplanes is, it's like this is like agreement between all the European countries that like they would um, yeah. just keep wearing, just keep wearing masks. Probably because because after you go through border security, you're in like no go zone basically. Yeah. It's weird though because you can you can't queue at the toilet, so you've just got to watch the toilet when you're in the airplane. You do? You do? What? You do? Yeah, so you've just got to stand there like staring at the toilet, like going and run to the toilet before you're <laughs> done. And if the doors open, immediately go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm back when, in an airplane. When I was flying, sometimes uh, and you still needed a mask, or you still and you needed a mask. All I did is like ordering when the stewardess came. I ordered always two beers so I could go all the time. Be yeah. like, I mean, yeah, I'm, st- I'm still drinking. I'm still drinking. <laughs> Even when well, it was I'm... empty, I just pretended like I was drinking. You know. <laughs> I'm going back to Tenerife on next in two Mondays. In two okay. Mondays. Supposedly it's one one. Is the chat lying? Is Brandon going to do a fake smile again? <laughs> Go on, Brandon, you got it. Oh, if it's Wood, I'm going to hit the roof. I fucking love that lad. I can't, I can't get enough of Chris Wood. He gives me a stonk on. <laughs> you do your Wood. <laughs> he gives me Wood. <laughs> Go on, Brandon, don't let us down, lad. It, mate, it's nothing yet. We're still on our own house. We're still <laughs> on our own house. Wait. Fraser on the left hand side now. Place it to target, back to Fraser. Fraser back to Shelby. Whips it in, Shelby. Wood? Yeah, it's Wood. Get in. Good <laughs> <laughs> Wood, you couldn't have been left Get off. in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get in. Fucking let in. Finally. Chris Wood. Oh, I fucking love it. Chrissy Wood. My fellow hey, countryman, sort of. Everyone in Because we that is from New Zealand. Wood. He's no he's not even anywhere close, your fellow fellow countryman. <laughs> Mate, my dad is born <laughs> in New Zealand. I know, but you also claim like half of Europe's your nationality as well, so you gotta say much about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Leave said, me alone, man. We said <laughs> pretty much we had a feeling that Wood would get off the mark today. Everyone in the predictions was saying he would as well. And I'm yeah, they, they were right. They said on the next one, they said oh, a lot of uh, people said Bruno will score, so let's hope it will be true as well. Let's hope they're right there as well. Shelby getting a lot of stick earlier in the game. Picks up good header. As well. Yeah. Good fucking <laughs> header from Wood. Like he needed this one. Hope hopefully more to come now. Now he yeah. he got the feeling of scoring. 
See, I don't, I don't really get the criticism of him that he's had in the oh. last twelve games. I mean, that gives you an indication yeah. of how far I am behind watching. Uh, <laughs> sorry, listening to this. I've just seen the goal go. <laughs> you didn't see it. You heard it, mate. I heard Jesus it. Christ, man! What are you listening? With, are you listening with your eyes? I'm listening with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what a ball from John Joe Shelby! It's almost a mirror of where Southampton's ball in came from on the other side. Absolutely you just fantastic. said what a goal by John Joe Shelby. What a, what a ball! Oh, what a ball! I'm not. I'm not far ahead. So, not I don't. Mad. I don't just speak the English so good. There, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's. I'm glad we responded well. We've responded quickly there. That's a brilliant ball in, brilliant run, and what a header as well. But this is. I'm not. I don't want to give to. Well, he had some good chances for Chris Wood before some sitters, but these are the kind of crosses he needs to get. Yeah. And sometimes he get, he got crosses, but they were slightly off. But this yeah. this was perfect. Couldn't miss that. That's brilliant. This this mm. this goal is typical of Chris Wood. Typical. Yeah. Soccer Steve. We're not excited for the championship, do we? <laughs> oh mate. Brilliant ball in from Shelby. Brilliant header from Wood. Came from that left. Hand Imagine Van der Beek and being Deli Ali, yeah. saying. Or Van der Beek saying, I, I don't want to play a relegation battle. Like, look at him now. Yeah. Who's laughing now? <laughs> Super stalker, Steve. <clears throat> Jordy boys are on a banter. Van der Beek should have known better. <laughs> oh, clear it. Could clear it by Burn? Or was it target? <clears throat> so basically see, the same height, so you kind of you kind of tell. I've just put it on the private right. chat, so I can see the comments now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, as much as I like uh, knowing knowing what their score is at the right moment, it's, there's nothing that's quite the yeah. same as watching it with your own ears. Um, <sighs> Well, one day we'll we'll all have the same stream and we can all be at the exact same minutes. I think Brandon's like thirty seconds ahead of me, then I'm thirty seconds ahead of you. <laughs> what what minute you guys are now? Um, thirty five right now. Okay, I have thirty five forty now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the face of that. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm getting some. Uh... Yeah, the, the commentary are on 34-45. Wood still celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard the I heard uh, the UK government decided to lower the, the like the speed of the internet in Leeds. <laughs> yeah. They they just want to make That's me suffer. Look so yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, news coming in from the Leeds United game. Aston Villa have taken the lead uh, with C no, Philip Coutinho. Oh, oof, sure. Philip Coutinho scoring. Was it a penalty? No. Pulled back. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> that's a horrible deflection. <laughs> uh, Keeper's been absolutely stuffed there. So Leeds losing. Oh, what are we doing here? We look that ball to Grimaraj. Did you see um, Mbappe's goal that got disallowed yesterday? Oh, it was trans yeah, yeah. Oh, Un oh, Unbelievable. Southampton hit the crossbar. Jesus. Ooh. Adams. So, uh, as it stands, the Leeds losing. Wolves beating Watford 3-0 now. Uh, and Chelsea beating Norwich 2-0. What a hit. Luckily, that it comes on the, off the crossbar, to be fair. Yeah. Cool. He hits it perfectly to you. Mm. Jesus. To so Bravka, nowhere to be seen as well. Other results elsewhere absolutely going our way at the moment. We've just got to make sure we get something out of this. Brandon's prediction's already yeah, been proven wrong. For sake. Shut, shut down again. Yeah, he always goes down, doesn't he, though? Hopefully there's nothing serious. Well, wrong. Sec sec well second time now. Yeah. Is it the same injury as he holding his groin? Yeah. Do you reckon he'll get a new contract? Because he's out with contract shortly, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's in uh, talks, I believe. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the club the club said they're in talks with Cher for a new contract. Longstaff's also out of contract, but there's apparently no talks planned at the moment. But I think Eddie Howe wants to keep him on. Well, um, Matty or um, 
No, Sean, sorry. Sean. Sure. Yeah, Matty, Matty got a big... Maybe, maybe Matty as well, if he does good. Well, I mean, he got like a five-year deal a couple of... What, last season? Was yeah. it a five-year deal last season? I can't remember mm-hmm. how long it was, but... Um... I'm off to the toilets real quick, lads. I, I turn off my mic, no worries. Thank you. Cheers for letting us know, pal. Oh, we've got no one to spoil it for us now, no, apart from the chat. <laughs> it, yeah, talking about the Madrid game, it's crazy how much PSU bottled it last night. Like, oh, it was incredible. They've inherited that Spurs gene from Pochettino. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, his second, was it his second goal? The um, pass from Modric was unreal. Oh, and I think his third, his third goal was unreal as well. Yeah, first time finish was incredible. Proper yeah. striker, Benzema. Like. Get him next, no, get him next season. He's got 78 goals in the Champions League, I think. 78, somewhere like high 70s. And he hasn't scored a single penalty. It's mental, that. Absolutely mental. Some player. It's a, it's an absolute travesty that we didn't get more to see more of him on an international stage for so long. Yeah. But, um, I think he's the only player to score in 18 Champions League seasons in a row. Bloody hell. <laughs> All right, stat man over there. <laughs> I was just bored at work, so I was just flicking through. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so a lot of people's score predictions at the start of the match coming in. A lot of 1-1s thrown about. A draw was the most popular prediction. A couple yeah. of wins. There was a couple of 2-1s, a couple of 3-1s, which are still on at the moment. But, uh, yeah. Alex p- piping up, is telling us about the Longstaffs as well. So it's good call to keep the Longstaffs around, seeing what Howe can do and his te- what his team can do with supposed Deadwood. Yeah, you know, if, if Rafa Benitez can get the best out of Sean Longstaff and make him a £50 million player, then why can Eddie Howe not? So, because I think he got well and truly bruised. <laughs> yeah, he's gone so far backwards he kind of go forwards again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they won a couple of days ago, didn't they, West Brom? Yeah, I finally mean, got off the mark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he t- I think he's taken them from fifth to like thirteenth since he's joined yeah. us. Incredible. Murphy down, by the way. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Sorry, it's Kimi Rice. It's Kimi oh. Rice. Oh no! <laughs> so it sounded it's a bit more genuine. Yeah, because we we were after that uh, Che Adams for ages, weren't we? When he was like a non-league yeah. player. Yeah, yeah. Not fit. Not fit to lace Chris Woods' boots, unfortunately. <laughs> I'll say that, and then he'll come and score a second half. <laughs> Is Adam Armstrong playing or not? He's on the bench. No, he's on the bench. Yeah. This will be, this will be a massive blow. Is Bruno Guimaraes can't go on. We've got long stuff on the bench. Hopefully, then Joe Linton's injury isn't really that bad yeah. for you. Because otherwise, it's going to look. Otherwise, we probably get better as fuck at Chelsea next Sunday. <laughs> Imagine Joe Linton not playing, Jim Rice not playing. Yeah, we could be in big trouble, especially against someone like Chelsea. But uh, apparently, Rich James. At, at that moment, at that moment, I wouldn't. If that happens, if that's the scenario. I wouldn't mind playing five at the back just for that game. Lascelles, Burn, and Cher. Yeah, that's if Cher's my target. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know if you saw earlier today. Reese James apparently picking up an injury. What a shame! <laughs> <laughs> it means he'll miss, he'll miss the next four games, which obviously includes us on Saturday, uh, Sunday even. But yeah, he had a fucking yeah. blinder against us the last time. So, what's that sarcasm, you... uh, Liam? What? What's that sarcasm? Just a bit. <laughs> Did you not see that Chelsea can only spend twenty grand a, a game when they go away on European trips? I love that. I love yeah. it. Right. Thanks for the boys. Yeah. 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 Um, Sam said in the group chat earlier that you know he thinks he'd obviously no um, definite confirmation, but he thinks that Joe Linton's been rested along with Alan Sight Maxman for that Chelsea game. We can only hope mm-hmm. that he's not actually picked up a serious injury. Yeah. Um, he has travelled with the squad, which is a good, good sign. Good flick on by Dan Byrne. Otherwise, it would be Shea Adams again. Very dangerous cross. Well, it's Cheltenham next week, isn't it? All right. Any betting tips, mate? Um, no, I'll just pick any. It doesn't really matter. I would say uh, I like, I like that horse, uh, Flower Power. Play Flower Power. Yeah. Really knock yeah. up the target demographic here because I couldn't give less of a toss about horse racing. 
I, I just put Lauf the power is, eh? just past them. <laughs> Lauf power is uh, check him out. He, he he's being back to win. All right then. Well, if he's been back to win, that'll be rubbish odds then. Right, we've got to have some, some outsiders then. Well, if, yeah. if, if you want to be sure. <laughs> Printing money, man. Yeah. <laughs> don't think you can ever describe betting as printing money. <laughs> um, I was on a stag do Newcastle races. And um, I wanted to admit, oh, I'll put this five on. I think I was going to win like 500 quid if it came in. He's like, don't be daft. You'll just lose your money. So I was like, all right, whatever. But it's just put a five or so. Put put it on the horse that was like favourite away, and guess which horse won? The, well, it's I always it. it's always I looked at him. And I was like, I looked at him. I was like, you, you owe me five hundred pounds. <laughs> but you know, for never a fact, listen, it's, never it's listen to your mates when you're betting, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't really know nothing about horse racing, like. No, I wouldn't have the fun. Like I said, you should go for flower power. Easy, just take my bet. You kind of do that in every race, though. He's only raising one. <laughs> well, he, he might be. Well, he's not. He's close to be favored to win. You know, like he's like one of the whatever four. Is it? Like it's not just one. It's not just him only favored. It's like close with him. So. Yeah, with Mister Sam Mullen, it needs to be here to chat about horse racing. He needs his bloody own bloody show to chat about that. I think he probably it's, will. It's, it's, is Sam watching us? So he, he can back me up on power power. <laughs> yeah, Sam, if you're watching, jump on a half time, mate, and give us some uh, some horse racing tips <laughs> from Cheltenham next week. There you go. He's probably got a bloody podcast coming out about it. I, 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 I definitely did some I, I did some research on it, you know, because I just want to bet for it because Sam is so into it. Yeah. I think Carlos as well. Yeah, yeah. I know their stuff. I remember them doing that video of the races when they were like, I think, yeah. was both of them being yeah. dressed up or was it just them? I think we've got a, a rogue Johnny making an appearance in a second. Hello, pal. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thanks, mate. Are you How are you? Oh, there we go. There we are. We're all right. We're playing okay. Uh, one one still. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've seen Chris score. Obviously, it was um, a great finish, but... I've heard, I've heard the goal that we considered wasn't very good at all. It was sloppy as out. Yeah, was it's it? come, come from the right hand side with Jacob Murphy's uh, lack of defensive awareness and then what? Poor, poor positioning. Uh, Matt Target gets on. I goal. have, oh, we I have Joe to say, Southampton looks, looks, looks dangerous though because they hit the crossbar already. <coughs> uh, few very good, yeah. dangerous uh, crosses going in. I have to say, Southampton is the more dangerous side. Right. Apart from our Did you goal. say that we're missing Joe Linton today, boys? I would say yeah. so. Yeah, definitely. Mental to say. <laughs> like, given what, like six months ago, we wouldn't have even we've dreamed. Got, like, we've got no enforcer, really. I think that's the problem. Yeah. I'd still take a point today, mate, I have to be honest. Uh, yeah. yeah. I said that before no. the game. I think uh, my prediction was 1 1, and I said I'd be happy with it. As long as we don't lose, I'll be happy with it. Because yeah. I think the points to come, you know, Everton next week's a big one. Um, Southampton on a good run of form, so. Can't complain at one one. All the results are going our way as well. So yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen. I think the good, I think the good thing from a Newcastle point of view is, is if we can just keep, you know, being tough to beat, and even if we do get a point a day against Southampton, which is, you know, it's possible if it's one one. I don't. Is it half time yet? Is it? Uh, uh, almost minutes. two more minutes. Oh, one more minute. One more minute to half time. Uh, yeah, they're they're behind me, so <laughs> like way. So, so, like I say, you got if if if, if you take a point, yeah, twenty nine points. If someone said that to me after the Watford game, by the time you play Southampton and the rescheduled game, you'd be on twenty nine points and you'd be, you know, seven or eight points clear of safety. That, that's, that's a really good return. So, um, just got to keep going, I suppose. Just get get the point today. If we nick it, we nick it. Chelsea's going to be tough, but. I'm just happy how the boys are playing. Defensively, it looks solid apart from the odd error <laughs> against Southampton, potentially. Yeah. Just uh, for your information, Johnny, um, Cher oh, two times went down already with an injury. And really? also, Gimerais went down. Yeah, Gimerais also went down for an injury. Just as, how, as has short, Bruno, uh, how has Bruno started, actually? That's interesting. Uh, uh, they say John Lincoln has. Meh. He's been really? to the middle of the road. I think him and Shelby are getting on top of each other a little bit. He's, he's had good, some good flashes. He had a shot 
um, which looked dangerous, but it was deflected over the bar. And um, he had also a nice, uh, he had a nice pass to Jason Timo as well. <laughs> yeah. So I think, like it's, I think you've got to remember it's his first, it's his first like full on start. So, yeah. Um, like for, to be honest with you, if Newcastle can win another couple of games, say, I don't know, say we win, if we win tonight and win against Everton next Thursday, and Newcastle more or less on thirty four points or something, that's that's pretty much a Newcastle safe in my opinion. I would put you could put Bruno in from now to the end of the season and go right, yeah, learn how to play Premier League football or learn how to adjust to it because if you can do that. By the start of next season, when potentially more players come, yeah, you're going to be in a much better situation. I, I yeah. said, I said before the game started to Matt, I think 32 points is enough to stay up. Yeah, yeah. potentially. potentially. I mean, I think, like I say, didn't... Everton don't look like getting points. I don't know if Leeds. I think Leeds were getting beat last time I checked. Yeah, they still are. It's only 34 minutes in, but they're one 0 down against Villa. Um... Which is obviously a positive result. Wolves are three 0 up against Watford, and Norwich are two 0 down against Chelsea as well. Two one now, is it? Two 0 Two 0 Sorry, I said two one. No, no, two 0 yeah, um, Like I said, the results are going our way, so you, you would expect Chelsea to win. You would expect Wolves to win now. Yeah. Leeds, you don't know if it's no, they've got, got some good players, but yeah. It's it's I difficult. Think if you're to just do their job, you'll be laughing, aren't you? Yeah, well, exactly. It's on, on us to get points on the board. It doesn't matter how else, how everyone else is doing. You know, you look at last season, um, we were talking about it before the game. Last season, 29 points was enough to stay up last year. Um, yeah. Everyone that went down had less than 29 points. So, um, obviously, Norwich getting battered. Watford look lethargic tonight. And then um, it's that last spot yeah. that between kind of Burnley, Everton, Leeds and somebody else, maybe Brentford. Um, yeah. So, I we're not just don't forget. But, Just don't forget as well, like today a point is, is, is I wouldn't say massive, but very much needed against the Southampton side who is good and is on a very good run as well. And we don't play our strongest side, so. Yeah, I think Southampton are a good team. I think I think a lot of people would have had them as like relegation candidates. I think this, I probably would have had the same like relegation candidates. So, yeah, let's we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting if Newcastle have been I think if they can just frustrate Southampton, because I think Southampton fans will be thinking that we need to be beating teams like Newcastle, because they'll be thinking we need to finish in the top half. We can, we can get a top half finish out of this. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Still in the FA Cup as well. Like Southampton, like we've got a good team manager. Okay. Manager's all right. I don't think he's as good as what people are making out. I think he's no. got the best out of a just being daft in his interviews. I don't think he's anything special. No. He's just being daft in his interviews and whining. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, Southampton in the, in the Premier League, at least, you know, they've got a perfectly balanced record. 28 games played, 8 won, 12 drawn, 8 lost. Um, 36 points, sitting in 10th, 10th position after today, as it stands. Um, not, it not seems bad like Southampton, really. Brighton, Crystal Palace, you just know I'm going to get relegated. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you mentioned Crystal Palace, you know, they're after today, they'll be 11th on 33 points, and we've got a game in hand. And if we pick up a point here and win, uh, win our game in hand, we're only... Ooh, one point behind them. Two so, points. Two points, I think. I'll well, say one point. I'll, point. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, yeah. if you can kick me out, Matt. Johnny, I'm gonna, Johnny, Johnny, just one, just one, one question. Off. Johnny, one yeah. question. Oh, you still one there? question. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, why, why, why are you on a stroll? I just got work or something. Or... Yeah, I've just finished work. <laughs> so. Oh, I guess that's why. Right. Okay. I was, I was gonna. I was thinking about going down for the Southampton game, but. When you like Thursday night, it's so difficult. Like unless you're Lee Lawler, who decides to like <laughs> get a train at ridiculous o'clock and then go stay, go back home, then go back to London, and then go back home, and then go to Liverpool a few days later. Like I, I love well, Newcastle. He's, he's stays in London, isn't it? Yeah, well, he's I've, seen, in London, I've right? got me, I've got me ticket for, um, I've got me ticket for Tottenham away, so I'm looking forward to that. I think that's my next away day. <laughs> Johnny, get a shave, please. Sam, you're just jealous. You're just jealous. You know, jealousy is really, 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 really poor for me. I, I, really I am poor. jealous of your beard, Johnny. I'm really jealous of your beard. <laughs> hey, it keeps you warm, man. It keeps you warm. There you go. I, no, seriously, I wish I could grow a beard like you, man. Seriously. Stop it, you tease, you little flirt. <laughs> I'll get I'll get out, boys. I'll just if, if anybody can text me a stream, that would be greatly appreciated. I'll be about five minutes from home. So if anybody I'll, can I'll, uh, I'll text you I'll text you one stream, before uh, I'll take I'll text you one in WhatsApp. I jump out real quick then and 
Good man. Oh, right. I'll you one. Enjoy the second yeah. half, boys. I'll see you later on. Nice one, Pat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice one. See ya. Okay, uh, I've got to jump out real quick to send Johnny Australia. All right, I'll fly solo yep. for now. Off you go. <laughs> right, lads, just me then for half time. Um, have you missed me swooning over Chris Wood yet? Yes, you have, Sam. Uh, I think the words I used were stonk on when he scored. Um, we've also, if, if you've not been tuned in, Sam, we've also asked for betting tips for Cheltenham. Um, I forget, forget Brandon's pick. It was something like Flower Power. Uh, that was Brandon's pick. I don't know the first thing about it, so... You know, if you can get in the comments with some some tips for everyone on here, that would be fantastic. But as for the football, which is what we're here to talk about tonight, yeah, not the best first half. We've looked a bit shaky uh, out of possession. Southampton dominating the uh, the ball at 65% possession in the first half, which, you know, we, we are comfortable out of possession in most games, but they've pressed us high. We haven't looked comfortable on the ball, haven't been able to get out. Um, the goal was poor to concede coming in from our right-hand side, Jacob Murphy, not closing his man down well enough for me. Matt Target getting beat at the back post and Dan Byrne just getting caught out and deflecting in off him. Uh, two shots on target for Southampton, one for us. Two shots off target for Southampton and for us and one blocked shot for Southampton, none for us. So it's uh, it's been a it's been a mixed bag. We're still in it by a long shot, um, but it, it's all to play for. Second half, be happy with a point, as I'm sure most people would, but we'd love to see three. Just cannot really lose the game. I think Brandon's back and ready to go, so we'll bring him back in. Hello. Um, so Hello. Sam Sin, Sam Sin, should he do a Cheltenham preview on NFTV Extra on Monday night? Oh, is it Monday night? On oh, Cheltenham preview night on NF Yeah, Monday night. Should he do that, Brandon? Sam. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I back flower power all the way. You can ask him. Ask him. Can you let, uh, let, can you let me know who he's uh, backing? That's let let us know in the comments down below if you want Sam to do a Cheltenham preview on Monday night on NFTV Extra. He's uh, he's very in the know with all this stuff. He knows what he's talking about. So I don't know if we can say he's in the know, actually. Uh, but yeah, he knows what he's talking about. At least he'll give you some tips. Um, and it comes to football. He's saying midfield struggling to retain possession. Southampton have a lot of joy against Kraft and Murphy. Yeah, we said this when we were watching it. You know, that right hand side, it's, it's a strange decision to put. Fraser on the other side when you know he could offer a bit more defensive cover than Jacob Murphy. Obviously, Murphy picking up a very early booking as well, which means he's not be able to commit to challenges as much. Wouldn't be surprised to see him subbed off in the second half. But then again, you're missing out on Alan St. Maximan coming off the bench. So you'd probably say Almiron comes on or maybe, sorry, Richie on the wing. Depends who you want on that right-hand side. Maybe you bring Richie on and switch Razor and Fritchie over. Razor and Fritchie? Fraser and Richie over. Um, just to add a bit more defensive cover on that side. Uh, yeah, some people picking holes in that side. Crafty Murphy need to be subbed off and spend the second half picking up later into it. Mary's car park, man, Keir and Armour are on. Yeah, I, was, I, know, I know Eddie Howe says, you know, you don't change a winning side and he's been trying to, to keep the team the same rewarding winning performance. But Emil Kraft's been absolutely torn apart in that first half. And man, has been match fit for a couple of game weeks now. So I was quite surprised to see him not starting. Probably will see him at some point in the second half. Andrew pointing out we're looking we're looking like we're trying too hard to get Bruno on the ball. Yeah, I've noticed that at times as well. You know, we've got John Joe Shelby alongside and we seem to be forcing stuff through Bruno and it's not always been working. So maybe we try Having and play to around. say that though, John Joe lost two times possession in a two fairly dangerous positions where the counter attack came from uh, Southampton yeah. twice and it was dangerous as well. Straight to yeah. the midfield with too with too many men in front of the ball. It's the midfield has looked a bit lethargic. Uh, it's looked a bit tired, and uh, Willock's not really been in the game for me apart from his header that he put into Rose Ed in the last few moments of the game. It's uh, but the, con the yeah. contracts uh, though, Matt. The contracts of like we were first all not not too pleased six months ago. I don't know how long Joe Lincoln is playing well. Maybe yeah. just say three months. Three months or whatever, we went to please see him on the score uh, on the on the sheet, player sheet, yeah. and now we're just feeling so bad he's not playing, and we, you just see how much we miss him. Really, yeah, we need that that yeah. man person that is chasing balls. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds yeah, great. That sounds great. By the way. <laughs> He's been a massive miss today, Joel. Uh, we've got a bit of a debate going on, or a bit of divisiveness going on in the comments. Simon saying Bruno's playing well. All right, fair enough. No, okay. Daniel, Bruno's not playing well. 
So <laughs> that just shows you how we can watch the same game of football and come to different conclusions. Yeah, it's been a bit hit and miss. Not the best half of football from anyone by any stretch of the imagination. But oh, uh, by what? Yeah. It's, what, what have you made of Bruno's first half performance? Not really outstanding besides that shot and goal that he tried, but not convinced yet, to be fair. I, yeah. I wish I wish I wish I could say the opposite. Don't get yeah. me wrong, but yeah, no, I mean, like like Johnny pointed out, you know, it's going to take some time adapting to the league, um, and mm. maybe you know it's his first start. Maybe he struggled adapting to the pace of it all, just because the last couple of times he's come on have been against tired teams where he's been able to dictate the play a little bit more, whereas Southampton are pressing a little bit higher. Um, mm. ooh, ooh. Sorry, Aston Villa nearly scored another one there. Uh, Otar the foul, uh, making a good point here, to be fair. Two crosses into the box, and Southampton struggled to deal with both of them. Ritchie on the left, Fraser on the right. Wood could have a field day. Well, we mentioned a little bit earlier on about maybe taking Murphy off and bringing Matt Ritchie on. Would that make sense to you, get a bit more power in the box, just whip balls in and hope Wood gets on the end of them? Mean, meaning you would change formation and drop Ritchie to like the right mid? Or... I'd, I'd say just keep it the same and just just take Murphy oh. off and put, uh. put Richie on. Either put Richie at right mid or bring Richie on for Murphy. Put Fraser on. I think, on the I right think it's mid. even better for him to play in that position because he he doesn't have the legs anymore. Yeah. Yes, he still has to come back a little bit, but not as a right back anymore. That he has to run that much. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it could it could work out very well actually. Yeah. Uh, just another thing I want to touch to touch upon, like the sort of slaying of. I, I, don't, I don't want to say slagging like, no, Bruno, but let's, we should give him some uh, time as well to adapt to the league as well, because how long did we need to wait for Joel, Joel Linton? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, well, hopefully it doesn't take as long as that. And, but, uh... and it was the same price tag as well, so hopefully yeah. it will, will work out eventually, just a little bit earlier, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, we know he's going to come good eventually. There's talent there, undeniably. Um, yeah. It's just this game might be a bit of a struggle for him. Um, it will be interesting to, see, interesting to see how Eddie Howe changes the game plan in the second half and how he approaches the game. You know, will he go out and attack to try and get all three points? Will he sit back and play for the draw? Will he change the personnel up? It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, uh, Andrew is saying Bruno's had his moments, but not really affecting the game high enough the pitch. Yeah, Joe Linton, as much as he is an enforcer in that midfield, you know, winning the ball back, he also distributes it really well to the forward players. And Bruno's not really done that too much. Uh, obviously, he's only played 45 minutes, but uh, you know, I'd like to see him picking his head up a little bit more and looking for Chris Wood or maybe switching the ball over to the wings with uh, Murphy and Fraser. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Aaron saying we'll get the real Bruno when ASM comes on. Unfortunately, that won't be today because St. Maximan's not in the squad, but those two did seem to link up really nicely. Uh, Bruno was always looking for Alan St. Maximan when they both came off the bench the other week. A uh, quick word from Ian. Uh, 650 Dalton fans at York on a Tuesday night. Not bad for a fan-owned National League North Club. A lot of respect for that. My mum's from Darlington. So uh, I'll, I'll, uh, if you can have a second team, they are uh, my second team. So hope the Quakers, Ian, uh, and hope you enjoyed that uh, trip. But uh, yeah, back to Newcastle stuff. Yeah, hope we get three points for the game. Yeah, I think we're all hoping that, but it's whether we can actually see it out in the second half. It's been a bit of a shaky start in the first half, but could go either way. You know, we could get all three, could get a point, could stay 1-1, or it could go absolutely tits up and Southampton come out swinging in the second half and we end up losing the game. But, I got uh, to do it real quick before uh, half time st- uh, second half starts again. Yeah. Be right back. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, I'm flying solo again. Eh? This is frequent occurrence, this. Um yeah, Pete point, making the point here. I feel Bruno has to cover for John Joe defensively. If we get Joe, Bruno will be freed up. Yeah, I did did think this. You know, we've had a lot of comments saying, you know, Shelby and Bruno clash, uh, are like clashing with each other, overlapping with each other. And that's true to a certain extent. They're very similar kinds of players to a certain extent. Um, and they, they are stepping on each other's toes. So it'll be interesting to see if Eddie Howe switches it up in the, the second half. Is he going to bring Longstaff on? Um, and if he does... You know, who does he bring him on for? Shelby or or Bruno? Does he hook Bruno, you know, save him for Chelsea? Um, you don't really have another option on the bench for central midfield. Maybe De Ball or De Bola, as, um, as I was told it was pronounced earlier on. But uh, it, we don't have a lot of options on that bench in the midfield with uh, Joe Linton being out injured. So there's not a lot, especially defensively as well, you know, with Sean being a bit of a slightly more attacking-minded midfielder. It'll be interesting to see how 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 approaches this game in the second half because I don't know what I would do as a manager. I think maybe I'd 
get Richie on at maybe the 55th, 60th minute for Murphy. Uh, Andrew's saying that uh, Murphy's got to be high on the list to come off with a yellow card. Yeah, we can't afford to be going down to 10 men. And if Kyle Walker-Peters nicks past him and he leaves a trailing leg, you know, that's his game done for. So, um, yeah, he's got to be priority number one to take off. He's not having the best game, but, uh, yeah, it's it's... We'll see how the second half goes. Brandon's back in a in a steam of in a cloud of steam. <laughs> I got I got a delivery as well. Again, I, ju- I just went to the toilet. Then. <laughs> uh, Dan Kane in the comments. Uh, quick quick question: In America, being an NUSC fan for thirty years, but can never find the word to chance and the songs. Well. I mean, I would teach you them on here, but uh, you'll probably forget them by the time the video's done. So everyone in the comments, uh, give Dan, show Dan a bit of love and teach him a few of the chants in the uh, comments down below. And hopefully if he's singing along at home or even gets to a game at St. James's Park one day, then he can sing along as well. Uh, welcome, Dan. I can notice you're saying it's your first time here. Welcome. Everyone's welcome. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We've got NUFC content coming out of our ears. Uh, it's obviously all football related, but obviously we've got plenty of other stuff as well. The Greenwood and Mulliner podcast uh, had Robson Green on earlier in this week, which was a bit of a corker as well. He's a massive Newcastle United fan. He's a season ticket in the Gallagher end. Uh, a big Newcastle fan. And we've got a load of interviews like that on the channel as well. Uh, Brandon playing wrestling with his Velcro. I don't actually know what he's doing there. <laughs> it's my uh, it's my order, man. Oh, nice one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice box, box, the boxing gloves, finally. Are you up for a fight in the second half? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, right, players uh, come I, I order them together with this uh, this thing. <laughs> Players coming out in the second half. Um, so we should be bringing you second half coverage shortly. We'll do our best to keep you up to date with the action. Obviously not on the TV in the UK uh, or the radio, I don't think. But uh, we're, we, we'll do our best to bring the action and uh, give you a bit of company and some hopefully some good chat along the way. Don't forget to get involved in the comments. Is there anything you want to know about us uh, personally or any opinions we've got, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think as well. And if you haven't already, Drop a like on the video and subscribe. It's well, it helps us out massively, not just to NF Newcastle Fan TV, but also to NFTV Extra. And if you've got Twitch, go over there and help us out as well. I know we've got a couple of watchers or streamers on Twitchers on Twitch uh, tonight. So we much appreciate it, by the way, on Twitch. Yeah. So thank you, everyone that's stuck with us for the first half. We're getting underway for the second half. Apparently, we're about two minutes behind. Uh, so. Keep us, you keep us up to date in the action with the comment down below. We'll bring you our reactions as and when we get the action on our um, screen slash ears slash streams. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Dan, if you look, have a look in the comments, we've got some uh, some chants being bandied about from NUFC Swan. <laughs> and then uh, Rayner following it up as well. <laughs> So, uh, oh God, what, what I'd give to be at that Southampton game right now. Uh, Jay in Atlanta. Dan, you've got a fellow American here. Jay in Atlanta. How will we, the lads, let's get a result in the second half. Yeah, let's come out swinging. I'd like to see us put up a bit of a fight in the second half. Take the game to Southampton. Well, I, I have to say about Jay, I, I'd love to see him a little bit more in the jet, to be fair. And he used to come on uh, the fan action sometimes, so uh, yeah. being more in videos, but I, I, I miss him a little bit, not going to lie. Yeah, we miss you, Jay. It's always nice to have you on the show. We obviously understand you're a busy man and time and zones aren't always the friendliest, but he, he fairly not much knows where he's talking about when it comes to even yeah. when he, he he's an American, he knows <laughs> what he's talking about when it comes to <laughs> to football. But seriously, especially when it comes to analyzing stuff and statistics, he's fairly well in that. Yeah. He's fairly good at that. Sorry. Yeah, we've got a couple of knowledible Americans, don't we, with Ian and... Uh, yeah, Steve. Ian, with Steve and uh, Jay. Sorry, Jay. I said Ian because uh, I was just about to say thank you to Ian, who's subscribed. You're more than welcome. Uh, welcome to the family. And we yeah. even have a very knowledgeable and, for me, very much appreciated member and fellow Toon fan. Uh, it's Paul from Toon Down Under. Yeah, yeah. The, Aust- the, Aust- the Australian. I love uh, Paul. Jay's been Love very, to have a beer with him. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, Jay's been very busy recently, Brandon, but we'll try and come on some more. So we look forward to that, Jay. Uh, Mickey's asking what the score Wait, is. Say it again. Uh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see the Jason. Uh... I was just saying he's, okay. he's been very busy recently, so he'll try and get on more. Cheers, mate. Uh, Mickey, uh, what's the score? It's currently 1-1, uh, as far as I'm aware, anyway. <laughs> Adam's asking where Soccer Steve is. Don't worry. Don't worry. He'll be here later. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll be here for the fan reaction show, maybe. Scoring the players and fan reaction. Yeah, exactly. So uh, he'll be here I'm not, I'm not allowed anymore on the scoring the players. <laughs> <laughs> You've been stripped of your uh, your rights on the scoring the players. <laughs> hey, well, if Liam never returned, maybe you'll, you'll be allowed on. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, no, uh, no Miguel Almiron on the pitch tonight, Jay. But uh, maybe we'll see him, depending on how how Eddie Howe wants to switch up that midfield as the game progresses. We might see him. Yeah, Al- Almiron is uh, Jay's child, basically. Yeah. Coming from because uh, for the people who doesn't know, Jay is an American, lives in Atlanta, supports him. I, I, I think I could say he supports Atlanta as well. And uh, yeah, obviously Almiron came from Atlantic United. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, we, you know, there's a high chance we could see Miggy today if he wants to play him in central midfield. Because I think if he takes Shelby off, who's looked a bit leggy, mm. move Bruno into that central spot and put Miggy yeah. on that left-hand side midfield, there's a very high chance we could see him a bit later on. Um, I actually wouldn't be surprised if Jay has some shares in the in, in the contract of uh, Almiron, like that he gets some shares <laughs> of, of, or, or, not, or his buyout clause or whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hit it. Oh, shoot. Corner kick, Newcastle. Nice, nice. Uh, Albin, I, are there a lot of Swedish Sorry. Newcastle fans? Well, I'm sure there are. If there's any watching along tonight, make yourself know. known. Make a new friend. Uh, we welcome I know, anyone I, I know uh, on Facebook, it's, it's, it's like a group of uh, Swedish oh. uh, magpies. I know Brandon, there is, actually. Uh, Brandon, I don't want you to get excited. Don't get excited. But the chat has just exploded with a goal for Bruno Guimaraes. Has he scored on his debut? We'll find out. I don't know. My, my, my stream is a little bit leggy as well, I'm not going to lie. So uh, that's all right. Are we I, having I, a corner kick now? The way the fans are going on, the I think it is. might be true. Dan Byrne hits it back. Oh, what a flick. He flicks it. <laughs> Go, oh. he, he flicks it. He literally, he literally does. Bruno. He literally looks like. Oh. What a he fucking, fucking backflip or whatever. How you fucking call it? I don't know. I love what it. the fuck? <laughs> Oh, two, on. two, black white army. Oh, get in. Uh, get whoever, in, lads. Whoever in the comments earlier said before, 2-1 Newcastle United, Chris Wood, and no, it was 3-0. Chris Wood and Bruno Guimaraes, make yourself known now because that is incredible. I want the lottery numbers for next week. Come we can on. watch it back, actually, when the stream ends. Someone yeah. said, like, Guimaraes to score, Wood to score, and we're like, I- Think on top yeah. of my head. Have I missed the goal? Here he is, Glory Hunter. He only comes on for the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, lads. Fucking bossy. Uh, I, uh, I asked, what I said, is, what, I want us to come out. Spell? I wanted us to come out. Oh, spell. what a goal. I've just seen it. <laughs> hey, goal on his first start for Newcastle United. Ooh. What a headline. Cheeky, he cheeky look. goal, I'd like. Cheeky flick. I would have been running up to uh, that raffle, raffle. The, the, the South Hampton manager, mate. Right. Just in his yeah. face, like, come on, 30 million, stick that down your throat. <laughs> Hassan Hutto, you mean? Yeah. Get in. There we go. Go on, Milik. What you going to do? Hit it? Oh, Shelby Maroy. Bruno? What are you doing? Crosses it? Oh, God, give me a nice one. Oh, fuck. Medic target. Oh, I, if we win this game from goals from Chris Wood and Bruno Guimaraes, go I'm on. Save in fucking House and Hoopers. Murphy, this is it. Corner kick, Newcastle. Get in, lads. Oh, shit, we get it. I know, I'm behind. They're, they're, they're putting the pressure back on. They're putting the pressure back on. I love this game. I love this game. Oh, we find our tempo now. <laughs> Keep it going. Yeah, Not sure what game. was in the tee of uh, Southampton, actually, but they come out a bit weak. What a game. <laughs> They're struggling. <laughs> Good hit by Mari Target as well. Another corner by... Who, who takes it? Target? I think so. Then Burn hits it back as well. Again? You, oh. 
What an instinctive finish from Bruno Guimaraes. That is incredible. Almost Cheryl finish yeah. it. Fuck. <sighs> Have you seen a better goal this season, Newcastle fans? Let us know in the comments down below. I think Trippier's free kick might be up there, but that is just pure instinct. Oh, wait. Dan Byrne does the same thing as this corner kick that you're about to see. He flicks it back. He he, he heads it back, actually. The, what, the same thing he did with the uh, Guimaraes goal. Like it goes to the far post, he heads it back. Almost shared at the end. I have to reload my stream because it's a little bit laggy. It's like loading all the time. Try again. Please. Thank you. Play. Whew. That is so much finish from Bruno. I don't think I'm getting over that anytime soon. First goal for Chris Wood, first goal for Bruno Guimaraes, and what a game to get it in. The manager that's been constantly complaining about playing against our new signings because he was absolutely terrified. Brian, look at the private chat. What? Okay. Look at the private chat. One second. I, I, I started on my uh, uh, private chat. But yeah, Dylan, absolutely right. Bit of Brazilian magic. It's what we needed to turn the tide in this game. Wilson against Palace, another good shout for a fantastic goal. This is the best Newcastle United channel. You're damn right it is, reluctant gamer. <laughs> and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to us as well. We're bringing you live fan reaction later tonight, as well as scoring the players and reaction from St. Mary's. I'm also on TikTok. You. And we're also, we're also on TikTok. Down with the kids, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't do that. Okay, no worries. I'm I'm on my phone, so I can't do that, mate. Yeah. I think. Can you not do it, Matt? I think I've done it, but I don't. I don't know if it's uh, worked or not. Why, why, why don't you put it? As a, why don't you do it as a sticker? Jesus, look at this. Newcastle's possession, last five uh, last five minute possession. Newcastle eighty three percent, Southampton seventeen. Oof. Things I like to see. I think it was actually which game was it again? Wasn't it Manchester City Man United? That Man City had like ninety two percent possession in the yeah. second half or something like that. Something weird like that. Ninety two. <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> How how will we play him before before we score again? But I mean, he came out well in the second half. It was uh, mm. it was good. We we started pretty strongly. Um, I mean, this, the end of the second. It's all the end of the second half. It was um, Joe Willock probably should have done better with the chance that he had. But uh, no, we've come out swinging. Bad, but we're now putting the screws on. Really, the fans. Yeah. Ah. Newcastle fans going mad. <laughs> what did you just make of the uh, True Geordie podcast? I've not had a chance I, to watch I, it. Mate, I, 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 really, I, I really, I wouldn't say fan, but I like, I like the True Geordie podcast and, yeah. and the things they talk about. I have nothing against them. You just wonder how much was taken out like of the actual edit, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, there was some, definitely some part that was edited out because yeah. he, went, he needed to take a fucking poo or whatever. He said he <laughs> needed to go to the toilet. He literally said in the podcast, like, mate, can I go to the toilet real quick? I said, yes, yeah, sure, mate. <laughs> Why not? And then you had like this overlay sort of thing. <laughs> I might still haven't watched the, the podcast with Trip here. Yeah, not yet. I think I'll, uh, I'll uh, do you it. Should, you should really should, mate. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Gets a good insight as well on on uh, on Eddie Howe. Yeah, yeah, and there's uh, some good insight from him there as well. And uh, if you want some more good insight as well, download the One Football app, uh, which is in the link to which is in the comments down below. Adam earlier tonight getting on board with that. It's class. You get all your news there for Newcastle and, and as well. In general. As well, if you want more insight on Newcastle Fans TV, you can become a member from already one ninety nine. Uh, month 
He wants his commission this month, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> they just came up, man. I'm trained by Lee this way. <laughs> yeah, Took 13. me a year to, to all this uh, sorted out. 13, I, I want um, Dan Byrne to score next and then Matty Target. And then yeah. who, was the, who, was the, who was the fifth signing? I don't know. I mean, Trippier, yeah, but I can't, obviously. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want well, he could, to come, his off, crutches. come off the bench on his crutches to spam yeah. one in. Take a free kick with his left foot. Yeah, the, the way Southampton playing now, if you can. Yeah. Oh, I, I just noticed I'm just getting a little bit cocky here. Like, <laughs> yeah, let's not get too confident because this is when they score <laughs> in like the, the 80th minute. How often do you use your punching bag, Brandon? I just put it up today. <laughs> literally, yeah. I just got a package. I got a package coming in as well. Here, me gloves came in as well. Like I, I used to do it always in my gym, but yeah, I saw this. I saw this only for a hundred quid. So give it, give, give um, it a punch. I want to see if it stays up. Fucking let me. It does. It does. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I gave, I gave it a good uh, little. I always love it if the wall just collapsed there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, but you know, you also have like a bar here for like pull-ups. Go on and do a pull-up then. Damn. Uh, Go on, Brandon. If you trust your handy way, <laughs> <laughs> but I have to put, I have to take this one off. Oh, there's always an excuse, isn't there? No, literally, because otherwise, how am I gonna do it? Like, well, just try it. Fuck it. <laughs> you really want me to do? Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> yeah, we want you to do it. <laughs> Give him go. Yeah. Right, you can stop now. You're sort of embarrassing me and Matt. Nah, I can do about three. <laughs> uh, I think I can just about hold the handlebars and then that's me done. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point here. First first half looked off the pace. Second half, we're playing a lot better. Yeah, we, we did um, look a bit off the pace in the first half. You must have had some team talk at half time to get them to pull their socks up and play like this. Well, that, that just should, like how we, we don't really, unless I'm being stupid, we don't really score many corners from many corners to it. Uh, I think it's pretty average. You know, we don't, we're not bad at corners, but we're not yeah. fantastic either at them. I think we're a bit middle of the road. Um, I'm not sure what the I don't think are. we scored much from corners, really. I think we scored more from set pieces. Yeah, so I'll see uh, stats on it now, but. Um, so, but yeah, how are we playing, Brandon? Like clearly, he seems like you're a few things ahead of me. Huh? How are we playing? Seems like you're a few seconds ahead of us. Oh no, uh, Southampton is on the attack on the left hand side, going back to the uh, to the midfield or to the halfway line. It's passing the ball around, really. Yeah. Going switch switch to right now. I think it's better. Yeah. Like. You know, I think it's funny is that Everton spend half a billion pounds in an or in the relegate near enough in the relegation zone. They got yeah. a relegation fight. Things you love to And spe- financially, they're they're looking like they're in shit as well. Yeah. Um, well, how much did they spend? Forty million on Deli Ali. Well, yeah, it was a weird one. Like officially, it was what, free. Wasn't he? Wasn't he on the free? Well, it was officially it's free, but uh, like with all the add-ons, it can get up to forty million. Yeah. Uh. Ridiculous. None of them add ons are going to happen. But, but, but yeah. what, what, should, what should activate the bonuses and the add ons? Like they stay up or something? Or, or yeah, finish so. like 10 or finish like 10 or something? Or I don't It'll know. It'll be like appearances, like how many appearances he's had, how many appearances uh, he has for England, like um, goals. That's a tackle um, run. You can tell I've been F. playing football manager recently. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Come on, Dan. Good, good interception. I'll good block by Dan Byrne. Dip out for a second. No worries, mate. Oh, cheeky flick by Gimerice, but it so, didn't go to anyone. <laughs> Are you planning on coming over anytime soon? Yeah, man. Uh, probably, well, it's going to be May. It's probably going to be the last end of the uh, get, uh, last, last games of the season. What is, uh, what, what is the last game of the season, anyone? 
Ot Pen. No, I'm man. not. I'm not. I'm not saying the last game of the season. Ah. One of these last couple of games, mm. you know. Um, oh Jesus, Imarais is down again. Yeah, Looks I, I like... think he's just getting getting used to like getting hit hard. Do you know what I mean? I think that's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's more physical. Right? Yeah. No, I, because I go to Czech Republic uh, end of April was again as well with my mom. She's yeah. going for the first time to Czech Republic, so don't really see like otherwise it's going to be very expensive to do all of it. Yeah. But I'll, I'll figure the game out, of course. I, I will be back before the end of the season. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I wonder where well, Newcastle are doing like... Yeah, I miss your You miss me man. already? Yeah. I just want to just smash your ball on the ground. Ah, there you go. Miss <laughs> you too, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I wonder when Newcastle are doing like their pre-season tour. Is there any, yeah. any news already about? Or... I don't know. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be like Saudi Arabia, you would assume. Yeah, probably. Sorry, mm. I was just watching this in the background. For a second. <laughs> I think I'm on the back end of that conversation. So, imagine him in the background following our conversation, just talking to himself like, yeah, probably. And then just switching <laughs> That's an unbelievable finish, by the way, that, that Bruno goal. I think Bruno picked up an injury, I think. He might be coming off. Yeah. Well, he, he doesn't look too bad going off now yeah. because he's getting stopped now. Long stuff coming in. It, it's, it's not like... he looks like he's walking fine, but I don't think Howe wants to take a risk really as well. No. Uh, he's more just an Im- impact injury, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, he's yeah, just. It would be smartest to bring maybe, him up. He's taking. He's making this space now. Like it's like I don't know how you call it. Yeah. This is um. This is uh. I mean, we'll, 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 yeah. Longstaff's coming on for Bruno, I think. But uh, yeah, this is the second game since what? Well, while we're on this run, that we've gone behind, and we've come back to okay, take the which we've not done really this season, um, apart or from ever under Bruce. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, exactly. Uh, the ga- the games we've won this season, uh, w- the ones that the only we've only come from behind once this season to win the game, uh, which was against Everton. We've come from behind to draw against West Ham, um, I think maybe uh, a couple other times this season as well. But to actually win the game, we did it against Everton, and obviously we're still on that run. It's it's amazing, it's, like you mentioned, ooh. Bruce. Uh, um, you mentioned Ooh. Bruce. Amazing the the turnaround that we you know if we went one 0 down <laughs> Bruce that was game over. Yeah. And now now there's this desire to come back. It's just it's all down to the manager really, isn't it? Oh fucking hell, man! You're right there, Brandon. Yeah, Kraft injured makes makes a fairly hard tackle. Oh fucking hell! It's, it looks like NFL, man. <laughs> like American football. <laughs> Jeez, and then and then injures himself. Well, that's I mean, there's no. Dramas if he does hurt himself. Um, James asking, did Bruno go off? Yes, Bruno's gone off for uh, Sean Longstaff and um, picked up a little injury. Look at, look at that challenge. <laughs> but, um, I mean, if Bruno is injured for Chelsea, I expect Joe Linton's probably going to be fit enough to start. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like American football, man. Oh, like, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if that's a foul, though. Like, he's got, he's got the ball. Oh, just hey, man. No, no, but like, he's gone in. It's like a fucking body check. Yeah, but they, they like both, NFL. they've just collided with each other. They've not. He's not like. <laughs> but he, he got he got the ball first, and then. Fuck yeah. No, but like seriously, oh, he gets on, the ball. <laughs> not, that other lad bottled it. The Southampton player bottled yeah. it there. Come on, mate. Just, 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 I think it's just a little bit too reckless. Yeah, I think not if he like... slides in there, then that's fine because it's just a, it's just a strong challenge. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. <laughs> Oh well, just a strong kill. Well, I, I, I'm biased too, but I'm just clearly too reckless in my opinion. What are you drinking the day, Brandon? Oh, shut up. Is that why I'm not doing scoring the players? What? Is that why I'm also not doing scoring the players? Oh, well, Broya looks injured. I think he was a gen- 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 genuine question, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I think it actually it was. Getting he wasn't trying to get the out. Yeah. <laughs> Lee and Sam probably thought like that. That is, will probably be on the piss again. So. Let's not put him on scoring the players. <laughs> but Liam, you you have to say, when I did scoring the players the last couple of times, I do better scorings than Steve does. He's just 
Ah, but you couldn't do any worse than what Steve does. Do you know what I mean? That... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I love okay, Steve. Okay, his okay. ratings are all, all over. <laughs> but you have to say, Steve gets sometimes a lot of stick for like his scorings and his ratings. Steve just gets a lot of stick in general. <laughs> Steve can just speak in all the comments, just hate on him. But that's just mainly, I think, 80% is down because he's being American and yeah. English people just being butthurt about a yank, how they say it, talking about football, which is ridiculous yeah, but in my opinion. But that's what it is. We, we just we just praise the American and Australians watching oh. Newcastle fans TV actually when we were still <laughs> in our own. We, we we talked about Jay in Atlanta, uh, Steve, uh, Paul, the, the Australian, Paul down under. Yeah. Yeah. They they all know what they're talking about. They, they probably have more knowledge about football than me. Not gonna lie. Oh, that's not because all I be, because all I watch is Newcastle United. That's why my knowledge is not much. Well, even your knowledge about Newcastle is not that good, so... Oh, yeah, man. At least you're shit at bowling. I beat you? I, I can't be that bad. Mate, I, mean? I, I, I just watched it back, yeah? I watched it back today. Not gonna lie. And you had a footfall. And it was seven points right. deduction. So right. I would... It, it, now, it now, now, I... It, it does. It shows, it shows the red thing behind your score when when you throw it shows the red one yeah, but seven points seven point, they didn't take the seven points off so that's no because it's yeah well never mind you just you just a sore loser because I then went and smashed you all over our pool as well so but who who, who won the first game of, of uh, bowling actually you okay I, I, I actually I actually won the lower. second you smashed me by one point yeah. if, if we don't yeah. take the footfall off Smash it all over. Yeah, sure, mate. By one point. Yeah. How many points I I smashed you the, the first game? I can't remember. <laughs> it was around twenty. So pipe down. Hey, the the only thing that matters is the one that won the last game. <laughs> yeah, sure. You were you were also close with pool, and that, yeah. that's actually on flock as well. That, yeah. That's on flock. But at least I beat Lee with Paul. Was yeah. this on camera or was this? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Um, it was on well, bowling was sometimes. Time. So bowling if, was if sometimes. They go back and judge for themselves. They can go watch it, can they? Yeah, they can. Yeah. Is that on NFTV Extra? Is it, lads? Yeah. yeah. Also, the yeah. full the whole the, the full pool game is actually on NFTV Extra, and then Lee has actually a pretty. Yeah. Funny, funny, funny commentary on it. Oh, Adam Armstrong is coming in, by the way. It, it's really yeah, funny to the, watch, actually. Yeah, I was on the phone all the time, so I was distracted. Yeah, you know what I mean? with, with his bank, because in the end, I had to pay again, because he couldn't fucking pay. <laughs> I don't mean, mean yeah, Apple Pay. You, 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 were, you were basically acting like you're a drug dealer, or you couldn't. <laughs> you had problems with your card. Oh, no, I can't pay. pay. Can, you, can you please pay for the drinks? <laughs> Fuck off. We have all paid for all night. It was like that. <laughs> I, I, I paid for all that night, mate. I'll give and you the money, my lord, so you can shut up. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking hell. Uh, in the meantime, uh, in the footballing <laughs> world, <laughs> Norwich have pulled one back against Chelsea. Uh, Timo <laughs> Puckey scored a penalty, and Adam Armstrong has come on for Southampton in part in place of Broja. Broja? 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 Broja. That's the one. Broja. Uh, so he's going to score. So we need another goal. <laughs> yeah, let's focus a little bit more on football instead of. Uh, I was business. enjoying that. I was enjoying that. It's like I'll just get the popcorn out and just watch me parents. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you still there, by the way? Who? When we went to that uh, place playing pool, and no, you oh, weren't. No, right? no I'd, I'd had to go home by that point. No, you left. You left after motor home, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I had to get the train. Yeah. No, you're seeing your pal. You want to meet your pal? Oh, yeah, no, well, I was meeting him and then I was going back to Leeds. Don't say that, his oh, girlfriend is watching me. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. girlfriend is watching. <laughs> I was on the train, lads. <laughs> oh, I, I, I also had an awkward moment when we went to the Norwich game. So, basically, yeah, we, me, Johnny, Lee, and Matt were like, and his girlfriend were in, uh, which bar was it? Shearer bar? Or no, uh, yeah, it was, um, 
It was one of I next, next to Nine Bar. Yeah, yeah. I never go in there. We were drinking oh, there. No, so, no, so the basically one, one in the stadium, but to the left of Shearer's Bar as you look at it. Oh yeah. Uh, the, the, the the closest one to Bobby Robson statue. So what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had an awkward moment, so I asked to Matt's girlfriend, so like, uh, so, so, so you're the sister of Matt, right? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, no, I, I said, I said, uh, 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 cousin, cousin, yeah. I think it was. So you're the cousin of uh, Matt. She's like, she's like, no, I'm his girlfriend. I was like, she she be good though. Yeah. It was it was all right. Don't worry, mate. You don't I, actually, I, I, I actually apologize to you, to you later on WhatsApp as well. Honestly, he, he said sort of you know. he texted us the morning afterwards to apologize as well. <laughs> 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 I'm really sorry about that. Oh, bless you. Uh, yeah, that was uh, quite cringe for me. <laughs> That's yeah, for you last time. Yeah, that was a horrible game, that that Norwich game. The fucking oh, hey, have won. Water. If Clearing Clark hadn't got sent off, we wouldn't have seen Joe Linton at centre mid. True. Uh, sw- swings around. Who, who, it. It who, who, who got who got in the goal again? Who what? Who? For for them. Uh, Norris. Some, yeah. Um, there was a red card for Norris, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I thought you know. Selfish, selfish shouldn't have done better there. Hmm. Uh, we've had John in the comments. Uh, ooh, I've just lost it. Hi guys, I support Newcastle. Been at two games not since COVID. Uh, live in Newport, Eddie House, and been brilliant since coming to Newcastle. Great supporting, great, great stadium, great supporters. Yeah, we are, John. Get yourself up to Newcastle more often. Get yourself to some more games. It's a good atmosphere up there at the moment. Uh, Eddie House doing Newport's a fantastic. Newport's like um, Wales, isn't it? Yeah, it's a long, long trip. So, uh... But if you if you don't go to Newcastle, make sure you subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV to stay up to date. He's on the ball tonight. Oh. Like, not me. Uh, Adam asking how long's left. I mean, just under, well, just over ten minutes left. I think fifteen minutes. Yeah. I'm at seventy-six, twenty-nine. Yeah. James asking, are we sitting back? Not particularly. Um, a little no. bit, but not not massively. No. We're not, we just we're we not... just had a shot on goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're, we're playing okay. Uh, other scores on the doors at the moment, uh, pretty much as we were. So Chelsea still two one up against Norwich. Wolves. Chelsea. You are Chelsky, Chelsky, Chelsea, Chelsea 2 1 up no. against Norwich, Wolves 3 0 up against Watford, and Villa beating Leeds 1 0. But that kicked off 15 minutes later, that last one. So that'll be still on 15 minutes after we come off. Um, well, we'll still be here, we'll be doing uh, the score of the players and live fan reaction as well, of course. Um, if you want to get involved in the live fan reaction, the link will be in the comments and the description down below. We'll get Steve and Nathan on for that as well. They'll be chatting to you guys about the game, what you thought. You can come and get your thoughts across. If you can't wait that long, get your thoughts across in the comments down below. We'll try and read as many as we can and get involved with them. So, yeah. So, it's, it's, instead of giving soccer Steve a uh, stick normally, please let down uh, in the comments know, oh, good save by Dubravka. It was a cross, but he just tipped it over. It almost went in. Uh, just let down, let know in the comments if you actually missed Steve on the watch along to give him some positivity. Yeah. Instead of I, like, I, I, don't, I don't miss, I don't miss Steve on the watch along because he says like, oh, there's a goal." I'm just, uh, I'm watching. Uh, I've got the Villa game on the on in the background. Villa have just gone two 0 up against Leeds. Matty Cash has just scored, so that is Leeds losing their eighth game in a row as we speak, oh. which is not a positive run for them. Did you say that's a goal, Ian? There's a goal, yeah. For, no, no, for, I, was saying, I was celebrating. I was, not, I was oh, saying well, when, I, when you watch it I, with I Steve, seen, I, yeah. when you watch it with Steve, he's just like goal, and you're like from the French third division. Do you Ooh, know what could say. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny about Steve? But when I find it funny and kind of respect as well, I I can't do that myself actually, because when it's with Steve, when I'm on the watch along with Steve, I'm always behind. Or sometimes mm-hmm. when he is behind, he can still cheer after the goal's already scored and he knows the goal gets scored. Yeah. If I'm behind, like now I'm ahead, so now is my general genuine reaction, you know, to other to the goals. But if if I would be behind you guys, I, I can't really I don't know. Yeah. Just takes it away a little bit. 
So when when you celebrate, I was like, oh well, that's just ruined the match for me. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but but Steve, Steve still goes mad. I don't know how he does it, but I wish I could do that. But yeah, Harson Hutel throwing absolutely everything but the kitchen sink at the moment. He's brought Shane Long off the bench. <laughs> So he's taken Romeo and Broja off and has brought Adam Armstrong and Shane Long on. So he's playing Shane, Shane Long's used is, is it just one so we, we've used so far? Yeah, just long stuff for Bruno so far. Um, but I imagine we'll probably see Miggy and or Richie coming on as well, um, just to add a bit more defensive. So they, or maybe even Mankio, to be honest. Double up on that right hand side with Kraft. Uh, might I don't know if you play it. We're pressing um, we're pressing quite high, like yeah. yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm enjoying watching us. We're not. We're not just doing a Steve Bruce sit back and defend the lead, which is good. Five at the back. Sam, it's Sam weird. It's weird there. seeing like Ryan Fraser put some effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been. Well, he been... does. He does the last couple of games. Yeah, a lot of maybe, 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 maybe even the most. Mm. Yeah. Besides, besides Joe Linton, it's a case for Joe Linton. Yeah, this he's uh... all over. The... He's just all over the place. Mm-hmm. At the oh, yeah. Go on. Go on, shall we? Hit it, Murphy. Oh, that pass. Yeah, Earthhound making a good point here. Southampton have got a lot of the ball, but we're pressing and trying to break on the counter. Yeah, they've got, they do have a lot of the ball, but we're letting them have it in these non dangerous positions. So it's a lot of possession in their own half with the centre backs not going anywhere, just making a lot of sideways passes, which we're happy for them to do. I mean, that's fine. But as soon as it gets into a dangerous area, we're stepping up with the press and forcing them backwards, which is really good to Especially watch. Especially Dan Boone. Yeah. Dan Boone has been busy again today. Uh, if um, Harry Maguire gets in that England squad, it's a fucking disgrace, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I never loved Harry Maguire. I never just hated because he Dan, Just because he said Dan Byrne, and I think Dan Byrne's been a far better player. Yeah, fair enough, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same height, I guess, right? Uh, no, Dan Byrne's taller. Yeah, Dan Byrne's Is massive. He? Yeah, he's like... Yeah. Imagine, imagine how tall. off the pace Maguire is and how, I would say that, like, stiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Byrne's the fourth tallest player to ever play in the Premier League. Oh, Peter Crouch's got to be up there, hasn't he? What is his height actually? Uh, six foot eight, in meters. In meters, who Byrne or Crouch, mate? Burn. Ooh, let's have a look. Let's do, let's find Google. So I, I, I know I'm six five. Yeah, he's 1.98 meters. So I, six six. Yeah. I, I I am six five, so I I am not uh, one meter ninety one. So uh, six four is one. What you said one nine eight. One point nine eight, yeah. According to Google, so he's probably just a little bit taller than you. Hey, you, you get in there in at centre back over. You, you, but you you and you and Liam are tall as well. Um, yeah, I'm not not massive. I'm like six two. <laughs> that is actually classed as massive. You know, it's not average. Yeah, yeah. average height's quite small. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I stand next to Dan Byrne, I look like a dwarf. <laughs> With his gangly my, arms. My, 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 my brother gangly. is uh, two metres and one centimetre. Really? Wow. Yeah. He's Big taller boy. than me. <laughs> Skinnier than me, though, but he's tall. Aye. Yeah. Gangly. Uh, hard wolves... to, it's, hard, it's hard to be skinnier than me, but... Wolves are absolutely twisting the knife in at Watford. It's 4-0 to Wolves now, which is good. Yeah. Watford's... Wolf is having a good game as well, again. Yeah, yeah. Wolves last, having a fantastic last week as well. They're having a great season there. Uh, if we look at the table at the moment, they with after today's results, they'll be 8th on 43 points. Uh, only well, 2 points behind Spurs. They're You're saying they're the having a fantastic way, season? You're yeah. saying they're having a fantastic season and they're, you, they're in 8th, please. Yeah, Tottenham should that. be at least playing for top five. Who hey, Wolves? Uh, no, Tottenham. Oh, to- no, yeah, no, Tottenham aren't having a fantastic. I think mean, same Wolves are having a fantastic season. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, so they're just behind. Jay, Jay in Atlanta. Miggy Almiron is getting ready to get in. Just saying. Come on, Miggy. Miggy for ooh, Fraser. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but he does a lot of running, <laughs> Liam. There you go. Yeah, Miggy for Fraser. Yeah, Fraser not contributing directly to any goals today, but another solid performance yeah. from him. Yeah. Did um, anybody see he the Kenobi trailer? The what, sorry? The Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. Yeah, it looks mint, doesn't it? Yeah. What's that? 
Star Wars. Oh. Never saw never saw a movie of Star Wars. You never watched Star Wars. <laughs> no. Need an education, lad. Oh, I'll turn up. I'll turn up well. I think. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Remains to be seen that. <clears throat> I hope it, man. Liam had a good time with me. Did? Well, seeing as you, you were the one that only had the money, so I had to have a good time with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you stick, stick around. Now I get it. Yeah. <laughs> it all comes together now. <laughs> I was like, I was like, should I block them in the morning just so I don't have to pay them back? <laughs> Southampton throwing caution to the wind, take Ali Yunusi off and bring in Musa Gineppo on a tricky player to bring the attack for Southampton. So they're pretty much throwing the kitchen sink at us now. Just under five minutes to play. Hopefully Newcastle can hold on. Let us know in the comments down below what you've made of the performance and if you think we'll hang on for the result for now. And don't forget, if you haven't already, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Where else can they find us, Liam? TikTok. <laughs> yes, we're on... Newcastle Fans TV on TikTok. We're on TikTok, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. As we speak, Aston Villa. Instagram. Sport. And Instagram. How many, how many subscribers do we have on TikTok, Liam? Uh, 600 odd now. Lovely uh, stuff. I think we're also on LinkedIn as well. So if you're in that sort of stuff, you can follow <laughs> us. Connect, connect with us on LinkedIn. Yeah. And also, uh, we also re recently signed up, which I control is um, OnlyFans. We only we also have our OnlyFans. Go to onlyfans.com slash Newcastle Fans TV for cheeky videos. Yeah, or you can just see Brandon's nipples for free on, on pretty much any other Newcastle video. <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah, you I, saw a sneak, sneak preview of that last, last yeah. weekend. We also um, have a Discord yeah. link, but you can only access it through members as well. Yeah, so. so sign up to be a member. From us, Brandon, tell us the prices. One ninety nine and four ninety nine. Yeah, you'll get exclusive behind the scenes content and videos before everyone else gets them as well. If you sign up to be a member, and as we've been speaking, Villa have a third goal. Callum Chambers bending one into the top corner uh, past Melier, so leads three 0 down. Absolutely in the mire. So that is fantastic news for us. What's uh, the next round of fixtures? They go. What next round of fixtures? Like who plays who? Yeah. I'll have a look. Let's find out, shall we? He gets excited about it. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> Obviously, we've got the game on uh, at the weekend against Chelsea, so we'll find out who's playing everyone at the weekend. Game week, game week, game week, game week. Fixtures. So, Saturday, we've got Brighton who are hosting Liverpool. Brentford against Burnley, which is a big six-pointer. Yeah. Man United versus Spurs. Then obviously we've got Chelsea, Everton, Wolves, which if Wolves play like they've been playing today, that could be real bad news for Everton. Leeds, Norwich, another massive game. Southampton, yeah. Watford, a good big game down there as well. West Ham, Villa, Arsenal, Leicester, and then Crystal Palace, Man City is the Monday night game. And About the Leeds and Norwich game, I wouldn't mind seeing Norwich win, actually. Yeah. Or, or, I mean, or, at, it, least, or at least draw. Yeah, if they could, you know, Norwich are pretty much down. Um, so you'd, you'd expect, you know, if they get a point or three off Leeds, Leeds would be right. They're now at 70 points, uh, yes, 17. As it stands, we are 10. Oh, 10 points. oh fuck's sake, who's down? Meri target, or is it Kraft? Wait a second, I think Dubravka's just made another fantastic save there. Um, oh, yes, Kraft is down again. That's fine. Oh, come on, man. Don't give the guy so, so much to <laughs> He's been doing a decent job recently. I, I mean, Sam, I mean, Sam said two weeks ago as well. Like, he, he, it's so easy to pick him craft, you know? Yeah. He, he oh, is the scapegoat for pretty much everything. Last, he is, last weekend, he, he played a really good game against Brighton. He was really, really good, actually. Not sure what he got from scoring the players, but... Oh, Dubravka, go away, man. Good save, Dubravka. That's why we have Dubravka. Hey, that's the Ooh. second or third save he's made this oh, game. Oh, Aye, very good. Good cross in. Yeah, as it stands, we're 10 points off. off Could be offside as well, actually, now I'm looking at it. But it doesn't matter. Didn't still go very good Massive. save. <laughs> still very good save by Dubravka. Don't need to look at VR because he saved yeah. it. Yeah. So, I, I don't want to jinx it, but as it stands, 10 points above Burnley in the relegation zone. 
Nine points above Everton, eight points above Leeds. What's the Easy bottom game. three on? Bottom three, so Norwich are on 17, Watford on 19, Burnley on 21. Mm. We'll, we'll be on six. Go on, lads, stick it together. We'll be I on want to six. kick again for Southampton. <clears throat> and what's the teams above? Where? How many points difference are them? So, um, if we win this, we'll be two points behind Brighton, same number of games played. We'll be two points behind Leicester, who have a couple of games in hand on us, and then two points behind Palace, who have played one more game than us. I think we should chase down Brighton. It's possible. With a team Brighton and Brighton and Palace, really? Yeah, Palace, definitely. Plus, Leicester aren't having the greatest of seasons. No? Uh, I see them. Yeah. For everyone in the comments pointing out, yeah, we're about a century behind. Yeah, we know. We know we're a century behind. There's no <laughs> TV or thing to listen to. So we're doing our best, lads. Doing our best. Six minutes give of added some, time. Uh, give us some slick. <laughs> Six yeah. minutes of added time to see out, which is uh, ridiculous. At least way. out of you three, us three, I'm doing the best. My, uh, I'm doing mostly my best. I'm, I'm closest to like. <laughs> Being on the right time schedule. How many you guys are on? I'm at 19.37. Uh, I'm, on, I'm uh, going to be on 19, 19 9 seconds. Chelsea have a third goal, so it's 3 1 Kai Havertz with that one. So Norwich pretty much certainly losing that. Uh, Wolves is full time 4 0 against Watford. And hey, Villa. Craft is on, yeah. off for Monkeo coming in. Six minutes stoppage time. Played by Dan Byrne. Another corner kick for Southampton. Jesus. Southampton corners 11. Newcastle 5. Yeah. Close of corners this game. There it goes. Corner kick. Straight into Lubravka hands. And takes his time. Goes to the ground. Taking his time. <coughs> Six minutes to hang on. Six months ago, I'd have been absolutely cacking my pants. Today, I'm a little bit. Mate, make little... it four because two minutes is already gone. Okay. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I had the same question, James. For what? What? I mean, I know there's been six subs huh? and one goal, but come well, on. Well, Cher went down two times. Yeah. Crap oh. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but if uh, first half, oh, yeah, it doesn't really count anymore. Who, who's, uh, who's, who's, who's Gimer, been your man Gimer of the match? Gimer Rice went off. Who's what, Liam? Been your man of the match. Wood? I mean, it's a difficult one because it's been... Wood or Dem Demburn, I would say. Or Dubravka. You can make a case I'm, for Dubravka. Make it too much Um He's not had much to do, but he's pulled off two brilliant saves to keep Good us in the yeah. Um No one's been outstanding, like no 10 out of 10s, I don't think. I mean, we'll come on to that and score in the players, but yeah, everyone's been fairly solid. Um, I think I think Dubrovka, actually. Yeah, and we'll find out on scoring the players, won't we? Yeah. This, so this, no one's... This, is probably, this is probably the first time that Dubrovka wins us a game. This yeah. season, though. Yeah, this yeah, season. Yeah. Kept us in it, that's for sure. He's not yeah. had a whole lot to do, but he's been confident with the stuff he's had to do, which is nice to see. Didn't couldn't really do too much about the goal. He was screwed by Dan Burns' deflection, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like a solid team performance as being like individually outstanding. Yeah, and I think that, that that's a good thing. You know, like you know, it's, we're, too often we've relied in the past on a Callum Wilson ten out of ten or an Alan St. Maximan ten out of ten to pull yeah. us out. Mm -hmm. Shit, but. Uh, I think as a team performance, you got to say like a ten out of ten. But, but that's yeah. that's the thing, lads. Like usually we we wouldn't win these games, but like also against Brighton, we don't play our best, we don't no. play our strongest squad, and we're still getting these wins over the line. As yeah. as it stands for now, with with two minutes left, it's 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 a change in the team. It's mentality, uh, good energy, and and. Preparation, I would say. If yeah. you look at the two, was it corner kicks or free kicks? They're strained on it, you know. Like 
two times, and, and one time there was a goal of it from Gimaraes. Then Burn hits it back, hits it back in towards the how do you call that thing of uh, the keeper, yeah. the, the five yard box? Six. Yeah, six yard, yeah, or six yard box. Yeah, to 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 get it going, you know, like you see they're training on it. Yeah, and and, and Liam knows as well. He, he see the Trip Jordy podcast that Trippier says we're just focuses so much on if we don't have the ball and we're pressing, what our position has to be and yeah. where you have to stand and it gives a different perception. Uh, yeah. Funny fact for you, Matt, actually, did you know that Jason Tindall texted uh, Diego Simeone to uh, attend together with Eddie Howe um, uh, some of his trainings? He yeah. learned a lot from uh, Diego Simeone and watched, watched their training. So I think yeah. he took a lot of, uh, because he was off, off being a manager for a while, yeah, and that's when Jason Tindo contacted uh, Sri Simeone. He said, "Yeah, sure," and and Trippier as well. Uh, Ask if they, they can attend the, the the trainings, and I guess worked off. I guess. Yeah, definitely. Right, so, so you, you should definitely definitely have a look at the uh, at the Trippier podcast. Yeah, through Jordan exactly. podcast. Um, right after I check out the Greenwood and Mulliner podcast. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. We're coming towards the end of the game. Referee should Ooh, be... Oh, good hopefully. save again by the Grafka. Holy shit. Well, I think that seals the man of the match. Who was it? Was it your price? Couldn't see it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to say oh, it. Also got deflected. I didn't want to say it earlier, but uh, Ward Prowse has been invisible in this game. Yeah. I think he is one of the most overrated players just because he can score a free kick. <laughs> Come on, please. Maybe it was Armstrong, by the way. Please, please, oh, yeah. please. Just blow the fucking whistle, ref. Yeah, it was it was Armstrong with the shot. It got slightly deflected and still Dubravka had his, had his hand on it. Mental. Come on! Get in! Massive, massive three points then. I think the full-time whistle has gone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 96-26 for me now. So yeah, it, we've, we've I think, had... I think Dubravka takes a free kick and then... Done. Full full time, 2-1, game over, three points, eight there on the, three on the bounce. We are massive. Four points off top ten. We are huge. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, still going on with me. I can tell you, Brandon, that the really? full time whistle's gone, mate. <laughs> Nothing, nothing's gonna happen well, on the screen that hasn't I'll, already I'll, I'll see I'll see you're still playing. <laughs> oh, we're on kick to the that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Absolutely, three points. Absolutely oh, yeah. They're still going on. <laughs> oh, now it goes. No, sorry, now it goes. Finally, Jesus. Huge, sorry, huge, huh? huge three points. In the top of the right there. Brilliant. Team. Actually, we should. Actually, I see now Graham Jones is in the dugout as well, and not high up in the right. stands. Absolutely incredible. What a game to come come from 1-0 down after a pretty poor first half performance to come out swinging in that second half. Debut goal for Bruno Gimaraes and Chris Wood getting off the mark as well. Absolutely incredible scenes. First goal as well. Yeah, both of them fantastic today. Brilliant team performance. I've I got to see this question before I go off. Uh, can, we, can we even still lose? <laughs> I wouldn't say that, mate. I wouldn't go that far, however. <laughs> we'll go on a run of like 20 games and beat him now uh, lose him yeah we won't win for the end of the season now you've said that <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's, ni- it's nice for Carl and his brother because they went out for the game yeah it's nice for Lee as well because he went down that's the funny thing is that uh, Lee said as well today on, on the WhatsApp group he's closer in distance to me than he is to his own home wow that's fantastic. So, uh, let us know in the comments down below what you made of that game. My heart's pounding because I was convinced we were going to bottle that. I didn't want to say it because it would happen. <laughs> uh, but only Liverpool more points than us in the league in 2022, which is some stat. We are absolutely huge. We're going to win the league next year, um, just so you know. Ralph Hassan, who you're, you're, you're up at least. <laughs> I'm buzzing with that because Hassan Hootle can absolutely do one with his crying. You can guarantee he's going to cry in the press conference afterwards. Yeah, easy, absolutely massive. Like he 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 built he built up to that, you know, because he's he, he him saying that is coming already from a little bit of fear that he feared us, 
And now he has, because he built on it, he has a good, solid argument that they lost because Gimaraes scored, Wood scored, that two signings, you know. You, you know exactly how it's going to go play it out. Yeah. It's yeah. Absolutely. Pathetic. Yeah. Like, you know, he's got his excuses. That's fine. He can have them. We've got the three points. We, we, can, jog, we can jog on home with them. Uh, absolutely massive from there. Uh, we'll be getting on to scoring the players very shortly. Um, hopefully, Steve can pop up at some point and join us. If not, Brandon, you're more than welcome to take his place. Um, oh, I, was... I, I thought you were going to kick me off, actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wait until see Steve turns up. Oh, it, this, this is a good fight, actually. I see now Santos versus Ankalaev, uh, March 13th, uh, Sunday. You're yes. going to watch it? Uh, I probably won't, I and mean, it's not my thing, but uh, oh. you do like oh, it. Oh, no, what's, what's it called? Yeah, Carl loves his fight. Carl was in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, another massive po- point, three points for us today, and another point to make as well. Norwich lost, Watford lost, and Leeds are almost certainly going to lose. Currently three 0 down with three minutes left in their game, so we are now ten points outside the relegation zone, and only a few points. Can we say it was another six pointer? It was another. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're three points on the board. It doesn't oh, yeah. matter what we want, but. Mm. You know, we're on this fantastic run at the moment. Chelsea are up next. Loads of trouble off the pitch for them. The heads, obviously... Easy 3-0. Could, easy 3-0. Conceded against Norwich tonight. So if, if Norwich can score one, surely we can score three. Um, not the best performance from any individuals, but a good team performance all round. Another Brighton-esque win today. Absolutely fantastic. We'll move on to scoring the players shortly. Who, Stick who, around. Who scored, who scored for uh, Norwich, by the way? Pookie from the, pot, uh, the penalty spot. Okay. He's still doing um, it for Norwich. <laughs> so yes Chris Wood off the mark for the club Bruno Guimaraes off the mark for the club um, fantastic result for us as well as I'm, I've just got I've got uh, one eye on the Leeds game there's a player being stretched off here for Leeds United that doesn't look good for him he's on some some heavy pain killers. I can't tell I think it might be Junior Firpo um, the left back you heard it right but uh, I don't know who that is so I'll confirm confirm when that uh, comes through but yes, uh, stick with us. We've got scoring the players coming up. We've got live fan reaction with Steve and Nathan later on. And of course, we'll have fan reaction from uh, St. Mary's with Lee and Carl really late on tonight. So stick with us for all of that. If you have enjoyed the video, drop a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, the Castle Fans TV Extra, and hop over to Twitch as well. Show us some love over there. Big love to everyone that's been joining us over Twitch in the past few games. I know there's not loads of you. Uh, Liam, shout us out where? TikTok. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's What's uh, our name? LinkedIn. LinkedIn. What's our name? Uh, yeah. uh, Newcastle Fans TV. Um, also got a website. Um, also on Twitch, YouTube. Members? Anything you want. Anything you want, we're there. <laughs> all right, so you can find us all on members. Yeah. You can do that one, mate. <laughs> yeah, go on, Brandon, take it away. What, what, what are the prices? <laughs> well, you can tell us, mate. <laughs> no, I, I'm just questioning Liam. See what, it, see if he even knows. Um, you get videos. You get like uh, members' videos, and you also get a Discord chat, which you can chat to us. The eleven. Well, and, I'm not on it anymore because I have to delete the app. I don't have it up my room. Anymore, but... And earlier amount, announcements for Greenwood and Millionaire shows. Yeah. But what, what are the prices? How, how much is what the prices? Are. Oh, how much it is? Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. There you go. There you go. There we go. All you passed right. your test, mate. You passed your Thank test. You. <laughs> uh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I can confirm it was Junior Philpo that went down with that stretcher, um, getting some heavy painkillers on the way out. I don't know what was wrong with him, but wishing him all the best as well. Um, Brandon, do you want to stick around for scoring the players? Because Steve's not rocked up yet. Uh, he's probably drunk as fuck after this win, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, well, uh, do you want yeah, to I can, I, I, I can. I can. If, if... Steve has shown up, sure. The more the merrier. I mean, I, I expect we'll see Steve at some point. Um, but we'll, we'll crack on, really. Uh, yeah, welcome to Scoring the Players here on the Castle Fans TV. This is an interactive show, of course. We'll, we'll be telling you what we think of the players. But, of course, we expect you to get involved in the comments down below. Let us know if you think we're talking waffle, what you thought, what scores you would give, who was your man of the match today. And, of course, we'll score Eddie Howe but at, right at the very end as well. Uh, which which one of the two of you would like to score Martin Dubravka's performance today? Me. Oh, Brandon's got his hand up. Phil Gibbs, go on then. Martin Dubravka, out of 10. Uh, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Easy as that. What, what did you make of his performance? Three, all three, three, 
Well, Owell didn't have much to do, but like he made three very important saves. Uh, probably won us three points today. So nine out of ten, I would say, man of the match in my opinion. Yeah. Especially after that last save. He's not. And, yeah, all, all three were. His last two uh, saves were probably the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stayed focused throughout the game, didn't he? Didn't let the you know the lack of shots phase him. He was was ready to spring into action when he needed to be. He's not. Um, he's not had the most to do in the past few games. Um, you but know, we, we, we've been defending quite well. Is it? It's. It's good to see that he can keep that focus as a goalkeeper. You know, he's not been tested over the past few games, but when it comes to it, and we can call upon him, we can rely that he's going to step up when we need him to, right? I think. I think it flows with the whole team. You know, like his defensive being more confident as well. So he that flows into Martin Dubravka as well, probably. You know, like he feeling more confident in his goal and know he can save his defense as well. Also with corner set pieces. I think. Yeah. 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 It's just about energy. Just brings a confidence to the side that you know we've we've shown over the past few games in that defence in the back line. I think Dubravka is a big part of that. Uh, Liam, I'll give you the honour of giving Emil Kraft a mark today, if you wouldn't mind. He's, you know, I'll just take it away. I won't say anything. Um, I, th- I don't think he actually put a foot wrong really today. I think he, he made some important blocks. I think I'm going to go with a, a, a seven out of ten. He done his job. Um... <laughs> Yes! Bruno! Brandon, love you, love you. I had a lovely second half there. Absolutely brilliant. Come on, the boys, come on. How good is Bruno? How good is he? Brilliant, Brilliant, mate. Oh, fantastic. For him to get off the mark on his debut and Chris Wood getting a goal as well, it's massive, isn't it? (laughs) I'll just, never just stay ever on. doubt Chris Woods. Uh, Chris Woods. Never doubt him. <laughs> never doubt him. <laughs> he was going to score tonight. Oh. And actually, funny thing is, a lot of a lot of people thought Wood would score actually and get my eyes. Yeah. A lot of you know, score predictions there. Hey. They, they, they named even the players who, who would score. And it was a lot of Wood and get my eyes. <laughs> hey. Ralph Hassan, who will, your boys got one hell of a beating. <laughs> Why did Bruno not knee slide in front of him and go like that and go, get your fight a bit, Ralph? That's what he should have done tonight. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Come on, the boys. You Speaking about um, the Bruno, Bruno celebration, um, Joe Willick tries to knee slide and absolutely yeah. just. <laughs> <laughs> <I've seen that. laughs> but I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, no. this is honestly. It, it, Watching Newcastle on a Thursday night, it's going to be your open conference in Europa League soon. So we may as well get used to these Premier League matches. <laughs> nice and easy, isn't it? It's a brain. Easy. Premier... Uh-huh. Who thought we were going down? I did not say after we drew against Watford that we were going uh-huh. down. Did not say that. <laughs> I didn't think that we'd be playing Burnley in a, in a win, uh, must win game. I didn't think that at the final day of the season. Oh, this is Mate, unreal. I, I, I would even admit, I said after the Norris game when I was at the parking garage that's out of sight, outside of St. James's, I even said we were going down. Honestly, what I, I said to, I, I, what I said to Brandon, after the Norris game, Matt, I thought, after the Norwich game, me and Matt went to the Norwich well, we all three of us went to the Norwich game, right? Yeah. I said to Matt, and I'm sure Matt can remember this when I was interviewing after, I said, Matt, I'm telling you now, we've got nothing to worry about, right? We're going to buy Bruno Gamiro, we're going to buy Chris Wood, we're going to beat Southampton 2 on in a rescheduled game. That's going to be on New Year's Day. It's going to be put on a Thursday night. We're going to win. We're going to be on 30 odd points. That is exactly what I said to Matt. Isn't that right, Matt? Yeah, word for word. Absolutely word for word. I, I, I actually exactly. remember it. I actually remember it. You guys talked about it in the men's toilet, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're, we're <laughs> long way, <with you>, Matt. <laughs> There's a recording of it somewhere. I, we'll find it. We'll we'll dig it out. Uh, <laughs> no, well, actually, not. actually, we were doing no, scoring the players, wasn't we? Yeah. Do you want stick on for the sport? It was all ten. Just stick on for scoring the players. Do you want to stick around for scoring right? some players, or are you going to come back, Johnny? Um, it's up to you. If you want us, I'll stay for a bit. No, stay, really. stay, man. No, I'll, 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 I'll go go. <laughs> Go on, and I'll stay for I'll, I'll stay for fifteen minutes. Storm. Well, we, we've interrupted Liam for an craft. So, uh, uh, Liam, I'm so sorry, sorry, Liam. I'm so sorry. Apologize. No, it's, we were all. It's all right. right. You said seven out of ten. Yeah, seven out of ten for Emil Craft. He said. He said seven. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, pretty decent. Um, your goal came from his side of the pitch today, but um, apart from that, it was okay. As good as we can expect from a male craft, really. What did we get him for, like, five million? It's what you expect, sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Hey, got, Worth every what, penny. We got CC, CC for, like, five million, didn't we? <laughs> but it's different times. <laughs> just it's a different time. argument. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty, um, pretty decent. Can, can I make a point on craft, though? I, I think he deserves higher than a seven after that body check. <laughs> that's definitely a nine. That perfect, perfectly good tackle, mate. You mean? Yeah, he, he, he could be. He yeah. could be a wide receiver. He could be a wide receiver in American football, really. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, Johnny, uh, Fabian Shaw picked up an injury quite early on in that game, um, but played the rest of the game out and was solid again, wasn't he? Yeah, it really was. From what I saw, I thought him and Dan Byrne was superb once again. I think every, I would say 99% of Newcastle fans who said Fabian Cher can't play in a two are eating their words. They really are. Like I've, I've said it. I've, I didn't think he was good enough to play in a two, but I suppose it depends who your other centre half is. And like I hope he's not. I hope it's not a bad injury. I hope he can like play the next game. But if he if he has to be dropped for the Chelsea game to make sure he's okay for the Everton game, I, I wouldn't be against that. Uh, yeah. But you can't. Oh, unbelievable. It's just incredible at the minute. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll go eight. I'll go eight for Fabian Share. It's just nice to see a Newcastle defence very, very strong. I, I, I thought Kraft was good second half. I really did. I thought he, he did. He did well when he uh, with uh, Gineppo and Kyle Walker Peters. I, I just the defence looks so solid. It really. And that's just. I never say that with Newcastle. It's just brilliant. But in the first, in the first half, in the beginning, it looked a little bit shaky. I have to say, but. I think Matt, Matt, uh, Matt, Matt Liam would agree with you, I think. Well, yeah, I think it was just probably because he was being a bit cautious with that injury. You know, he went down twice in the, the first half, I think it was. And, you know, he's probably mm. not going to break into a full stride. I thought Roger was playing, or Broja, however you say it, was playing quite well and um, running the channels quite well. He had a good chance, which Debravka rushed out. Um, but, you know, didn't really put a foot wrong. Um, another good performance. And that, that centre-back partnership that's developing I, between Pierre and Byrne is incredible. I got a question for Johnny though, because you touched upon, because Johnny touched touched upon uh, like it depends on who you have next to you. Do you think actually that uh, Dan Byrne has a better leadership and better communication than Jamal Lascelles has? I think I think it, I don't want to be too disrespectful to Jamal Lascelles because he's been a good servant for Newcastle, but Dan Byrne has worked his arse off to be a Premier League player. 100%. And he's played at a settled Brighton team who don't concede many goals. Yes, they're not going to... Apart from this season, they don't really finish any higher than 15th or 14th. But he's steady. He knows his job. He knows what he needs to do. And leadership-wise, he, he, I think maybe it means more to him because he's from the area. I, I said this a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to give credit to Newcastle's recruitment team because everybody was wanting Sven Botman. Everybody was wanting Diego Carlos. Badi Ashile, the list was going on. And when Dan Byrne's name was mentioned, because it was Dan Byrne, Newcastle fans are going, Dan Byrne from Brighton, 13 million. Are you having a laugh? And they're thinking, well, it makes sense. Local lad, Premier League proven, wants to play games for Newcastle. You know, he's, he was at Newcastle as a kid and he's just slotted in perfectly. It was a really good bit of business. And he is a big part of Newcastle why they're going to be playing was. Premier League football next season. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Massive. It, it wasn't. It wasn't just. It wasn't just us. It wasn't just us. It was also Sky, Talksport, uh, BT saying like Dan Byrne and Matt, Matt Target. When you have this much money to spend, nobody wants to come to Newcastle. Only these type of players. Mm-hmm. And yeah, mm-hmm. look at look how it plays out. Look, look who's laughing now. Yeah. Dory van mm-hmm. Dory van der Beek and <laughs> Danny Ellie having yeah. a laugh. Yeah, uh, yeah, that burn has been absolutely incredible. We we were actually talking in the build up, you know. Coming into next season, if we stay up, well, probably when we stay up now, who's going to be captain, Trippier or Byrne? Because it's an absolute toss-up between the oh, two. Trippier, Trippier's, Trippier's Trippier, 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 like seniority and just absolute Rolls Royce of a footballer. But how but do, I would do, roll do you reckon they would take the captaincy off Lascelles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, being brutally honest, I'll be surprised if Lascelles would. Lascelles play Lascelles is not playing yeah. anymore, mate. He's not playing anymore. So, I, spe- I think if if Cher gets a new contract and Dan Byrne and Cher. Oh, you, you, they're going to be your starting centre back partnership unless you sign someone else. Lascelles for me probably won't get back in that team. I, I, you know, I like the lad, but just in terms of quality and confidence, I don't think he gets back in, and, I, and you can't have. I think Jamal Lascelles could easily be fourth or fifth choice centre half, 
And if that's the case, and Newcastle for most weeks are only going to be playing one game a week. So if that's the case, where does he fit in unless there's an injury crisis? I don't, I don't see him leaving the club in the summer because his his wages are ridiculous. Like for for a Premier League team, he's 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 one of the highest earners at Newcastle. So the only way he's probably going to leave is probably on loan. So if I was, if it's a big summer, if like I say, I would say Newcastle will sit on thirty one points, two more wins, and you rubber stamp your safety at the minute. You're ten points clear of the bottom three, which is actually a joke considering where we were six weeks ago. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I agree. I think Massive. it's it's gonna it's gonna be like I say, I agree with Matt. It's gonna be very difficult for him to get back in this team and very difficult for him to get a place mm-hmm. next season. Imagine if we do sign Botman, yeah, in in, Jan- in in the summer. Sorry, if we sign Botman in the summer, he's not gonna get a game. Hundred percent. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we get two more centre backs in. Yeah, 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 probably. I mean, yeah. In, in amongst all of that, maybe we've actually... maybe, we, maybe we still get the game of Carlos. Who knows? Yeah. Well, we'll wait and see come summer. That's if we stay in the Premier League, of course. Game's not over till it's over. Or season's not over till it's over, rather. Uh, we haven't actually given Dan Byrne a rating, and I think it's my turn. Um, I would give him higher, but because we've capped Martin Dubravka at, at a 9 out of 10, and I think he deserves man of the match, I'm going to give Dan Byrne an 8.5. Um, and he was the, he was at fault for the goal, actually. He was, he was at fault for the goal. Like, his positioning, I think he tries to get back, and he anticipates the first header to be a shot on goal rather than pull back across the goal. He just gets a bit caught flat-footed and then his deflection takes it in. Not, you know, it, it was a mistake. Not the end of the world. The rest of the game, he was absolutely not, outstanding. Uh, he, because he of that, he can't be man of the match because he cost us the goal. So, yeah. There like, you go. like I, I, I love them burn, don't get me wrong, but we need to be, I would say, right in our ratings, I would say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if, don't forget in the comments, let us know if you completely disagree with us. If you think Dan Byrne had the worst game of his life, you'd be wrong, but you're allowed to say that in the comments. Um, and if you think he should, deserves higher, let us know as well. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, who went first? Brandon, you went first. Matt Target, solid against his old former club, yeah, wasn't solid. A little bit, little bit anonymous, I would say. Not much distributions when it comes to, like, crossings. Uh Kraft got a seven from Liam, so I would say I thought Met Target was defensively a little bit better than Kraft, so I would say seven and a half for Met Target. Yeah, um, I'm just I'm glad he's quiet. I don't yeah, want yeah. him to be busy. If that makes sense, yeah. I don't know if anybody's it's reliable. That. Reliable in it. That's that's what you want. Um, that's actually what I meant to you. But what Johnny just saying before we started the game, like he goes anonymous with a lot of fans, like but he's actually. Playing really good games, uh, attacking wise, he's better as well. His his uh, crossings can be a little bit better, but it's getting there. Just as Ryan Fraser getting more assists now, so, but he, he he's not mentioned a lot by Newcastle fans. But yeah. 50, 15 mil is a steal, like we said before, that we can get him for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you snap your hand off at the moment, wouldn't you? Especially in today's market, yeah. it would be a brilliant signing. Um, so we'll hopefully see him on a permanent deal on the summer, if, especially if he can keep his form up. Uh, we've had someone complaining that the uh, we've got we're using half points. We do what we want. Disagree. Well, I'm sure. Like, the richest club in the sorry, world. If we want to put half marks. So, sorry. Uh, can, can, can I can I change my score to uh, uh, of uh, seven, to seven point eight? Seven point eight. Seven five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll have uh, so yeah seven point eight. Yeah, nice. yeah. That, that's Matt's target rating. <laughs> there um, you go. Uh, Lovely. Um, go on then, Liam. You can have the honour of marking John Joe Shelby. Came out after the Brighton game and said, you know, it wasn't his best performance. Held his hands up, a bit off the pace. <sighs> it looked a bit off the pace in the first half, but obviously got the assist for the first goal, which was incredible. Ball into the box, wasn't it? You've literally just said everything I was going to say. So... <laughs> 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 um, in the first half, he. He was he was off the boil a bit, you know. What I mean, I think there was a few times where the the South haven't got the ball off of them, and there was chances where they could have scored. But he could have, I think the team all just came out flying in the second half. So um, I think I'm going to give him a seven point five. Um, Love you, Liam. <laughs> thank you. Um, I, I I think it wasn't his best game, but I I still think he played well in the second half. Um, if he had a good. First half, then I think it would have been like an eight, um, but but like you in in the in like if we won the relegation battle, he couldn't have like let that sort of 
they lost the ball in the centre of the park and then they ran through, do you know what I mean? So Yeah. No, exactly. I think, yeah, 7.5 is fair, Johnny, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Very fair. Uh, we've got someone saying, Shelby and Byrne both deserve an England call-up. It'll be an interesting interesting call-up for uh, yeah. John or Shelby to get them into the England team. I mean, Dan Byrne's a shout ahead of, you know, Tyro Mings, Connor Cody, who, and your other players. But, yeah, I think I'm for you. Harry Maguire doesn't deserve to be informed, but he, he's got a reputation for England yeah, as a coach. Okay. Yeah. Um, Johnny, we'll go. Would you like Willock or would you like Bruno? You're the host, mate. I'll have whoever. I'll, I'll give you the honour of, of Bruno. Go on. On his full debut, first goal for the club. To be honest with you, I was a little bit surprised when I seen the team news and I seen that he was starting. Pleasantly surprised. And I was looking at the, I was looking at the Twitter page, like, who's been dropped? I was like, Joe Linton. And I was like, not even on the bench. I was like, ooh, this could be tricky. Um, I thought he was, I, I still think, I'll talk about a goal in a minute. In terms of his overall play, I think he's two seconds ahead of most of our players. Yeah. And I think there was times you could see that because there were certain things that he was trying to do, especially in the second half before he got substituted. It was like, you're a little bit better than what we've got and they're not ready to be at your level in terms of how you want to kind of play it and how you can see where the next pass is going to be and see where the, the movement of play is going to be. Um, so I think people will look at that and go, it's it, like he gave the ball away, so he's at fault. I think it's just actually other players trying to work to, to be on the same level. Yeah. However, not many people can score a goal like he can, what he's just done there. And it's very much instinct, but it's got that Brazilian flair, if you like, because only Brazilians can do something like that in a game of Premier League football. I couldn't see, no disrespect, I couldn't see Sean Longstaff to try in that. <laughs> but it's an unbelievable goal and it's one of the three points and that will suit him right down to the ground. He can learn from that game. I think Eddie Howe will say, look, these are your good bits, these are your not so good bits. Wonderful goal. I know you give the Brafka a nine, I understand that, especially for that save near the end with a fantastic nine and a half. Nine and a half. I'm oh, going to match nine? it. I'm going to, ma- I'm going to match it. I'm going to match it because of the goal because that goal is huge in yeah. terms of his first Premier League start and you know, coming into a difficult game. So I've probably only lost one home game this season. Now two. That was a huge, huge win and a huge goal. I think today is the day where you can comfortably say that Newcastle United are definitely going to be in the Premier League next season. I know I would like I said I'd like two more wins to rubber stamp it. But I don't see Burnley getting ten points. I don't see Watford getting twelve points more than us now. And I don't see Norwich getting anywhere near us. So yeah. and Everton and Leeds are falling off the cliff. I think it's three of those five. I think you're, yeah, well, officially you have to see the first half. Bruno was a little bit, he had some good spells, but not much. Got a few bad things, actually. Like I said, he played, he played the ball to Tindall, literally, when he was trying to play to Ryan Fraser. Lost the ball a few times. in play, uh, Like, I, I don't blame him, he didn't watch the first half. So, I get, I get, based on second half, I totally agree with your score, but I think it's more towards an eight, seven and a half. Yeah, I, I understand eight. that. I, I understand that. I think it, I just, I think the goal's so significant, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a type of goal as well. And I yeah, do okay. think with time, he will become a really, really good player for Newcastle. I even seen little bit, bits, I saw tiny bits, don't tell me, boss, <laughs> in the first <laughs> half, not many bits. Um, but you could see, what they were trying to do. I actually thought, like, I think someone said, I think it was you, Matt, that said him and Shelby have been quite similar at half time. And I could yeah. see what you what you meant by that. So I I think if he can learn from that, I, I don't I don't see a long term Bruno and Shelby both being in the same team. I think it can work occasionally, but I don't think long term it can it can it can work. But mm. it depends who you're playing. But Newcastle just won on a Thursday night at Southampton. And Bruno Gamirez, who we probably never all heard of about six, seven months ago, and scored the winner after signing on for 35, 40 million quid. Happy days. Yeah. Just, just uh, the thing, like when you look to Gimirai's uh, uh, statistics, he, he doesn't score a lot, and now he does yeah. at his debut. So that's, that's well, this, interesting this is what the least. I was waiting for Johnny there just to, to finish because for Leon, anyway. In he made 71 appearances, three goals, just three goals, you know, and he has one start and gets a goal for us. 
absolutely brilliant. I love him. Uh, just get him scoring every week. That's fine. It's uh, yeah. So Bruno, it. Bruno, nine out of ten on our rate. I'm just a uh, quick one. I've had a quick look on uh, who scored. Who is generally quite good at um, marking players. Do you want to know who got joint man of the match for Newcastle? Chris Wood and Matt yeah. Target. Yeah. yeah. Shows you we don't know everything. Yeah. Uh, oh. It's my honour, though, to move on to my fantasy captain for this week, Mr. <laughs> Joe Willock. Um, unfortunately, didn't notch a goal or assist, which would have been nice for my fantasy team. But I thought solid performance for him today. He's, he's turned into a very reliable midfield option. He's not the flashiest, but he can offer us something both on both ends of the pitch. I thought at the end of the first half, he missed a really good chance. Probably should have done better with it. But to, to, towards the end of the game, I was really impressed by his defensive effort. He was constantly tracking runners. He put some good tackles in, some good blocks. He never stops for the 90 minutes. And I absolutely love that about him. I thought that um, Bruno was probably the slightly the better uh, of the three. So I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Let me know if you disagree with me. Uh, but I thought another solid performance from Willick today. Um, I can maybe see him being rotated out of the team for either Chelsea or Everton if uh, Joe, Joe Linton comes back in, only because he's probably not used to playing this many games in such a tight space of time, obviously being a, a bit part player at Arsenal and then coming into our side to start of the season as a rotation player. Um, but another good performance for him today. I don't know so, if you... So, so what, you, what you're saying that, Matt, yeah. do you think Kim Reich earned his place today into the starting eleven permanently? <sighs> it's like depends. Like- it depends what you think of what Eddie Howe is thinking because you know he will. Well, Eddie Howe says you know he rewards positive performances with starts in the team. You know, if you start, you play well, you keep your place. But Joe Linton's only dropped out because of an injury. Does he come straight? I don't, back I, in? I don't think he would come in for Joe Linton though. It, it's 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 either mm-hmm. Willock or so Shelby. Do you think that it's going to be Joe Linton, Shelby, and um, Gimaraes instead of or or or, or, or Willock? Or Gimaraes. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed to seeing uh, Joe Linton, Gimaraes, Willock formation just because of the way yes. Shelby and Bruno clashed a bit today. Yeah. Um, and obviously Shelby has looked a little bit off the pace in the last couple of games. So give him a give him a rest. Get him fully yeah. firing for Everton. The only uh, thing is, the only thing I would say is that Willock can do one thing which Shelby, Joe Linton, and Gimaraes, with that we've seen so far, can't do. He can run yeah. it with the ball at pace going forward and he can get the odd goal. I know Bruno's got the goal today, but I think Willick's the only player in our midfield three that we've seen recently can do that. So Willick for me, I think you I think you ask Willick and you, you speak to Willick and Shelby and you go, how are you feeling boys? And I think you go, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling good Gaffer. And if, if one of them says they're feeling good and they can play another, you know, another game, I would probably play Willick against Chelsea because I think Shelby would be better against Everton, because I think Shelby will be given more time on the ball than he yeah. would against Chelsea. And I think if anybody can take the ball at Stamford Bridge, I think Willett can. So it'd so be what, interesting what, to see. Johnny, what will be your starting midfield against Chelsea? Against Chelsea, my starting midfield would be... No, Joe no, Linton. Joe Linton will be back. If Joe Linton's fit, you put Joe Linton, Gimarej and Willett. If, he's, if Joe Linton's not fit, you put Gimaraj, Willick, and Longstaff. I think you, yeah, I think you have to rest one of Shelby or, or Willick for one game. Just, just I don't, not what I want. I think you just have to, especially against Chelsea. You're going to be doing a lot more running. You're not going to be exactly keeping the ball like we normally do. It's Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. I know, obviously, Chelsea have had a bit of a mare today with everything that's been going on, but you've got to rest one of them. But. That's, yeah, that, pleased that, with Willock. Ple- really pleased with Willock at the minute. He's, he's certainly mm. turned the corner under Hadio. That's the interesting thing about uh, this run of games that we just starting now. It's like how Eddie Howe will perform about rotating the team because he has to. Because you can't expect yeah. from the players to, to play four games in seven, seven or what well, is we've, it? Nine, we've got two games left. We've got, we've got two games left against Chelsea and Everton. Then we've got a two and a half week break. So. Just I would yeah. I would I would make changes for the Chelsea game, not sacrifice the Chelsea game, but if we get a point against Chelsea, yeah. it's a free hit, play. really, isn't it? That Chelsea game. Exactly. I, I, exactly. I was actually thinking that he would start his stronger side as he can against Chelsea because then you have Joe Linton back and everything. Yeah. I, I wouldn't we, even we, play we, Maxi. We, we were suggesting you. No. Yeah. He, he no, would play, sure. even play Maxi against Chelsea. No. No. Well, no. Why not? Just just play your strongest. I'd rather, I'd rather get, 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 get a result against Chelsea. 
play Jacob Murphy against Chelsea and use Maxi for Everton. Everton at the minute, in yeah. three four. Maxi will have a will have a great time at Goodison Park next week. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, because we were suggesting uh, during the watch alone that it might be a forced injury and illness of Maxi and Joe Linton just to give them rest. I think, I think, so, I think Sam Muller was right in what we were saying in the WhatsApp group about them too. I don't like saying that because I know you'll hear it. But... <laughs> he'll take that right. He'll get that tattooed so... on his chest. Sam Muller was right. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll move on uh, before we get too bogged down in this to Ryan Fraser, Brandon. He's been incredible the past few games and another solid performance yeah. tonight. Yeah. Today, he worked his socks off again. Uh, Attacking-wise, didn't bring too much. Tried some crosses. Didn't really get someone on the end of it. Uh, uh, difficult one. Just for his graft, I would like to give him 7 plus. 7.5 plus. Uh, 7.5 for Brian Fraser. 7.5, just to annoy that one person that's complaining at decimal places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> Love his yeah. work, right? Love his yeah. work, right? I, yeah, I don't yeah, know how, yeah. how he's staying fit. After he's so he used to be so injury prone, and he's just played what five, six games on the bounce for, for like yeah. lengthy periods at this top, top form. It's just it's incredible watching him, and I, the fact he can adapt to both sides of the pitch as well is a brilliant factor. He's like he's like Matt Ritchie used to be. Um, if you remember, yeah. those oh. Oh. <laughs> we we have we have quite some players who are pretty injury prone though. Wilson, Fraser. Uh, Shelby a bit. Yeah. No Wilson, uh, no Maxi, and we're still winning games. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no trip here. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, Fraser seven and a half. Um, Liam, I know you you love Jacob Murphy. Um, so I'll I'll let you do the honors with his score. <laughs> oh, he's hold on. Ooh. I thought I thought uh, Liam was falling asleep. Yeah, I just realised I, I muted myself when I was speaking to my missus. <laughs> gotta come off. Um, I think I'm gonna probably go with the seven for Jacob Murphy. I think he uh, he was frust- I think he was frustrated at sometimes, but then I think he did provide quality in certain areas. I think he's like when you're trying to attack, he's very direct, isn't he? Um, and I think sometimes he could have got back a bit more, but seven. I, I I don't think we could mark anybody across the team more than a seven today. Yeah, um, some shadow goals. Yeah, two, it's two his end product actually. for me. Has to improve. Yeah, has to improve. yeah. I think like, he does. He does the hard bit and gets past the player. Then he like he, you'll see him cross it, and no one will be near it. And you're thinking, yeah. like, oh, I, I, do, I, do, I do want him to succeed. I do, I've got a soft spot yeah. for him, but he, 100%. but I have to think all all Newcastle players, right? Yeah, but like when he plays on that right hand side, you can't pair him up with Kraft. You need someone like Trippier behind him that's going to give him the confidence yeah. to bomb mm. forward. You cannot pair him. That that pairing makes me really worried whenever I see it. Uh, obviously, it's paid off today, but I just it doesn't fill you with confidence, especially when they've got such dangerous players coming down that left hand side, like we saw for the goal. Um, yeah, it's, like a, uh, a, cl- a clear example of 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 Murphy not finishing, having the end product is is his chance against. Brighton last weekend when when Fraser's finish it. Just yeah. basically Murphy's career or at least his season, just it's, it's close, you know. He was close, so close to score, but it's just just not it. Yeah. Uh, Don't know Johnny, what it is, so but... I'm gonna take the honors of Chris Wood scoring off you because uh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, Wait, every, what? By all what means, me? go for it. Go, go, you just, go you just for it. Fraser. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually gonna, that, I'm that's actually, why you gave me Fraser. I'm, I'm actually going to head off, boys. I've got, I've got a couple of things to do. But, um, no Matt, take your Chris Wood hat, put it back on, and tell us why he's amazing. But, but before you do that, Take me off the stream so I'll end it for you. Johnny, Johnny, <laughs> you, you uh, just, just a quick question. The the things you have to do is that uh, having a quick wank to the league table or not enough. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, definitely not, mate. Definitely not. <laughs> but I hey, we've won. We've won again. We keep on winning. I can get used to this. I'm sure we all can. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you on Sunday. Take care, mate. See you, mate. See you, mate. Ta-da. Right then, Chris Wood. My big man, my my hero, my mate, Chris Wood. What a legend. He finally gets his goal, <laughs> first goal for the club. He's a 10,000 out of 10 tonight. 
Uh, obviously, I'm going to give him, give him a serious rating in a moment, but it's Matt, finally. Matt, can, can, can you just make that 10,500 just to piss the person off again? <laughs> 10,000.5. Hold on. Uh, here we go. <laughs> There we go. Um, so Chris Wood, <laughs> absolutely massive, finally gets his reward for all his hard work for the team. Xavi whips a beautiful ball in the box and he sticks his bonds on it. Easy. Keep it, doesn't even move. Bread and butter for Chris Wood. And it's, it's brilliant. The, the way he celebrates, you could tell he's been waiting for that one. Hopefully this kicks him on, gives him a little bit of a kick up the butt and uh, can get him off the mark against Chelsea and hopefully Everton as well. I mean, Everton, he could very well have a field day against their back line. Um He's been incredible since he comes in, and it's fantastic to see him finally get that reward. Um, I don't know what you like, lads made of it, but you know, it, it's not just his forward play; it's holding the ball up, it's bringing the players in. It's like I know it's, a, it's an awful comparison to make, but it's like Rondon was for us under Rafa. It's just that that big physical presence up top that can give like just absolutely change the game for you. I think he's been incredible, and that goal was changed the game for us. Like I, I get, I get some fans. Sometimes it goes uh, an anonymous, you know, what the graft he's doing and the things he's doing for us. Like, yeah. Before his goal, like goals, goals makes you present. You know, like it shows that you're there. But the graft that he did before sometimes goes like, how you say that? Like under the, under you know radar. what I mean, right? Under the radar, exactly. Thank you, Liam. But. Already, I, I could have praised him for that. And yeah, today is goal. He deserved it the most now, today, to score yeah. a goal. Yeah. Uh, uh, me personally, I think I've got a mirror what Brandon's saying. I think people care too much about the stats, the sh- the stats are saying, not about actually watching the match. Because if you probably watch the matches, you've got a different opinion than someone that's just watching, like, watching match and day at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? I think. People, like, I don't, I don't agree with anybody saying that he's been struggling. He, he, he wasn't the type of player that he was low on confidence. He just didn't get have the service or the chance. He's really discovered one. I think when he's got his chance, he's took it. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, brilliant. I mean, these comments coming up. It's been brilliant. We're unbeaten since he's come in, and this one from Larry. The dirty work Chris Wood does is immense. The team feel as present. Yeah, teams are scared to put put pressure on him. You saw Brighton last week for um, Fraser's goal. The defense stepped up, and you know he spun his man and played a. Weighted pass through to Murphy that was just incredible. It's not just about being a big man. He brings so much to the yeah. team and just changed. He's changed the way we play. And I, I do love Callum Wilson. You know, I, I'm not saying Wood is better than Wilson or whatever, but it's a different type of presence up top when you've got someone like Wood and someone like Wilson. Obviously, you want Wilson on the team because he's more likely to stick the ball in the back of the net. But Wood just brings that, that presence, that aura up top that just lifts the, your team and brings the other team down around us as well. Brilliant. Anyway, right, we're pretty much there. We've just got Eddie Howe to go before we move on to the live fan reaction. What about the subs? Oh, you are you are absolutely right. I'm losing my mind. The subs that came on uh, in the game as well. So uh, I think Longstaff was first, wasn't he? He was. Yes. Yeah, yeah for, for Bruno. Um, go on, Brian. You were complaining about not marking someone. You can have Longstaff. Uh, not much to do, really. Didn't. Wasn't outstanding. Did his day. Did his thing. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like didn't like. I didn't really have much to do. Came on for Bruno. Um. But I think it wasn't a big loss because, like we were saying earlier, oh. Bruno and Shelby were quite similar. So we didn't lose anything when Bruno went off and Longstaff came on. He, you know, we didn't concede with him on the pitch, which is always a positive. Uh, Twenty odd minutes on the pitch under his belt, solid, not outstanding. Seven out of ten sums it up, really, isn't it? Yeah, uh, right. Next one that came on, um, we can give him a score if you want, but uh, Almiron came on <laughs> with five minutes to go. Technically, you know, give it to Liam. Yeah, cool. I, I was just gonna go, I'm not applicable, really. Yeah. I don't think he had the time to impact the game. Did, did he run enough, though? Yeah, well, I, did, I didn't actually see him touch the ball, so I couldn't really tell you. <laughs> not really... well, hold on, I'll see if but, I can. But, but you, don't, you, you don't need to touch the ball to, to run enough. I know, but the, the camera wasn't on him, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, well, okay, Just Almiron. Time, mate. Almiron touched it six no, times it according to who scored. Didn't, don't remember a single one of them, to be honest. Oops. No. <laughs> but what what, what you saying? That was you. How I love him, but he, he's missed his chance here. Just didn't improve. Can only hope he gets a good match and coach. Yeah, I, I think... I mean, I'd love to see Almiron stay and improve at the at the club, but, you know, he, we may well cash in on him in summer, his, his time maybe. But you never know. Um, we were talking about rotation earlier on. 
and maybe he'll get his chance over the next couple of games to come in and show what he's about in that midfield. Yeah. Never know. Um, and last but not least, he came on in added time, so doesn't get a mark. Javi Mankio came on for Kraft. I'd probably expect Mankio to start <clears throat> to start against Chelsea, just because I think Kraft. Over oh, Kraft, right? Yeah, I think you, you know you've got your your second choice um, right back that's fit, back to match fitness now. Why wouldn't you start him? You know, Kraft's not been outstanding to not be able to drop him out of the team. So um, I think Mankio starts for me, uh, but we'll see. I'll come Sunday two o'clock, I think it is that one. Uh, we'll be here as four. always on the Castle Fans TV. Is it two or four? Is it four? Nice one. Well, four, four for me, it's four. Oh well, it'll be two for us then. You silly sod. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it'll be. Um, I'll just double check that now. Yes, two o'clock. We'll be here live stream. Much, much. So it's uh, free for me, actually. Yeah. Oh, Brandon, just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Brandon. It seems like you want to talk so much. You can have the honour of Eddie Howe's first mark, and we'll take the average and give him a mark today. How did you rate it set up and the way you managed the game? Uh, did we expect something else? Basically, it's like getting sort of usable now that we win games and are set up good defensively. And I don't know, it just clicks. Um, yeah, I think on the, on the lineup as well, couldn't do anything else really than what he did. Uh, there wasn't much other options. So uh, he played the strongest side of the head. Um uh, hope the injuries are not that serious. Um I give Eddie Howe a nine as well. Yeah. Liam higher, lower, same. Nine. Yeah. Um I think he managed the game perfectly. I think he picked the right team. Um obviously he rotated obviously well he didn't rotate Joel Linton was injured, so he had to bring a player in. But I think it's gonna be interesting to see what his team is on Saturday because it's likely what what's it today? Thursday we play on Sunday, so it's gonna be probably a massive rotated team. So it's gonna be interesting to see what that game is on Sunday or team on Sunday. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I expect we'll probably rotate a few more players out, rest some legs before Everton, because like we said earlier, it's a bit of a free hit against Chelsea. You know, we're not expecting anything out of that game. Anything that we do get is a bonus. But Everton, no, don't we? I don't. It's a, it's a difficult one because we're on the form. But like you're playing a team that's at the top end of the table, that's in good form themselves. Like I, I remember you saying before the game started, Matt, you already thought like at the Brighton game or even the game before, uh, when does this end kind of stop? I, I I got it myself a little bit as well, but like yeah. it, it's seems I think to keep on going. Like if, if there's one, I'll, game take, I'll take a, I'll take a draw. I, I wouldn't be surprised about a draw. Oh, I'll take fair. a draw. I'll take a win. Um, but you know, if if you give me the Chelsea and the Everton game and you tell me, oh, you win one and you lose the other, I'd rather win the Everton game and lose the Chelsea game, just because morale. You know, yes, a win against Chelsea would be massive, but then you next you go out next week and then you lose to a team that's behind you. I'd rather. But it's just a, that's just a thing that you want to kick down Everton as well. So yeah, I yeah, get it. exactly. Yeah, that, it's it's mm. swinging roundabouts down there. So um, I can see I can see us rotating for Chelsea. Um, but, you know, we'll still put out a strong side. We're not going to throw the game away for what, the sake. What, what changes would you make, though? Like, um, I'd rotate the midfield, and um, I'd probably give if Joe Linton's fit to start. I'll um, I'll get Joe Linton in. I'd probably go Joe Linton, Gimaraes if he's fit. You know, don't know how serious that injury is. It's cramp, cramp. Oh well, there we go then. Um, so I'd probably. You know what I think? Actually, what will happen? I think actually the cells will play again <clears throat> against Chelsea because I think Cher. Isn't that he he went down two times already first half? I don't think he's the fittest today. It's like I think actually Lascelles plays to give share some rest before maybe, Everton game. Maybe, but then you you've got a defensive partnership uh, of Cher and Burn who've been massive recently, and you know they've yeah they've I know but but if, if he's not fully fit, no I know but you know they've conceded one two three goals in the last five games as a defensive partnership so. Do you, can you drop them? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out on Sunday, won't we? We can have this discussion yeah. then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much all the time we have on scoring well, the players. What, what's your rating? What's your rating? Oh, I give Eddie my nine. As well. I just agree with. I agree okay. with you. It wasn't wasn't perfect, but um, you know, I thought the first half we could have been a little bit more organised. The possession. I don't think we expected Southampton to press as high as they did, but we adapted really well. I thought the the we came out in the second half and we're playing so much better. That team talk, you know, he changed things around. He pressed us a little bit higher, and you know, we saw the reward for it as well with the goal. 
So I thought it was brilliant from Eddie Howe. Um, wouldn't have anyone else behind the wheel at the moment. Thank you very much, everyone, for chipping in in the comments. That's all we've got time for on scoring the players. Stick around, though, because we will have some live fan reaction coming up next with Nathan. Uh, Steve's not turned up, so I'll probably stick around as well. Unless either what of happened you... to Steve? Who knows? He's, he's nowhere to be found. He's reading the messages but not replying. Um, so unless okay, either of you... I, I presume so. Um, we'll find out. We'll let you give you all an update later on. But uh, unless either of you two wants to stick around... Um, no, I be... don't have controls today. <laughs> Yeah, I think you two uh, are both on your phone, so I'll, I'll stick around with Nathan, which is nay bother. Um, give us a like on the video as well if you have enjoyed at, at any point. It, I can't speak, I'm tripping over my words. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it at any point today and a comment as well. Stay involved. And if you want to come have your say on the live fan reaction as well, there is a link pinned in the comments. Come and have your say. I know I can already see there's a few lads waiting to come on. We'll have a chat probably for the next 45 minutes or so. But yeah, thanks, Lars, for joining me. Another three points in the bag. Massive. Up the Maggies. Up the Maggies. <laughs> See you later. See ya. I'll bring Shut Nathan up. in and uh, take care, lads. You all right? Give me away. <laughs> how are you, mate? How are you doing? I'm good, yeah. Nine g- games unbeaten. We're doing massive. it. Absolutely doing massive, it. Chris Wood, I did predict him to score. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we can't, I can't ask for anything more. Wood oh, goal, no, finally off the mark, and a Bruno goal on his full debut. What a goal by Bruno. Oh, fantastic. Pure instinct, isn't it? It is, definitely. L- lovely stuff. Uh, right, well, we better get cracking on, because we've not got all the time in the world, Nathan. We'll bring in Andy. We'll probably do one at a time, unless we start getting piles of people coming in. But we'll bring in Andy first, obviously a regular on the show. Evening, Andy, mate. Hi, Andy. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Matty. Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm repeating <laughs> you. Sorry. <laughs> how are you doing? Good, good. I, I've just got a quick story, if you don't mind us uh, just saying. it. We just were talking about Dan Byrne earlier. And uh, sorry to put in and out like that, but uh, on the transfer deadline day, we had the same teacher at school. And the teachers moved away to Australia. And I thought, I'm going to have to let them know that what Dan Byrne's doing because he might be in bed. So since Mr. Sill a message, uh, Dan Byrne signing for Newcastle. In uh, it, the, do you know when you, you went to school with someone and you respect their opinion? Yeah. It, as a teacher, he turned around and says, exact words were something on the lines of, kids got a great attitude, he's going to go a long way. Yeah. And do you know when someone, mate, what's he doing, man? Eight out of ten every game. Incredible, isn't it? Unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, Nathan, it just, the it fact shows you, Fabian Shaw, Dan Byrne, Set, you, you cannot drop them. You cannot drop them. I know no, you Sean can't. looked in. You only went down to I think I, I think I agree with Liam a little bit before. I think Shaw is carrying something. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if Lascelles comes in. But, mate, um, yeah, it was, ju- it was just a lovely thing. He was sitting talking about Dan Byrne. All I could do was sit and think about transfer deadline day. Like, speaking to his old teacher, it was, it was really good. Um and hats off to the kid, mate. He's going to get in England and call up. Uh, I bloody hope, hope so. so. I really hope so. Gareth Southgate, if you're watching, give him an England call up, please. Be lovely to see you at the World. It'd be lovely to see him at the World Cup. A Newcastle player for England at the World Cup, winning the World Cup. That would be amazing. <laughs> Dream big, mate. Dream big. Why not? Um, well, Nathan, what do you make of that then? Because we, we talked about it um, before you were on the stream. We said, you know, for Chelsea. Obviously, Chelsea, it's, it's a difficult game. Would you keep it as it is at the back, just because we're playing so well at the moment, or would you rotate it? Well, if Shaw's injured, you've got to, if, 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 you've got to rest him, obviously, if he's injured. But if he isn't, if, but if, he's, if he's not 100%, don't risk. Do not risk. Chelsea, we can get a draw with that. But if we lose it, it's nothing, nothing major. We're nine, we've won nine games. Who would have thought that at the start of the season? So obviously, rest him if he's if he's not hundred percent. But if he is a hundred percent, play him. But yeah. Lascelles will probably come in for him, and I think Shelby needs resting because he looks a bit jagged at times. He didn't play as well in the first half. Probably another apology will come out by him for saying he didn't play well in the first half. Um, but Bruno. As well, you play Bruno, play Willock, and Joe Linton if he's fit. But that was a bit of a surprise coming out. Joe Linton's injured. I'm thinking, nah, he's re- he's resting him. He's resting him. Same what Sam said on the group chat. He's definitely resting him. 
he wants to rest DSM and um and um Joe Linton for the uh, for the Chelsea match because he's thinking we'll win this. He, Illness. He knew, he knew this was the winners winnable game. He knew he knew we can rest a bit for this game and we could win it still. But Chelsea, different level, different different level, and we need to be on our guard for this because we you don't want to be leaking goals at the back because goal difference. But I think we're safe. I think we're safe now. Well, that good time to play Chelsea. Yeah, oh, it I mean, is definitely a good time to play as Chelsea. Good time as any. No, that was that was my next question. To be honest, Andy, uh, Nathan set it up perfectly. Thirty-one points already on the board at this point. I think we've got nine games left. I think I'm right in saying ten points off the drop. Surely to God, we're safe now. Yeah, I think so. If we pick up a couple <laughs> you of draws, you didn't seem so confident there. I didn't. No, I wasn't. Mate, I was. I had we're down in October, I, but I didn't envision. The, the fact that we're even I can look at craft and think you can do a job at times is evidence to the the food that we've had for months and months that the players weren't being coached oh yeah. craft exactly. is a, I've said on I said this about a year and a half ago on this that craft is a physical specimen you can just get him to do what you need him to do up and down you'll do your half a job and that's exactly what he did today. And it's what he's done for the last few games. He well, gets up and down. He's not Swedish international for nothing, is he? He's not, he's not a Swedish international for nothing. He's obviously got talent. We've obviously brought him He in gives the ball away when he's on the ball. That's that's the biggest criticism. Yeah. Sorry, he didn't me, but he does give the ball away. He, run, <laughs> he runs. He throws it. I'm thinking the referee's going to stop this game for yeah. a foul throw. And then it's just like, no, he's not. Yeah. He doesn't care. Yeah, no, I mean, I've been corrected, actually, because my maths is horrific. I need to go back to school. Uh, 11 games 11 left. Games left. So, even, so even more games to actually pick up points. We've already got 31, which would have been enough to keep us up last season. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. think I think the, the maximum to keep us up this season is 36. I think, I think only more than 31. I, I do. I, I see a team having a a run. You know, Norwich Burnley's mm. well capable of going three wins in a row at some point against anybody. Yeah, yeah. It's course, it's yeah, it's, are, yeah. it's happening in the past. Mm. If they get nine points then we're dragged back in. But I yeah, I I think I agree with you, Matt. I think a couple of draws will be fine. Yeah. We, uh, we've got to compete with games though, again. Because yeah. if we stop doing that then we we've problems got a, happen. We've got a lot Just, of tough fixtures coming up, Nathan. Um, yeah. We've, we've talked a lot about the Chelsea game, but you know we've got games against good teams, but some of them are in a bit of a, a, a rut at the moment. You know, you got Spurs yeah. who are very hit and miss. You got Leicester who are very, very low down on the table, probably a false position for them. And then you've still got the likes of Man City, Liverpool, Wolves who are on top, top form. Even Arsenal. We've got to be picking up points against the likes of Everton. Norwich, Burnley, they're the ones before the end of the season Ooh. that we've got. To, yeah, the, the ones that we've got to absolutely nail on. I think we will because I think Eddie, but Eddie Howe's methods are we go at any game and we want to win it. We don't go, we don't settle out for any draws. We want to win every game and that's Eddie Howe's tactics. He goes attacking. Yes, he might change the game plan sometimes if we're, if, say in the first half, we were very, very a bit, we weren't, the greatest in the first half. You could you, the evidence shows we weren't great in the first half. Yeah. Um. But the second half, you could. You must set the lads. Come on. Roll your sleeves up. This is going to be a tough one. We always knew it was going to be a tough one. It's something. We've got a bad record at St Mary's. This is what we need. We need to prove that we can beat him here, and we did. And yeah. you just seen by Chris Wood when he scored. I was like. No, am I dreaming? Is Chris Wood actually scored for Newcastle United? <laughs> there were similarities dreaming? to the Brighton game, wasn't it? We were just good for periods, and when we were good, we were potent. Yeah, yeah. well, it, it, obviously with the Brighton game, I was at St James's Park. I was in, and, and you could just say we counterattacked. We every time we got the ball, we looked dangerous. We looked like we were going to score. Brighton yeah. didn't look dangerous. The only times they looked dangerous was free kicks, and we were thinking uh, they're going to get a goal here, and they did get one. So when Stuart Armstrong scored against us tonight, I wasn't, I wasn't scared of that. I was thinking these these don't look at these don't look anything like I thought they would. I I thought Prowse would have scored today. Prowse didn't look anything really. We we no. settled him very well. Um, a lot of the Southampton players, the, the very very 
obviously they got a big beating off Villa, but I, I was expecting a bit more from them, a bit more fight. And they just as soon as we scored the second, we no. didn't look we didn't look like they were going to score any. And yes, they had a big did... corner kicks. Yes, Dubravka made a good few saves, but that's what Dubravka does. Dubravka makes amazing saves. Obviously, Dubravka hasn't been as good as late, but tonight shows you cannot drop Dubravka. You can't because he's number one. And yes, we get, if, if we do get another keeper in the summer, he'd be number two. Because Dubravka will always be our number one until he has a bad few games and then we look at a new keeper. But obviously, we'd have to wait and see what Eddie Howe's thinking in the summer. And it's very exciting for a change. We're not we're not going into a transfer window thinking, oh, it's going to be shite, this transfer window. We're not going to sign anybody. This, it's excited. Everyone's excited. St. James's Park's excited. St James's Park's now exciting to go to. You're actually getting a bit more atmosphere from the ground. Yes, it was a bit quiet at Brighton uh, when we were playing Brighton, but we were nervous. We, we haven't we haven't been what 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 was the last time we when we when we come nine games unbeaten? Oh, Does anyone know? Probably under Pardew, I think. That season, well, we the league season. Yeah, yeah, the, the when we got Europe, I think. Yeah. That was so, the, so there you go. And th- I was having a look earlier, and this is. Um, this is this is title winning um, stuff because Leicester did this nine games unbeaten and won the title. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I think they've played Man City and that and, and all that. We haven't played a top yeah. top team in this run yet. Top top team. Yeah. Well, that's Sunday, isn't it? That's Chelsea. That's the challenge. We, need, we the Eddie Howe. But you've got to now, start right? somewhere. You've got yeah, to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. We come from nothing. We were we were we were done. We were we were done uh, before the takeover. After that Wolves defeat, we were done. We thought, yeah, we're done. We're, we're down. Every, all the pundits, yeah, Newcastle are going down. We might as well, might as well put them 125 to one on any wing to go down. I bet you loads. I bet you all the pundits are thinking now, shit. We have said they're going down, and we're going to get absolutely proven wrong. The bookies will have to be out a lot because top. What was it? Top ten. We had that was like 50 to one or something. <laughs> hey, we've got to wait. Could be a, could be yeah. a very very good thing because I think. It, you, you never know. Southampton, where they are, it it just shows you we can beat teams on our day. We can we we can give Chelsea a real challenge. I'll take two two now. So, uh, Chelsea, take a draw now. Yeah, I mean we, we've got that game to play, Andy. Uh, massive massive results everywhere tonight. Obviously, we we got the win, the points on the board, as we said. Leeds got battered. Watford oh, yeah. got battered. Mm-hmm. Norwich got battered. We're ten points above Burnley, who are in the relegation slot. We're nine points above Everton, who are in the spot above them, and then we're eight points above Leeds, and then it's it, like th- they're three teams who are might they've got to make win three games in a row with us losing three games for them to even. It's not even going to happen because we are not no. going to lose. I think not the only team that's forward. capable of that is Burnley. Leeds yeah. have gone now. I think with the change of manager, they should. As much as we'll probably all look at Leeds playing and go admire the way they play. We all know the weaknesses. They go man for man, they get caught, they, they concede goals. Yeah. But they're great to watch. But oh, they will never, you know. Definitely. But is because... there a manager from America that's never really managed in the Premier League or even knows the Premier League going to keep them up above him? I, I, I think that's a it's, bad decision. I think Bielsa yeah. got them there. He should have the opportunity to keep them up. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. to our benefit, um, I think. To our no, benefit, yeah, absolutely. Have, I'm rubbing our hands at that, aren't we? He was Ralph Randwick's assistant at uh, Leipzig as well, or something. I heard yeah. on the thing. But Ralph Randwick's not doing anything, me. so he not do anything either. He, yeah. Exactly. Uh, seen these managers yeah. who are assistant managers and think they're going to do so good in the Premier League. You just look at Frank Lampard at Everton. I'm sorry, but Frank Lampard is nowhere near Premier League quality. Put him in the Championship, <clears> he maybe do something, but Premier League, no. Wrong I think the squad's there. letting him down. Yeah. Uh, Andy, before we'll, we'll let you go because we've got some other lads waiting. But before we do, I, I'd, I'd love to hear from you who you think is going to go down in that third spot, presuming that Norwich and Watford are already down. So I'll let you pick any team. And also the Chelsea and Everton game coming up in the next seven days. How many points are we getting? And what's your score predictions for those two games? So the teams going down are Norwich, Watford and... What was the other choice to score? Let's see again. So at the moment, Burnley are in that spot, but then there's Everton, which are only one point above, but they've got a couple of games in hand, and then Leeds are two Leeds. points. 
Okay, <laughs> there we go. Easy as that. Well, you see Everton. We want Everton to go down. Don't want. I, I would. I would love Everton to go down. I, yeah. Don't get us wrong. I'd like Everton to go down simply because I am. Um, from hostile fans that I've experienced away, away, they're not nice. So no. No. Uh, I always treat people the way they want to treat me. Uh, I want to treat them, so and they've not been nice. So, of course, for Everton, Everton, I hope Leeds go down. Could be, um, could, could be dock points. Leeds is um, a nice qu- quick trip, though. <laughs> yeah, keep Leeds up for the short away day. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Leeds would say Leeds. I'll down rephrase down. that. Could I think Leeds, Leeds will down. go down, but I want Everton want to go down. down. Sorry. All right, then. And then the next two games, how many points and what scores? I think we're going to make a load of changes to Chelsea. So I think that game, as you see, we might hold them to a draw, you never know. But I'd say we're not going to pick anything up from there. Performance is what we want to see from players that are being given a chance. That's what we want to see on, in the weekend. And then Everton, I'd say we comfortably beat them 1-0, but comfortably. Yeah. Rose Rose performance. I love that. Another three points off Everton, make them cry. Pickford getting angry again, Comfort- but, uh, Comfortable 1-0 win. They're not, they haven't not. they got the spine for it. No. The, the, the 5-0 defeat well, they got off Tottenham was, <laughs> was hilarious. Yeah. But later on the season, Everton will play teams which have got nothing to play for, like a Villa or a whoever, and I think their quality players might just shine and they might pick up some points. We'll wait and see. They've got some quality players in there. Uh, cheers, Andy, for joining us, as always. Uh, Take care. Thanks for having us. Yeah, appreciate Hit the it, like, man. everyone. <laughs> you know the spiel by now. Cheers, mate. You take care. Take care, everybody. Uh, right, we've got Connor waiting behind the scenes, so we'll bring him in. Connor, mate, uh, I know you've been chatting in the private chat. Yes. Ryan Fraser, what a player. Oh, tremendous. And what a, I mean, he's been outstanding, um, I think, since how he came in. I think there was a lot of this concern amongst the fans, amongst a lot of people about that they have the fallen out at Bournemouth. Was that going to follow them to Newcastle, but clearly it's absolutely not. Um and I like the fact that, you know, we heard Ryan Fraser came out as well. Um and just put the kibosh to that and make clear that he's he's loving life under Eddie Howe right now. Um and I think that's the thing. I, I genuinely don't think Eddie Howe is getting enough credit. Um particularly from certain media outlets. Um because there's too much emphasis on well, you know, Newcastle spent £100 million in January, so of course this was always going to happen. But actually, when you examine it, there's only three of those signings have actually played just about every minute of the games that we've had. And that's in this run, which is obviously target burn and wood. The rest of it, which is still the other seven outfield players, were already at the club. Um, and you take out the fact that ASM's been injured recently, Callum Wilson's not there. And we all, I think, four or five months ago, would, would have said, if we don't have Wilson, we're in big trouble in, t- in front of goal. So yeah. the fact he, he's coaching these players to be even better. Somebody like Joe Winton, I know he wasn't on tonight, but again, he's starting to show why we spent the money we spent to, to bring him in. He's not necessarily scoring loads of goals, but he's a battering ram in that midfield. Uh, and, I mean, Shelby... Minus the Brighton game has been super. And that does come down to Eddie Howe and Jason Tindall. And for those players, I just think they must actually enjoy going into the training now every day and get in there and, and working with, with two guys who know what they're doing and know how to coach good quality players, which is something the other guy didn't know how to do. It is, isn't it? With, with the players now, they must go into training, love it, go out of training want to go back to training because the the, the, the team spirit is just there. Every, after every game, they'll go and clap every single fan. The, 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 that's the that's what Eddie Howe wants to do. He says, the fans can go out at 3am in the morning, but the players are in early. That's what he wants. The, he wants the players. Once we're safe, I think Eddie Howe will have a massive party with with everyone. I think, I think that's what we'll do. But Ryan Fraser, again, brilliant. He's a workhorse. I was a bit concerned when Eddie Howe came in because obviously he's bought when he was at Bournemouth and he and he didn't want to play under because he because of this because he was in the injuries and things like mm-hmm. that. I thought he was going to be like injured for the rest of the season and but no, he's he's he, he seems fit and he seems raring to go every game and even when he picks up a knock, he'll still play 
And it's just it just shows you Eddie Howe wants to play for the Jason Tyndall. But I think Tyndall doesn't get as much credit as he should get. Now, Jason Tyndall is Eddie Howe's right-hand man. Jason Tyndall does all of the... When the substitute, he should, tells all the substitutes what to do. Obviously, he's a well, good, really good coach. You don't see much of Graham Jones anymore. It's always Jason Tyndall. And Jason Tyndall is bringing much more to Newcastle than our previous assistant coaches. And I think that's Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe brought him in. And I think Eddie Howe's done an amazing job bringing Tyndall back with him because Tyndall knows what he's doing in the Premier League. Oh, 100%. I, I think it's a. Uh... You know, you look at it and it's it's about players going out there with clear instructions. They know the game plan. They know what they're going out there to do. Um, they know there's going to be times where you have to weather a storm. But I think they're starting to find a balance now where instead of before where, you know, we'd have to weather a bit of pressure on a storm and we just automatically just fall back almost into two banks of five and stay there for the majority of, of a half or a game most of the, a lot of the time when we took the lead actually there's still that appetite to break out and go forward and they're always looking for the can we get the forward pass I love seeing defenders you know looking up and looking ahead of them to see is there a pass there and not just automatically not even bothering to look just going back to the goalkeeper um and that's what we've been doing a lot of what the fit some scrappy games in this and I know that you know Andy we talking to was saying about you know we've not necessarily played any of the the big boys as it were but I think we've had at least four or five really tough games in this run that easy banana skins. You look at, I thought, getting a point away at West Ham, superb. You know, it wasn't vintage football. It wasn't the, the best thing I've ever seen. But we, we hung on in there. Um, and actually, you know, it was a game that we ourselves had one or two chances, could have nicked it, um, as did West Ham, you've got to say. Um, mm-hmm. Tonight against Southampton, you know, for years, when we've played the teams on the south coast, home or away, we've had many a headache against them. Um, so it's nice to, you know, get Brighton off the off the back at the weekend and go in and beating, you know, Southampton at St Mary's. That's not something a lot of teams actually go oh, and do. Yeah, um, so it's it's really, I think it's it, it, it's brilliant and it bodes well because last season, the end of the season, we did have a good run. I think we won seven in a row, which kept us up. But this doesn't feel the way that did. That felt like a sort of last roll of the dice, flash in the pan, you just go all out for it. This feels more controlled, more sustained. Um, and it is, I mean, how great is it to be a Toon fan right now? <laughs> it's superb. <laughs> uh, yeah, you mentioned earlier, like, you know, this community, this this run we're on. Um, it, it's fantastic that you know a change of manager can come in. He's changed the mentality. I think Nathan, Nathan touched on it earlier. The mentality at the, the training ground with the players has changed, but the fan base as well. You know we're mm-hmm. so together, and obviously the results help. But the, the, the players, it's the you know the photograph in the dressing room after every game. It's the celebrating with the fans long after the final whistle's gone. How much do you think that contributes to the the atmosphere at the club? It's got to be a massive difference. Oh, so you, of course it does because. Well, I'm not from Newcastle, obviously. I'm not a born Geordie. But there was a reason I fell in love with Newcastle as a club um, when I was younger and went down there on many, many school trips um, to St James's Park and absolutely loved everything about the atmosphere. Even one of the trips I went to in the Championship, it was just phenomenal being there. And that is because it's the kind of club, it's, you know, it's a one-club city and if everybody is pulling in the same direction and pulling together... It just it it makes everything feel that much better, and I think it gives the players more confidence because if you're an away team, I, I would hazard to guess that one of the the grounds you don't want to go away to when everyone's in full voice and everything's going really well would be St James's. It, it would not be the kind of atmosphere an away player would enjoy playing in in those circumstances, and you know it, it gets you over the line. In certain games, whether it is against bigger clubs or, you know, just tighter games that you've maybe not played great in. So I, I do, I think it really, really, really does massively help. Well, no away fan, no away fan wants to come to St James's Park at the minute because we're just smashing it at St James's Park. No away player wants to come to St James's Park because they're just they're, they're literally scared of the atmosphere. It shows. 
that atmosphere, once that atmosphere, once we get going in that atmosphere, it shows the way the way players can cope with it. So if we can just keep that going at St James's Park, and obviously away, we've got some brilliant away fans because they travel on a Thursday night to Southampton, which is they'll not get home till the early hours of the morning, and it just shows we've got a united fan base. Even before we had all the new owners, we had a united fan base because people were still going away, still paying their money because they love the club, and we're, mm-hmm. we're here for the club. Yes, we might be rich now, but it just shows we we are the most loyalist fans in the league. I, I totally take that, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, Connor, we've got to say goodbye to you shortly. We'll come to you in, in a second for the same questions I asked Andy. But just a quick reminder to everyone watching, uh, Lee and Carl have been at the game, so they'll be uploading the videos uh, with the live reaction later on from St Mary's. God, I wish I was them in that away oh, end. No, <laughs> Honestly, oh. I think I might have come, but I come away with a few bruises and maybe a minus a shoe or two. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but if still, been, that, that goal for the brutal finish would have been. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'd, 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 I'd have fell in the fucking on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, stay, you. stay tuned for that later on. We are uh, got the fan reaction here with Connor and Nathan. We'll be we'll live for another twenty minutes or so. I can see Paul waiting in the wings to come on as well. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed, and keep commenting down below as well. Keep interacting with us. We'd love to hear from all of you. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and the sister channel NFTV Extra, and check us out on social media as well. Right then, Connor. Before we let you go, who's going down, and what's the results going to be for the next two fixtures? Well, I actually think, I mean, I think Watford and Norwich, I think they already know, kind of done. They, they would it would take a hell of a lot. But I, I think Everton will go down. I genuinely do. Because I don't think they've got enough fight about them or spirit about them. I don't think, you look at Burnley, you look at Leeds, they're not in, in great form. Burnley are, of the three, kind of on the ascendancy. They've had a couple yeah. of bad results there, but they went on a good run. But they've got players as the Leeds who are experienced in that kind of battle, that kind of scrap. You know, those players at Leeds fought for two seasons very hard, had to bounce back from being so close to getting promoted and fight again. And Burnley, you know, Sean Dyche, they, they fight all the time. And I just think the players at Everton are a bunch of groomed, spoiled brats for me who have not got a clue how you get out of battles like this. And Lampard isn't experienced enough either to deal with it. So, for me, yeah. I, I, je- I think it's Everton. I hope it's Everton. But I hope yeah. it's I mean, it's you look, at, really you look at Yeah, I hope so. I mean, you look at the fixtures. They've got Wolves, who've just slapped Watford 4-0 tonight. Then they've obviously got to play us. We're in fantastic form. And you've got Everton and Man United and Liverpool, who three teams at the top end of the table, followed by Chelsea and Leicester, Brentford and Arsenal. As, as they've I can't got the Watford many game. points. And it's a, it's a tough run in. I mean, Very you look tough. at... The form that they're in as well, you cannot see them picking up points, really. I mean, it, maybe you United, but that's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway then, Connor, your, your predictions have got Chelsea on Sunday and then Everton, as mentioned, next Thursday. How many points and what's the scores going to be? Uh, I think we can get four points from the two games, but it's more likely we'll get three because I, I think we'll beat Everton. I, I fancy that we can do that. Chelsea... I think we can get a draw there because we have seen a few occasions this season they've not really played well at Stamford Bridge and I think was it, was it Brentford I think or Brighton one of them went there and got points earlier in the season um, mm-hmm. so it can be done so yeah I I think four I think we can get a draw at the weekend and beat Everton but I'll not be too disappointed if we do lose to Chelsea that, that happens yeah yeah, we can't expect it, can we? Lovely stuff appreciate you coming on as always mate you take care and hopefully we'll see you after the next win on Sunday Yes, lovely. Take care of that. And rooms in a row, that'll be lovely. Yeah, sure, <laughs> uh, Lovely stuff. Right, Nathan, we've got Paul coming on, who's probably going to be our last guest, so we'll bring him in now. Evening, mate. How are you feeling after that? Gobsmacked. <laughs> One totally gobsmacked. Um, a year ago, would you say that you'd be worried that Joe Lydon wasn't playing? <laughs> You'd be, you'd be worried. You'd be worried to get five million about five million out of him a year ago. Um, Joel Lynn not playing, Saint Maximum not playing, Callum Wilson not playing. Um, I was just shocked. Um, well, I just didn't expect it. Really didn't. Sam Ham's always a hard team to play against. 
I just finished work about I'm looking at the clock now. I just finished work. I got in the the first twenty minutes, and I looked at the stats, and I think the, it was more or less saying that we had more possession than them. And I was like, you wouldn't okay. think it. We dealt with the set pieces of Sam really well. So you've obviously you've got we we know how good they are from set pieces because obviously there's a certain lad in their team who are really good at free kicks. We dealt with it really well. Um, Bruno's first start, obviously, done well. Adapting to the game, I just got smashed. I, I, I just felt a little bit like when I was watching Sean, I was like, how many times are you going to go down? And, and then you've got to think of the last game Newcastle had, it took a lot out of them. And we've, we spoke, well, I've spoken the show beforehand, um, when somebody had said about Steve Bruce taking the team, they said that the fitness pre-season wasn't the best, and to, tonight to be able to deal with the constant because they did have a lot of the ball at times as well. I felt I just felt like we dealt with it really well. The only problem was tonight. I was like, "Who are you going to bring on? That's going to change the game." Yeah, yeah. And with Gale, them, is he yeah. going to change the game? No. Longstaff hasn't you played much he? football. And you, you, you're thinking to yourself, well, hold on. Like, who's con- you haven't got, like, Miggy, he'll come on, he'll run, he'll run, run, run. He'll always run. But is yeah. he going to change the game? That's where I was a bit like, I'm getting a bit worried here. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to change the game. But this is one of them things where we did so well from a, a very, very, very deep attack and cross from Shelby and Wood scored. Great goal. Fantastic yeah. goal. But then it's a case of, right, it's discipline now. Yeah. And Bruno, the last game, as much as he's, he's going to be a great player, he, there's no other word about it. And excuse me, French, he fucked about in the last game. He gets a <laughs> yeah. box where you think, look, you can't do yeah. that in English football. You can't, you don't get enough time in the ball. No. And he, ne- he nearly did it again today. But he got rid of it and his discipline's changed him. And I yeah. think it's a case of people like Shelby... We've seen, okay, you can do this, you can do that. And I just felt like today, them two midfielders, they're not on the type of midfielders who are going to drive at people and dictate the game. The great passers of the ball. And that's where I felt, oh, we're going to be really vulnerable today. You know, mm-hmm. Joe Lynn, who's, I can't believe I'm going to say it again. Joe Lynn, who's going to get the ball and drive at people mm-hmm. and yeah. put tackles in. But no, it is. Not every game is going to be 100%. And like we say, it's a long way to travel there. And for the fans, and it's one name where you got to dig in and, and get the result, and they did it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you touched on the depth of the squad there, um, and I'll ask you this, Nathan. You know, you, you, the the bench we had today, we we've notoriously this season not had a solid, solid bench. To, the bench today for me is full of players that can come on at any given moment and give you a five, six, seven out of ten. Yeah, but there's no one there that's going to give you a nine or a ten. You know, if Sam Maxwell was on there, he, you know, he, he can come on and change a game. Nathan, are you worried going into the last few games of the season if we do pick up injuries or suspensions at all that we do lack a bit of depth? No, I'm not. Because Eddie Howe, he's, he, <laughs> he, he knows who to bring on and who not to bring on. He, 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 he's he got his team set. If we get injuries, Miggy's going to have to get a, a bit of run out. Yes, he may not be good at times, but he, he runs, he tries his best. And we've just got to hope that Miggy can show a performance once in a while, which he can, because we've seen it. He, he can do a bit of Sean Long stuff. I understand now why he wants to keep him. Because yeah. he's a he is a solid player on the for the bench. He he, he comes on and he, he he gives you a six or seven out of ten. He does the dirty work late in games and that's why he wants to keep him. And I was like, mm, I don't really want to keep him. But now I think I'm changing my opinion on long stuff. I think, I think you, I think you'll be a player who come on, probably seventy minutes, sixty minutes. Someone's tired, bring him on. He, he'll do the dirty work, and we'll graft the three points, which we've done today. Um, obviously Dwight Gale, he's got no future at the club. He'll be gone. Mankiw, obviously on the bench. He's off. He's our second right back. Obviously, Kraft played today, but Mankiw wasn't as fit as we all thought. Obviously, he'll slot in the next game, probably. Kraft will come out. They want to get rid of Kraft. 
but don't we just keep him for our third right back? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't need to sell him for cash, I guess. Like, you know, maybe it comes... Or wages. Know. Yeah. We don't need it. We, we, literally, Kraft has shown he can do something. He can come in when someone's injured and he can perform. Yes, we may have faults in him again where he's throw-ins and sometimes he's positioning and he's passing. But Eddie Howe can work on that during pre-season. Because mm-hmm. Eddie Howe didn't have a pre-season to work at. So it's been very difficult for Eddie Howe just to go into that squad and say, right, players, play my way or don't play. Yeah. Well, that's and the philosophy, in pre-season, it? he might change formation. He might look at different things. January, he brought players in. Obviously, we, we, we had no Trippier today. We had no Callum Wilson. We had no Maximum. We had no Mankeel. It just shows you. Maximum doesn't need to be in the team for Newcastle to win. When have we ever said that before? When have we ever oh, said Jordan. Wilson didn't have to be yeah. in the team for us to win? Yeah. It just shows you the team is changing and that is what we need. This is what we needed at the start of the season. But yeah. Sadly, we'd be eighth right. I think we'd be about seventh right now as the season started in January. So, <laughs> yeah. It just absolutely. shows you Newcastle are, are building for the future. Obviously, we've got these young players on the bench. When we're safe, I'd give the young players, these uh, young academy players, a bit of a chance because we'll, we'll be safe in about two games if we say draw and a win. I think we're safe then. But yeah. get another win, say another win. It's um, after the Everton game, get another win there yeah. after the Everton game, and then we then we're safe because three wins we're safe, or yeah. two wins and a draw we're safe. Then then maybe bring <clears throat> give the academy lads just just maybe twenty minutes there and then because. Yeah. I think we could. This is, obviously we're building our academy now. Obviously we're going to build a new training ground. We're going to do that. We've got loads of big plans. What we're going to do with this team? So what we need to now look at who we're going to sell in uh, the summer, who we're going to keep, and who we're going to loan. Because yeah. that big squad, you've got to trim it down. Yeah, well, stay tuned. Is Murphy on the going to stay? <laughs> is is Kraft going to stay? Yeah. Is is maximum even going to be in the starting lineup next season? Because yeah, we, we're going to get bigger players in. Maximum's going to have to work the Eddie Howe way, which is track back for the ball, go for the win, win tackles, win the yeah. ball, run at run at the defense like he did against Everton. If he if we can have maximum what he did against Everton, every time on the pitch, he become a world class player. He wants to win the Ballon d'Or. He needs to perform like winning the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, I think he's, it might, might be a little long way off, but if there's anyone that, that can transform his game, it's Eddie Howe. We'll look forwards then, Paul. Um, well, we'll look backwards for a second. Nine games unbeaten, three wins on the bounce. Looking forward to that Chelsea game. If you were in charge, what do you change approaching that? Because obviously we've got Chelsea on Sunday and Everton on Thursday. We've talked a little bit about how Chelsea's a little bit of a free hit. Everton's the big game. Paul, if you were in charge, would you rotate the side a little bit, rest some key players, or would you keep it the same? Oh, good question. Um, there's a lot to say about what's happened with Chelsea in the last 24 hours. Yeah. How can that affect them? Well, they did affect um, them tonight. I mean, the 3-1 against uh, Norwich tonight, so Norwich clearly not letting them affect the Premier League, though, so don't yeah. take much of a of that. This is the thing, though. You, we've always been, a, like, as far as I'm concerned, we've always been a bit of a, a, a horrible team for Chelsea to play against. We've had CC who scored two worldies. We've shut Marine Europe when he's been on the sidelines a few times. He's always always turned around and said he would love to manage Newcastle at something because his connections with Robson. Um, I would love to see. I don't know. It's, would you would like to see a little bit more pace up front? As in, would you try to see maximum up front instead of Wood? I don't know. Would you keep the stay the way it is? It's it's a hard one. What you got to think about is how they line up. So. Yeah. That's yeah, I mean, the, the, Rhys James is injured, um, yeah. which is a big positive for us. He's a big threat and had a blinder against us in the last fixture. But uh, apart mm-hmm. from that, they've got so many threats. I mean, the, the three goal scorers today were Kai Havertz, Mason Mount, and Trevor Chalobah. You know, that's you know what we. I'd have Mason Mount any time in Newcastle. Oh, I, I don't. I don't know about that. I don't rate him. Let's just remember though, Newcastle are missing four big players a day, and this is a furthest journey. And we'll come with a result. Yeah. Uh, I, I think and it's not just the random four players; it's your spine of your team as well. That's like the was warming yeah. up the day, and he was your ex, he was your captain, and he's not even getting on the pitch. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got to uh, wrap things up, unfortunately, Paul. But before we do, um, we'll get your predictions like we've got off everyone. Who's going no. down? Who's going down? And what's your predictions for the next two games? I don't want Evan to go down. I'm going to be a little bit... I saw, I saw you shaking your head when we said that. What, yeah, why, I've got family got from Liverpool in there. Um, right. right. I'm a, I'm, if, I, if I was a red or blue, I'm a blue. Right. Um. So I don't want Evan to go down. So I think Leeds with the new manager, I think should have stuck with the manager they had. The philosophy was good. It wasn't working at the time, but it will work. So I'll let you see Leeds go down. And then for the next two games, Chelsea on Sunday, Everton on Thursday. A couple of score predictions from you. I think we'll get beat against Chelsea and I think we'll draw against Everton. Draw? Not confident of a win? Nah. Bogey team. If you look at res- the yeah. recent results, bogey team. I uh, would beat them earlier in the season. It was only a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Jordan Pickford's got little arms. So, uh, yeah. I think so. we'll beat Everton. Everton have got nothing. Nothing in the locker. <laughs> One of them things, though, Rondo will probably score a winner against them. It'll be something stupid or Townsend. Mm. It always happens. I've yeah. More like Ron- yeah, Rondo to score a winner against them. Get one. Yeah. Beautiful stuff, right? Thanks for coming on, Paul. Thanks for being so no patient. Problem. I know you were waiting a while to come on as well, so appreciate no it. Worries, man. You take care. Uh, enjoy Thanks the again, result. Lads. We'll enjoy your night. You next time. Night. Will do. Right, Nathan, pretty much time to wrap it up. Yeah, it is. Big yeah. win, that, wasn't it? A massive win. On to the next one. Come on. Exactly. Let's, get, let's beat Chelsea. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's go, for the, go for the juggler. Brilliant stuff, mate. Yes, thank you. If you've stuck with us, coming up to four hours here on Newcastle Fans TV. I've been here from the start. So thank you to every single one of you that's tuned in. And thank you even more if you've liked the video and commented throughout. Big, big help. And um, it's always nice to, to interact with you lot down in the comments as well. If you haven't already, subscribe to us on Newcastle Fans TV and NFTV Extra. Head over to Twitch as well. Uh, we're trying to get a, a nice community going over on Twitch. I know we've got a few Twitchers joining us tonight. So thank you, lads, for tuning in. Stay tuned. We are ending the live broadcast, but Lee will be here later on with his reaction from St. Mary's. He's in the hotel now, getting it edited and uploaded for you all. Uh, of course, we've got plenty of content coming up for you on the Castle Fans TV over the next few days. We'll be looking ahead to the Chelsea game on Sunday. We'll be back with the live uh, live match. Watch along. Will you be there, Nathan, watching the game? I, well, I'm not. I'll not be at Chelsea. I'm looking for a ticket. I'm still looking. We'll hopefully get one. But I don't want to get a ticket for Nathan. Let us Anyone know. got a ticket? DM me. Yeah, uh, lovely stuff. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, basically any social media. TikTok as well. Uh, go follow us on there. No Liam's across that. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining. If you haven't already, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Three points on the board. Three un. Three wins on the bounce. Nine unbeaten. Massive, massive win against Southampton. Chris Wood with his first goal for the club. And Bruno Guimaraes, first start, first goal. What a game. On to the next one. See you later. See you later.